This SKO Radio Network program is rated Unleashed and is intended for mature audiences only. The views and opinions expressed on the SKO Radio Network are those of the hosts, guests, and callers and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other hosts or advertisers. The shows found on the SKO Radio Network can promote any lifestyle, belief, religion, political affiliation, or other personal practice. These shows are for entertainment purposes only and are not intended to treat, diagnose, and or claim any cure of disease or condition. From the Rising Star Studio at the SKO Radio Network, it's time for Some Kind of Radio Show with Earl McCune and the Crazy Crew. The call-in lines are open at 234-200-5110. That's 234-200-5110. And now, here's Earl McCune and the Crazy Crew. Hello? Wanna have a little fun? Who is this? Tell me your name and I'll tell you mine. I don't think so. Do you like scary movies? Mm Mm-hmm. What's that noise? Oops. I farted. I I didn't think you would hear me. Oh, stinky. From the people who had nothing to do with Scream. Daddy! Daddy! Oh! Decker got killed last night. She sits next to me in English class. Was she a friend? No. I was going to cheat off her test today. They didn't make the rules. Oh, oh my God! They're just too stupid to follow them. We have to call the police. No way. I ain't going to jail. It's okay. I'm fine. We'll get rid of the vibe. Oh. This summer. There are certain rules to follow in order to survive a horror movie. Rule number one. Don't answer the phone. I'm in the house. You know where I am. You're behind the couch. I can um see your feet. What? Oh. Don't run in the woods. I'm so scared right now. Don't talk to reporters. The press only wants to interview the most ignorant person they can find. I'm on TV! Oh, gee! First cop, now this! And whatever you do... Be afraid to rise to the occasion. Ah! Oh! Ah, gee. Dimension Films presents. That's my girl! I just want you to look at some photos. Tell me what you think. Mm-hmm. No, no, all right, well, worth a shot. Go, 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 go! Oh, man. I'm... Scary movie. Can I tell you a secret? I see dead people. Man, this is awesome. It's 806 on Friday night, and I'm here, and I'm not supposed to be. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, what a night. You're here. We got one host lost. Yeah. Dylan's getting beer. And he's been here, and he's lost. Right? Go figure. He's lost anyway. He's a lost soul. Brian's lost. He can't figure out where he's going. But what's new? He said he's at the last doors on the left. I'm like, what last doors on the left? What the fuck are you talking about? There's only one door. I said 1640 is the address. All right. Welcome to some kind of radio show I here. I couldn't find one. Yeah. Here live on the uh, SKO radio network. I'm just not going to listen tonight. You're not listening tonight? I'm just not going to listen. What, what? You couldn't find a headset? No, I couldn't find a plug for... Oh, And Jesus. I couldn't find headphones either, so... Hey, dude, dude, look at the, good. Dude. Oh, Mike's got Mike's got me. I got you covered. Yeah. Mike's got. I just this, need the plug. Just headphones in there, dude. 
There's not. Yeah, there is. No, there's not. Uh, there's headphones in the... Did you look through the kit for the uh, remote? No, no. Oh, I didn't look in the remote kit. Yeah, because I don't want to take stuff out of the remote kit and then forget a, to put it back. Because that's where the shit is. Well, I don't want to forget to put shit back. There's nothing in the remote kit other than just a couple things. Just, the you know, the microphones and the... Well, I don't want to forget to put shit back. I'm, I'm, my name is Dylan. I'm Battle. I don't know which style you need. Who that? I know who that is. Hey, he found us. Hey, yeah. hey, he found us. Come on, damn it. Now we'll have to find him some headphones. I'm, I'm, I'm parked way out back. Uh, I, I, Mike, they're in that. Hey. Yeah, they're the green, they're the black tub. The black tub, the remote yeah. tub. Welcome to the, we got some mood lighting tonight. You like it? I don't really that. That way, that way I don't have to look as bad to everybody. Uh, hey, can I, you turn I, me I'm up? I'm kind of blindsided here. Oh, that's. It's all dark. That's all dark. That better? Dylan, yeah. you're going to have to help me find my truck later. All right. <laughs> <laughs> He's parked over on the other property hey, somewhere. Yeah. Hey, hey gonna, Brian. I was knocking on the building. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're here. Hey, yeah, we're, we haven't hey, moved. In the uh, fridge under the microwave is his beer. There's a gift for Brian. Oh, there's a yeah, gift for there's Brian. There's a gift for Brian yeah, that he left himself. Yeah, he left himself the my, gift. My, my, six weeks ago or something. Yeah, yeah something yeah. like that. It's still so good. good. Well, you know, I I, you're I, a, I you're look a, great from you're, you're, you're lying you're through, through your liar. fucking teeth, but that's okay. Have a beer. Uh, Have a beer. Leave, leave my buck teeth out of this. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, Hi, Dylan. To, Hi, welcome to the show. Hi, Brian. I was supposed to be off tonight, and it's I'm true. here. And I'm here. You're always that's off. True. No, I was actually tonight was supposed to be my night oh, off. Shit. My night was tonight my was beer. supposed to be my off. Night my off. beer. Way to go. Oh, I quit. What? What's the matter now? He spilled beer. Two minutes in. And my Two minutes exploded. in. You're God. You're already spilling beer. Oh, it exploded. You... Yeah, well, you know what the good thing is? No matter how many nights you are off, yeah. at least your old lady gets tonight off. She gets off. She, she, she needs a day off. She's she, been, she's she, been, needs a, she needs a break, dude. She does need a break, everyone. She's been here, and this is no joke, probably five or six days a week. She's working. been busting her butt. She has been busting her butt. Got to give it working, to her. And working on... Our systems upgrades that we're in the process of doing, but uh, oh, well, that's good. Yeah, system upgrades are good things because we're uh, modernizing more. We're already modern, but we're modernizing more. Yeah, and to, to be honest with you, where you came from, yeah, and what you have here, yeah. Oh, it's 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 night and day. There you go. It's it's like we went from the stone. I, I, we went I'm from not the, one to talk bad about. Yeah, we went from a, we went from the Flintstones trying to do something. We but. went from the Flintstones to the Jetsons. There you go. Pretty <laughs> I mean, much. That's pretty much what we've yeah, done. Yeah, and and, and and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Oh yeah, we did. It's a long way to go. I, and I see that. And I've, this is only my second, second time, time here. here. Yeah, we, we're we're we're. Yeah, this is the Jetsons compared to the Flintstones, yeah. but I uh, it it. it, it it, it's just the matter in the company you keep. This yeah. damn dim dude. Yeah, you know, he, he's, this homeless he, he's guy. He's an yeah. asshole, but, you know, that's all right. We're, we're surrounded by assholes you in this what? place. Well, you know what? That's Us assholes got to stick together. Never yeah, happens. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> that's why we all get along. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're joining us. To li- we're here to join the night here. Uh, we're, on, we're streaming live on our uh, SKO Radio Network, of course. And we are streaming live on Facebook Live right now tonight. Uh, you have full uh, station audio on Facebook Live tonight. Uh, we're just giving a little tr- test run here, and uh, this is a system I've been trying to make sure That's we gross. get running. And uh, well, all you can see is my on. ugly ass on the screen, but uh, yeah. but you'll get to hear yeah. the what station. Mike, where's the? There's there, there, there some more in that. Uh, they're, well, they're, they're in the box. He brought me two, and one goes to the headset that I'm plugging in because my headset appears yeah. to be dead. All right. But there's another, uh, yeah, all right, they're all right. in there. You'll we're have to, having uh, technical difficulties. No, everything was uh, taken apart for the remote system and then not put back in the right places. So uh, We have happens. no clue what we're doing tonight. Yeah. Uh, that's, to the, that, uh, well, that's okay. Yeah. We, we learn as we go. Yeah, you know. Exactly. But uh, we have a poll question up tonight. And basically, this poll question, this is for everybody. Help us pick next week's movie salute. Since it'll be the last month of October and we're going to do another Halloween movie. We want to do uh, something... A little bit more, I don't know, robust. You know, tonight we're saluting scary movie. You know, that's a fun scary movie. That's that's a funny ass movie. But uh, next week uh, we want we want you to help us pick the salute. Four choices on the screen: Halloween, A Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the Thirteenth, and we had to just throw this in because we love doing this movie. Scream. 
So those are the four choices. They are on the poll question on our Facebook Live right now on our some kind of radio show Facebook page. Wow, you're fancy. Yeah, we are fancy. So you're fancy. If you want to, if you can go on there and vote for us, let us know what you like to hear and what you what you want to see next week. That'd be great. We'll uh, the winner, the the winning vote will be our next week's movie salute. I think that's kind of fair. Uh, Actually, I think there's a new one coming out this week. Yeah, the new it? Halloween's out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the new Halloween. And I heard a few people said it's really, really good. It's only like the tenth remake. Yeah, but this, they said this one is really, really, really good. So uh, we got to vote for Nightmare on Elm Street. Instantaneous feedback. I love that. Ah. Instantaneous feedback. A vote for Nightmare on Elm Street's already been put up. So I love that. We'll be checking in throughout the evening. And we'll be checking in through the evening. We're going to leave this feed up throughout the evening tonight. This is something I normally do not do. But I wanted to uh, leave this feed up for everybody tonight. And uh, just kind of let everyone chime in on the uh, Facebook poll. You know, so lots of fun tonight. We're here tonight. Uh, Dylan Thompson's joining us tonight here live. I know. A, I rare, a rare sighting. I know. A rare sighting at Dylan Thompson. A rare Thompson. sighting. Uh, Mike here, Haig from the Mag Apocalypse is here. I'm glad you announced Dylan because I forgot his name until yeah. just now. Yeah, I know. Hi, Dylan. And special guest, Hi, Brian. Mr. Brian Rufner is in here with us Yeah, tonight. well, I don't know why you call me special, but you're, you're, well, you're, you're you're lovely, you're, yeah. your lovely wife yeah. also you're posted that as well. You're special. Yeah, you're, you're, but you're the special. But the other day, I appreciate you <laughs> both. Yeah, you know. You know. Uh, hey, I did. Uh, have you seen on the news where... That Springfield thing got. I, 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 oh, the one out of the Kim Tam. It, 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 is that where it was at? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, it was it, in Springfield. Yeah, that I heard. Yeah, that. They, they they fired them all because yeah. I don't know. They, they, like, they, they, were, they, were, they were mocking. They were doing a, a rape uh, scene, uh, right? Yeah, they were doing yeah. rape scenes or something oh, like yeah. that. I heard. I heard it got real bad out there. Oh, yeah, it did. I heard it got real, I, real I, I don't bad. Know. So put that out there. They were they were advertising what, what, as what the scariest. Yeah. They were advertising as the scariest haunted house in the area here. And 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 they had you have sign a waiver. Right. So I I, I don't know. At the end of the day, if you sign a waiver and you get touched inappropriately. Yeah. If, if the uh, chick's hot, I'll let her touch me inappropriately. Well. <laughs> yeah, but at at the end of the day, a haunted house is dark. So right. how are you going to know if she's hot or not? How do you, how do you I don't know care. You see my wife. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a 500 pound guy named Chuck. You never know. There you go. 500 pound guy well, named hey, if Chuck, Chuck. If Chuck puts out. If if Chuck's got a tight ass, I mean, I, I'm not going to go there. But. I'm sorry about that, Chuck. We're all I'll, sorry. I, I, I'll apologize on both their we're, behalf. We're all sorry. We're all very sorry. Sorry, Chuck. Sorry, Chuck. I'm not. You're not sorry? I'm not sorry. Well, Dylan. Well, I'm he's spent asshole. a you he's spent like a lot Bob. of time recently in a foxhole. Yeah. So, right. <laughs> right. All right. Well, I I didn't mean to offend you by. Oh, I'm not. You know, I'm not saying offended. anything bad about your boyfriend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus. Well, hey, you know. <laughs> so, and Dylan's like, well, I don't know what the hell to say. Well, we're uh, we're talking Come on, about Bob. we're talking about scary movie tonight. Scary movie, and yeah, tonight's movie salute was a. Uh, uh, Hey, Mike. Hey, what's up? Scary, what's up? What's up? Scary movie is our salute tonight, everybody. So, yeah, yeah lots of fun. Uh, lots of fun. Which Earl has never seen. I've never I seen it. Today. I've never have either. I, I text it. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, not, that's good. Not, not good. That's not good. So I can't comment on um, something. I've well, Earl, Earl texted me today. Yeah. You know, we hadn't made a decision on what, what movie we were going to do. And. You know, me being gone for the last two weeks, uh, playing with myself. Yes. You no, oh, no, and Bob. I, uh, I, and Bob apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, I uh, I didn't know what movies we'd done, so he says, uh, "What movie do you want to do?" And I said, "Let's start with the Christmas movies." <laughs> so, uh, you know, we 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 were God, gonna we were gonna bad. do a Christmas movie, and uh, didn't happen because. Apparently it's still the middle of October. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're, you're, the, you're, you're as bad as Walmart. They already got shit. Yeah, the, out the, there the, for Christmas. The idea was we were gonna spoof it. We we're gonna we we're gonna play like first ten seconds of a Christmas movie or something like that, and go, you know, that record scratch sound effect. Yeah. Right. Sorry guys, we're just kidding. Yeah. yeah. 
Wait, wait till we get to Thanksgiving, and then and then we'll go hey, with all that. Here's one. Christmas. Can you can you add another question to that poll, or can yeah, you add I can add forward? questions. Sure. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, not a question. Can you add another response? I to can. That add, no, I, it's four. It's four choices, but oh. I can add another question. Okay, because uh, there's two, I can add a, well, well, and hey, I can. I, it I goes up to four suggest, answers. I was going to suggest uh, Psycho. Okay. Ooh, the psycho. old Alfred. Ooh, but no, but yeah, we can add a second question. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, but uh, that's a, that's a good selection of movies. Yeah. What, 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 was that the movie? I can't that, find that, a damn uh, poll. That you uh, got to uh, if you if you go on it and you actually cl- you got to click the thing. You got to you got to touch the thing. Touch the thing. Yeah, uh-huh. you touch that thing, and then it'll come up like that. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Bob really likes when Dylan does that. Yeah. yeah. By the way, uh, we're tied at. Uh, now fifty percent scream, fifty percent a nightmare on Elm Street. Well, another live response. So that's how you do that. That's how you do that. And that's how you. Now do what? That. Now what do we do in the event of a tie? Then we flip a coin. And we flip a. You coin. know, we one of those coin. movies was filmed in a house that's in Kent, Ohio. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, a- a- actually, I think it might have been oh might have been Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm not okay. sure. But off on a back side street. Mm-hmm. Earl, is the phone line working? Yeah, it should be. Okay, Josh, uh, apparently the phone line is working. He he asks, is the phone line working? Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> should be. <laughs> we haven't gotten any calls yet. It's the old college try. Nobody wants to talk to... AT&T us. just decided we didn't want to talk to you. Mm-hmm. Right. No, it's... All right, um, I mean, it's... Uh, well, that was, that was a quick... Uh, what do you do it? What do you call it? Oh, you can't. Uh, oh yeah, you can't unchoose. You That's can, nice. You can. Oh okay. Yeah, you can. Uh, I like. Here, I'll. Dylan, I like your hat, by the way. Thanks. I appreciate it. Poll results are hidden. Poll results are hidden. Yes, Only I see. You them. can see the poll results. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just testing the phone line since it did get asked if the phone lines are working. Yes. Oh my. Oh my! Oh my! Oh indeed, my. we were having issues with them a couple of days ago. Yeah, well, we are. Hmm. Oh, we got to refresh the app. Oh, we refresh okay. the app and see what happens. Oh, okay. Sometimes you have to refresh that the app. You, know, you guys go on talking, and I'll, you know uh, I'll I'll handle this real quick. Yeah, you're 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 making dead air here. Yeah, you're 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 killing us, Earl. I think I think it's just more fun to just razz on Earl. So let's do that for a little let's while. Let's do that. We can pick do on Earl. Yeah, uh, pick on me over here. You look like a great big green pepper. He, well, you know his old pepper. his old phones job, are he, phones are working. The guys. phones are working. You yes. know his, his old job used to be as a thumb. He recently retired from that though. Yes. Well, the you phone, know what? The, phones, the phone now, lines are working. Guys. Now he's a hairy wiener. Someone told me he used to be able to bowl too. Uh, I, I'm not good. I'm not. No. I'm, I'm not. No, really good. I'm, well, I'm better than you. I'm only averaging two thirty two. Yeah, this year. I, I'm better than you. Uh, yeah. You're you're a whole hundred pins yeah. over me. It, 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 <laughs> if I were you, I'd, uh, I, I'd hang up your glove and put your ball away. Yep. I would. I would quit while you're ahead. Well, you know. I mean, I just. I just know things. <laughs> yeah, there's Josh calling in. He let's, drinks let's, and he knows fact, things. Let's, let's answer the Come phone. Come on Josh. in, Josh. Uh, hello, Josh. Hold on, I'm let the phone actually answer. Ah, hello, Josh. Josh, it didn't answer him. It didn't answer him. You should call him back. There he goes. Hello, Josh. Josh, you there now? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> it, took, it was on a little bit of a lag for yeah. a second. Someone, someone can't decide which movie they want because yeah. it keeps it keeps, keeps changing. It's it's. Keeps shifting. Yeah. Someone can't decide what movie they want. So what's going on, Josh? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Not a whole lot. Just wanted to call in tonight. I've, I've seen scary movies bunches of times. Scary movies, amazing. Earl's never seen it. You believe that? I, 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 I've never I've seen never, it either. And I've Brian's never, never seen it. Mike's seen it. I know Mike's oh, yeah. seen it. Oh yeah. Now, you, you you got two of the four Earl, sitting here. Earl, Earl, Earl. Yes. You you uh you said you were like the Jetsons? 
No, no. You you Fred Flintstone there, Twinkle Toes with the bowling and No, 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 no. No, we were talking about uh, uh, radio station. Radio, radio yeah. 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 You, we're, you we're like you that. We're we're like we're like in twenty fifteen, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> we're, I, I know, I know. We're we're in twenty fifteen, you know, the Cubs won the World Series, Jaws twenty five is out, you know, we got uh, self tying shoes and other flying stations cars. are like oh, nineteen ninety. Yeah, we're, yeah, we, we, we got to go back, Marty. <laughs> Wait, no, I don't. I don't Are you still go back. using your feet to stop your car? I don't want to go back, Marty. <laughs> don't want to go back. You don't want to go back. I'm happy here. You're happy here. Well, I'm relatively content here. You're relatively content here. Oh, yes. I don't want to go back. Oh, you got another call? Or is that just no, that was just me? It was well, just me. Uh, hang up. I I did already. Oh my gosh. Earl. He's calling the show, man. Earl, just, Earl, you're looking confused. I was He's, calling myself. Earl just you are trying the to captain. Boost our numbers. You yeah. are my captain. Earl just doesn't. Oh help. my captain. But we're up and running. That's the important thing. We're well. I, I haven't ran in a while, so yeah, yeah, not really. Yeah, well, but anyway, er, 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 Earl's running. He's abandoned ship. Oh yeah, you know. Uh, he don't run, care about uh, his crew. He had the ice. Hey, oh, we haven't gone down yet. We haven't gone down yet. Yeah. Yeah, right. So, so what's happening, Josh? How are everything with you, man? Oh, not too good. Yeah, I know you were telling you were telling me. Yeah, you were telling me, man. Our our yeah. thoughts and prayers are with you and your family, yeah, man. Yeah, I appreciate that, but the news got worse. Oh no, oh, man. He's got two weeks now. Oh, oh no, sorry. man. Sorry, buddy. That's, okay. that's rough, We're man. Just getting ready for the unthinkable, and, and I'm just setting up like a PayPal donation link for my yeah. family to right. get ready to pay for like the expenses and stuff upcoming. Well, yeah. when when Earl and, and I win the Mega Millions, we'll uh, we'll contribute. Yeah, no kidding. We're winning tonight, so we are. Uh, yeah, we so are. yeah, yeah. I appreciate that, fellas. Uh, I need yeah. some cheering up tonight. Oh, I we'll, you guys can cheer me up. Uh, we'll try, man. That's, we'll that's, do our best. That's what we're here we're, for. We're, we're, we'll get as stupid as we can for you. We'll get as yeah. stupid as we can. Try to put a smile on your face. It's not a far leap. In it's all not honesty. a far leap at all. I mean, for, <laughs> yeah. us to go, for us to do something <laughs> stupid? I mean, come on. <laughs> it, it so doesn't take us a whole lot of effort to get No, it doesn't I mean, take us a lot of effort Last all. week, we called a prayer line. We called a prayer line In last Canada. Week. In that Canada. That was the best. Well, so... so oh, let, I missed that one. Let me ask. Have you guys been getting the uh, the random que- the random phone calls oh, recently? God, yes. All the oh, random... Yeah. All Tons. The random yep. Audio, oh, yeah. Yep. So, uh, so, so let me tell you. I actually tried to call one back today. Oh, you did? And it went a little something like this. Throw to the video roll. We don't wait, have, wait, do we have wait. video? We don't have video. No. You, you, oh. We don't have video. Well, it's because I showed up ten minutes before the show, so I wasn't prepared. No, but, <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> no, but seriously, what, 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 if you try, was, and, it, was it a successful accomplishment? No, it was not because when you call them back, it's a uh, it's a fake number. Pretty much what it does, do do do. The number you're trying to reach has been disconnected. All right. Oh God, I get them all the time. I'll, I'll try calling another. I'll try calling another one. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. The number you're trying to reach is disconnected. Uh, how yep. many? How many did we try last week? A we tried time. at least twenty. Twenty yeah, all last week. They're, they're all disconnected. Either disconnected, or, or they were just ringing. Ring. Or the, we did get one voicemail. Uh, 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 we, one voicemail. Uh, we did get one voicemail. So we left. Uh, we left a uh, shitty uh, voicemail. Uh, how is? I gotta got tell you guys something. Yeah. Talking about the phone scam thing. I was at the nursing home with my dad. Uh uh-huh. This person calls me up, fake number, and says. Oh, uh, hi. Okay. Uh, can you afford health care? Are you for Donald Trump? I'm like, we're going to build a wall. nursing home. And, and they and I hung up the phone. I was like, don't call me back. That's why I always tell them, like, the fuck off. Yeah. But, oh, yeah. Well, you know, we're going to build a wall. It's going to be a huge wall. Huge. Bigly it's huge. It's going to be the best wall. And, uh, dude, we're done building the wall. Mexico's going to pay for it. I'm Donald Trump. I approve this uh, message. I actually told, I told them. <laughs> exactly. The phone's like, what, what are you wearing? Khakis. Earl looks like a great big I green pepper. 
<laughs> like a, a green pepper. Earl, Earl is wearing a St. Patrick's Day shirt because he apparently does not know what a holiday is. Well, because it's my favorite holiday, and I support uh, I support yeah, it all but, year but round. But you're, you're you're a month ahead of the game. It's you should time. be looking like a big round pumpkin, it's not not a like, green I, pepper. I, I, if I look like a pumpkin, these, these are the these are the practice months. That's his practice he, shirt. He's, he's that's just warming fair. up. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's practice time, everybody. Practice time. Keep it up. You're going to be part of my, uh, I don't know, taco or something. Part of your taco? Whoa. Part of my taco. Whoa. Dude, I don't want to be a part of your oh taco. My. Oh, he my. Wants, yeah. He wants to be in I, I'm a he wants you to be in his taco. Uh, no, I'll, I'll hey, Dylan, don't, oh don't, Dylan, don't tell your boyfriend, Bob, that I'm I'm hitting on, on him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stop in some Sunday and you can see him. <laughs> <laughs> hey. He's here every Sunday from uh, 11 He doesn't 2. lay claim to that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's here every Sunday, 11 to 2. Uh, so so how about how about the news what? that Carlos Hyde got traded today? Oh, dude, don't you think that's just kind of, I don't know, messed up? I don't, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later on in the show. Yeah, uh, we'll we don't want to go there we'll just about, yet. But talk about absolutely. the Red Sox. We'll talk. I mean, about there's, a, a, there, there's a part of me that I kind of understand, but yeah. So we'll, I, we'll, I mean, I, I I got mixed emotions on that. We'll, we'll get to that later on in the show. Uh, oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Shut up, you big Earl, green why pepper! You, why don't you tell them what's coming up the next half hour? We're going to be doing our first beer review. We have two. We got two beer reviews tonight. We have two. We have a new cool toy that we're going to be showing off, and it doesn't vibrate. You're going to be doing a video on that. We're going to yep. do a separate video. We have the main video. We're yeah. going to run a separate video yep. link. But I, 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 oh, I, I, I am going to need I, I wasn't uh, enlightened to all this. Two beers surprise. and a new Sur- toy. I'm glad I showed up tonight. I know, right? Beers so and a new I am, toy. I am going to need a phone charger. So uh, if I could, if you would be so kind. Is, I got 100%. So, there you go. All right, fantastic. So, it only, uh, but it only goes to there, dude. You, oh, you, know, you, you, oh, can't, you, got, you can't pull it any harder. Hey, like hey, hey, you, you know all about the small tips. Hey, All right, so... His court's only so long. You yeah. Know? Anyways, That's what Deb says anyway. Uh, well, anyways, every, compared to Deb, everything looks small, you know. That's all I can say. <laughs> and on that, we'll be back. Yeah, we're, yeah, in hallway. On that note. <laughs> on that note, we're going to take a break. Josh, you want to hold the line, buddy? Sure. Okay. All right. Have you hold the line. <laughs> all right. We'll be right back on some kind of radio show here on the SKO Radio, radio <laughs> Did you know that more than 2 million children die each year due to dehydration, which really sucks, you know? Someone should do something about that. But hey, check out this mop I've got here. It's called the Smart Mop. All you got to do is dunk it and grip it real tight, you know? Give it a nice double-handed Indian burn right there on the pee-pee, and you're ready to clean. Now, what's great about the Smart Mop is you actually get smarter while you use it, and it's so much fun, I think I'll get on my heels. Woo! Woo-hoo. Okay, now that that's the mop is nice and heavy, so you can put it over your head just like this and get a nice upper body workout. And after your workout, you need a protein shake. Look how much money you're saving. You're so goddamn smart. Dandruff. Blood. Boogers. It does it all. What, are you going to use that fucking Swiffer Sweeper bullshit? What, are you stupid? No, you're smart. I'm actually too smart for this, so I have the twist handle shoved up my ass right now as I'm mopping this up for you. Not only because it's more of a challenge, but I also don't need to buy toilet paper. Oh, there you go. Toss it in with your rainbow blankets. Ew, yuck. I bet you're on your knee and shit right now. And that brawny's gonna make you look stupid. You wanna be smart. No more dreadlocks, no more sponges, and you know what? Fuck brooms. Whoops, I popped a hemorrhoid in the kitchen and I sneezed on the door. Oh shit, there's the hair from my left testicle. Oh no, biker bitches broke in and spilled Pepto-Bismol. And it looks like someone else broke in as well. Djibouti dubs. Yeah. 
Hi, this is Stephanie Rakokora, and I run Under Lock and Key from 5 to 6 on Mondays. Come and see me. Um, it's everything they don't want you to know all in one place. Um, I'm a truth seeker, have been for many, many years, and uh, I do the research. All you got to do is listen and make your own cantations out of that. And this is SKORadio.com. Hi, this is Bob Fritz, host of the Oldies But Goodies Show here on SKO Radio. Join me every Sunday morning from 11 to 2 Eastern Standard Time for the best of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. You can get your requests in by going to Facebook page yesterday and today's classic music chat, Tribute and Games. Hi, this is Dylan Thompson, and you're listening to our new SKO Radio Network. Stay tuned. Radio show here on the radio network. Call now at 234 200 5110. Again, that's 234 200 5110. Now, here's Earl McCune and the crazy crew. Mike! Mike! Kill it! Mike! Mike! Hi, Mike. What's up, Dylan? Hi! Earl! I had to get it. Earl! I had to get a different beer. Oh, is that bad, huh? What's your What's your review on it? Well, here's the deal. Earl and I tried this from a bottle, uh-huh. and it, it was it had a bad review then. Yeah, it's even worse. From the can, it's like rancid ass sweat from I a agree. bohemian bartender. It's horrible. I agree. Not that I would know what any of that is like. No, Please but I can imagine. Please, I can imagine. Think. Please don't think that I'm. Tasting rancid ass from Bohemian bartenders because it's totally not what I'm doing. <laughs> Mom, it's the if best, you're listening, <laughs> it's the best description I could come up with. Oh, that's great. All right, so uh, so like you know, one point, you know, one point negative negative two. two. All right, good talk. So uh, we've got uh, we've got a new toy, courtesy of my better half, and a toy that I'm bringing to share with the class. Ooh, yeah, show and tell. Show and tell time. So this is the physics weight tap. And uh, how it works, pop the top off, and in goes the beer. So we'll, we'll pretend that we're going to be drafterizing Miller Lite. Put it in, and you pull. So do we need a cup? Well, yeah, I, you need a cup. When, Did you, I'm not, no, you, no. 
And not actually going to use it? I didn't use it for the Miller Lite. Oh, okay. We're going to use it for, for the good, the stuff, good later. stuff. Which... The hopefully good stuff. Which we'll be, uh, we'll be reviewing here as soon as Earl's done looking at porn. No, I'm looking at... <laughs> at porn. Uh, no, I wish I was looking at porn. But... Big, fat, black cock... Oh. Big, fat, black uh, chicks with cocks. Midget Ewok porn what? Don't ask. You don't want to know. Dude. Uh, Deb, Deb, don't look at the cameras because you're going to be... You're, you're going to be submitting that to the divorce claim. <laughs> I couldn't be so lucky. Come on. Uh, <laughs> so the uh, Cavs are playing now. How about that? Yeah. I'm excited, sort of. They're, they're losing. They're down currently. They're only losing by two. It's not. It's, it, it could be worse. Oh, it absolutely could be worse. It could be worse. I mean, they their their perfect season bid is now gone. Um. So sucks for them. But hey, you know. But hey, it's almost like taking Cleveland back to what it's meant to be. Yeah, you know, none of our teams are good anymore. Well, it's not that they're not good. It's they, just they can be. Not, Don't get me wrong. Oh, he almost made that too. He he was far out. And he it's not made that they're it. not good. No. Oh, he almost made that. <laughs> oh, he almost made that. It's not that they're not good. See that's just... that's like. That's Cavs commentary from like the '80s, right there. It's it, the Cavs are, you know, pretty decent. Oh my oh, God, he almost made yeah, it. Yeah, he almost made it. You know, back when we had Mark Price, who, yeah. you know, he actually made Was, it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Josh, uh, what's what's going on in your neck of the woods? You excited about the new uh, Pokemon update there? Yep, and I haven't done much uh, Gen Four hunting, but I've. I've down in from like the nursing home walking around mm-hmm. and uh, this hot nurse comes outside looks at me and says are you pokemon hunting can i walk with you oh yeah so he, I'm, absolutely I'm hey he said uh well i, I, don't, I don't know can you <laughs> <laughs> i was nervous i was like jackie please I'm like hum on, hum on, hum on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, let's see here. So, what all? What all have you gotten yet? Did you have you evolved any of your uh, your newbies? Uh just the the, the fire monkey. And the, the okay. one thing a friend of mine in a Pokemon group pointed out, he looks like he's farting. It's like a farting fire monkey. Farting Pokemon. fire monkey, huh? The the smallest one. Or like, oh yeah, yeah it the, does. Uh, yeah, it does. Uh, here, I'll, I'll I'll show you, Mike. Yeah. I'll show you so you can see the f- farting fire monkey. All right. Yeah, it looks like it's farting yeah. fire. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm a very proud geek and nerd, yeah. but honestly, Pokemon was so far after my time. I just can't get into it. Loser. <laughs> but I do have one question for you. I need to know this, and you, right. you have to say yes. All right. Have you ever hunted for Pokemon from a Humvee? Yes. Oh, that is awesome. I abso- from a turret. That is awesome. From a turret. I have, absolutely. And they're all over Camp Grayling. Yes. They're all yes. over Camp Grayling, let me tell you. <laughs> but uh, what, you, what you got there? What you got there? Oh, that, that uh, old Natty the Ice. Bridge. Old Natty Ice. How about that? Old Natty Ice, man. All right. So the Molson, I, I the Molson right. Canadian that Earl, Earl just I'm walked out. On the break. Here, the Molson hey, Canadian that go. we, you know, we so generously you. provided you from your own from pocket. From you providing it to us. That wasn't good enough. You had to go to the Natty Ice. Yeah. Well, I didn't realize I'm hurt. that I'm hurt. there was any of those. Oh yeah, I'm there's hurt. plenty. We haven't touched a single one because we were waiting for you. No, uh, we, well, we did I give haven't. one to the new girl. Oh, okay. Last week, well, we uh, her well, I haven't met the new girl. Well, she she, on she picked break. up one of these first. And, and you said, no, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. Let me give you a good beer. Yeah, we had to correct her. Yeah. I, 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 on the next break, I will treat you correctly. Uh, he will treat us correctly. He's going to treat you so and, nice. And, and, hey, and, hey, my boyfriend's name is Bob. He'll beat you up. I, well, I, I, I'm just saying, <laughs> do, your boyfriend, do, do I have to give one to your boyfriend, Bob, as well? Maybe two to him. No, it, it's two. all right. I. We, yeah, we got he's plenty of good, I'm on you, so We got I'm, plenty of good beer tonight, so uh, I, we'll. Uh, I'm once, so not. I'm so once not Earl gets on back, you. if Earl doesn't come back, then uh, I guess we'll. Back. Back. 
So, crack them open and, you know. Yeah. Where our captain go? Uh, no, Earl got hit by the iceberg. Oh, captain, my captain. Yeah, well, yeah, Earl. She's my captain. Earl, Earl got hit by an iceberg. Uh, rest in peace, Earl. Yeah, well, you know yeah. who you call the iceberg, right? What's that? You know who you call the, uh, the iceberg that hit Earl, right? Who, Debbie? Who's the iceberg? <laughs> Yep. Uh, uh, it's Debbie. Debbie. <laughs> uh, uh, Debbie the Iceberg McHugh. Uh, 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 who's the ice bitch? That's, her, that's what that's I want to know. That's her wrestling name. That's her wrestling name? Yeah, Debbie, Debbie, Debbie the Iceberg McHugh. Hey, 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 here comes the big green pepper. The big green pepper. The, and the big green pepper. And the big green this pepper. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. 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 Big, big green big, pepper. The big green pepper and and and, and right. the homeless guy. Yeah, and the, <laughs> the big green pepper and the homeless guy take on the iceberg in a two-on-one handicap match. The big green pecker, huh? That's great. <laughs> That's great. Earl, why don't you give us an update? My, you got the hell of a grip, Earl. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yes. What? Well, why don't you give us an update? Update what on what? What am I updating? On, on the, uh, I don't know. Just update on something. What's your, what's your uh, poll at? Well, right now, this is actually causing us some skipping because we're streaming there, too. Oh. oh so I should... Uh, Probably cut that off. Pro- oh. No more calves. <laughs> no more yeah, calves. Because it's, it's bow, interfering bow, with the... The calves are playing at 7.30 oh, tonight. Yeah. No, it's, they're already playing. It's, it's started it, yeah, it started at 7.30. They started yeah. I, 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 I got it recorded. I mean, unless you want to run the thing off the other thing in there, but... We can't either. Run the thing the off the thing onto yeah. the thing. On, on that thing. Thing. Yeah. thing. And if you play that thing long enough, that thing just Actually, might work. You know what? No, it's we, all right. We, it's all right. Can we hotspot it? We can, but it's all right. No, I'll hotspot it. It's all right. I'll turn my hotspot on. It's okay. Let's turn my... I don't want to watch the cast. Oh, my gosh. Too. Fine. Turn your hotspot on. God, Jesus. you argue... You, you want to have a married couple. Sake, uh, I, 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 turn on his damn hotspot. Bob's hotter than you, girl. Does W and Bob... Argue like you two? I, I, Bob's hotter. Than I, I mean, or, 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 is Bob's hotter? Okay, there, there's my password. I I, I don't want all you right. guys. That's to, that's the password. I, yeah. I don't want you guys getting all like in like yeah. a bitch match or anything. That's the password. While that's, we're on can you find the radio, it there it is. There it is. We'll Earl's just do that. IPhone. Yeah, yeah. We're we're gonna try this. <laughs> hey, did you see LeBron? No, last I night him. make his debut. I didn't really watch it. He scored it. about I 10 points. I didn't even watch it. But they lost. Yep. Yeah, I did. I, well, I didn't watch the game, but I don't know. At the end of the day, I, 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 I hate to say this, but it was kind of nice to watch him lose. Yeah, I mean. I I, yeah, I don't really care. Let, let's be real. There's there's no hard feelings, but there's always going to be a little bit of hard feelings. So, yeah, I, I agree. We're Sometimes it's to nice to watch the Now we can watch the Cavs and roll air up You and I are a- a- absolutely <laughs> on the same page. Yeah. Because Gen Day, he, he does so much good for Akron. Yeah. And, and I mean, he spends a lot of money and does a lot of things. Well, well, and just well, well, he's now unhappy. We well, can stream the Cavs yeah. and still do. Well, let no me let here. me tell you the truth behind the I Promise School. Oh God! Tax here we go. Payer, taxpayers are actually mostly funding it. Yep. Yeah. Taxpayers you're, you're, are mostly you're, funding you're, it. You're, yeah. you're talking about the school. I'm talking about the school that, yep. that and, he's and, getting so and, much and, praise and, for. And, and, and he's trying to take so much praise and for. And there's nothing wrong with him having this idea no. and putting some money at it. Uh, but taxpayers are funding the majority uh, of it. This is yep. a public school. Uh, uh, Dylan, Dylan, I, 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 I totally agree with you. But here's here's. But the he's got line. his name attached to it. Exactly. Here's you, the bottom you, line. He's mean? always going to be a hometown boy for Cleveland. Okay, especially here in Akron. He's well, always Akron. Gonna, he well, you know, for Cleveland as you know, part of the Cavs, he's always going to be a hometown boy here in Akron, no matter what. So yeah, we want to see him go succeed. We want to see him go follow his dreams. But and he's done that. There's that little bit in the back of all of our heads that's saying, you know what, stay Fuck here. You. Fuck you. Exactly. Oh, that uh, uh, that was a little bit crude, but well, at, at, at the end of the day, I, I I can understand the mindset. You know, it, it's mm-hmm. be, be, because it's some kind of radio show. I have no filter. You know, well, well, no. I, 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 <laughs> at the end of the day, he he he, at the he end just, of the... he's just probably going to go down in history as the best basketball player ever. Oh, for sure. And you, you, you know what I mean? And. He left. He came back, 
and, and, and he got Cleveland to where they were at, and, and, and he left again. And we're but, but, but at the end of the day, he, he's still spending his money in, in his hometown. Absolutely, and I'm not you, taking you know away I mean? from that at all. Like I said, you know, we all want to see him succeed. We want to see him go down as the best. We want all that praise. But there's always that little voice in the back of our I, heads. I, I, and, and you know every, and, and, and Everybody here. Dude, I, I, I had season tickets for the Browns back, back when... Uh, Sipe was playing, right? And 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 they were the cardiac kids. It'd get down to the last two minutes, and you could be down by twenty-one points, and still plot the game. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's what LeBron brought to us with the Cavs, because we didn't have that with the Browns. Absolutely. You, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So all right. So it's time like we're for doing our beer. first beer review. All right. Uh, let's go. Go ahead and uh, get right. everything situated. So let's hold on. Uh, yeah. We're getting all situated today. We have uh, something by the Thirsty Dog Brewing Company. Let Old me, Chaco. Let me go ahead and uh, get here, and we can start. Oh, hi, Earl. Oh, wow. What are you, what are you streaming through? I didn't realize this Are you streaming was, through uh, the page, or are you streaming through the station? Both. I'm just, I was just turning this off. I, was I turning, didn't realize I'm turning this off was the pa- turn, the pa- turn the page off. Oh, okay. Turn the page. There's a song there. There's a song there. There's a song and everything. All right, so uh, <laughs> publish. Yeah. I'm turning off the page stream here, so... I only wanted to run a little bit of it. I didn't want to do it for the whole night. I mean, I was thinking about doing yeah. it, but I was like, nah. That, yeah. Don't just few segments here and there right so know. uh today we have uh let's see there we go we need more light mike you want to flip those lights on yeah, for a minute turn the lights on yeah yeah turn the lights on for a minute all right today we have Holy thirsty shit. dogs i can see it's Chaco. a miracle it is a mint chocolate milk stout we have two stouts tonight yeah i had no clue this was no, mint stop. Yeah, uh, it's a milk mint. chocolate mint stout. Mint. The smooth, creamy milk stout is rich with flavors from the additions of cocoa nibs and fresh mint. There's snowflakes on this, dude. <laughs> snowflakes There's on this. There's snowflakes on this. Oh, God, there are. And uh, tonight, what the hell tonight is we up have with that, huh? the, the new addition to the SKO Beer Review. This is the Physics Way Tap. And uh, how this works, apparently it uses sound waves to... Um, Enhance the beer. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and uh, scream in our. We'll try that. So everyone, uh, you know, get your cups ready. Here, Earl, you wanna? You've or, got the cup here, man. I'm, I'm not trying either one of them. All right. They, they they don't sound. Yeah. Okay. You gotta try it. Come on. I like I, I like your fuck. Suck it up, Buttercup. Jo- Josh, did you see this thing in the video? Yeah. Yeah, pretty neat, huh? So the beer oh, is yeah. now in the machine. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and I'll, uh, I'll pour it so everyone can see it. Get a nice Ooh. little pour going there. That looks like coffee. Look at that. Get a nice little pour going. And it'll stop automatically at a certain point. They, they, they don't sound like coffee. All right. <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll finish oh, the beer my. Off. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. We'll, uh, yeah. we'll, we'll finish the beer off. And uh, now we know it's done. All right, there's one. Uh, we'll, oh, my. Uh, go ahead and grab another one out of there. Yeah. Go ahead. What, 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 what is that called? What, the the machine? What, what, well, I know what your frothing machine is. It's old Chaco. It's a mint chocolate stout. Where's that, where, that made at? Thirsty Dog in Akron. Right there. Right there. Oh, it's, it's, it's right there. Oh, my. Oh, my. Bouncy. So it's a hometown brew. Yeah, well, old, old Chalky. Chalk, chalk it up for having All right, one. that one's done. Haven't had one yet. Yeah. So, you know, I've got to say, in the live video, the new lights in the background looks pretty sweet. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, uh. We put new, we put we put new lights in up. Okay. Run Earl's Is there anything left here. in the bottle? Yeah, there's a little bit left in the bottle. Let me there? see that. All right, yeah. Go oh. ahead and give All that right. yeah. give that an old taste there beforehand. Uh, oh my! We got Earl's in there. Oh, oh Brian, are you gonna be Earl. participating? Oh my! Uh, oh my will you, God! Will you be tasting, or are you just gonna? He's stick gonna, to you. Gonna oh, stick to I, what I, you got. You, you, you can I, smell I, the I, mint I'll in the guys, beer. I'll let you guys. 
Uh, hey, part Brian, you, got, you should pull it. You're pulling pull a dubby right now. Pull talk, the mic talk around, man. the microphone, man. Oh. And well, come on. I, you're pulling I, a dub. I, I, I didn't want Come on. You, you got to try it. He's pulling a dub. I didn't want it to be so your Brian. Way. So Brian is not going to no, partake. No, no, no. In no, this. no okay. No, no. I, Give I, it a I, shot. I, I, He's doing his best right. Deb impression he, right now. Give it a shot. He's doing his Deb impression. I'm just going to talk back. Oh here. come on, De- <laughs> Deb's going to be here at 9:30. I'm going to be on my my best behavior. Oh, Deb's coming. Oh God, if Deb's coming, I'm leaving. She, yeah, me, she, me too. She she gave me fair warning. Yeah, She'd be here at 9:30. She didn't give us warning. She didn't give us any warning That's at all. There you go. That's not fair. Shows where I stand on the prowl. I guess so. Here. Shit, that's I, not fair. That's bullshit. Right. I don't. So, I, I never I get know, told this, I know this kind of takes a minute to you know get it all situated, but uh, I think it's worth it. That's pretty cool. I mean, that's that's just me personally. I think it's worth it. I think it's better uh, through this. I don't know. Chocolate beer just doesn't sound good to me. Well, you you got to give it a shot, man. You, you got to give it a shot. I, at least. That's the whole point. We're reviewing it, whether right. it's good or not. Oh, well, I understand that. Come on, man. All right. Come on, we got we, we got Come on. we got three guys here that so uh, right. let's, uh, let's go ahead. Go, we'll start go, with go the mile. We'll start you. with what's in the bottle or whatever's left in the bottle. So there should be should Dylan, be. A, we got a low battery announcement. Oh. Man, your phone's gonna go. Oh no! So we we better make this quick. Let's do it quick. So I really just wanted to showcase this. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the rest we can do through the uh, through the station so tune All in right. to hear our review and you can hear it on the live youtube replay uh here in a couple of days adios all, all right, right. So, review. Oh, hold on bottle first bottle first bottle first okay oh you saved the bottle yep. you, all right, you got a bottle here all right we're gonna we're well, gonna, I got we're, one. We're gonna yeah, take you, a sip out of the bottle take a sip out of the bottle <laughs> sip out of the bottle all right whatever is left all right Not bad. That's not bad at all. That's like mint chocolate chip ice cream. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's mixed smooth. With, mixed with beer. Yeah. It's smooth. I like that. Not bad. So uh, now that we have a general idea of how to taste out of it. No. No. Well, you, you got it in your cup. You oh, you see gave it. me it. Yeah, yeah. I, I gave well, you dude, a Dude, I told you I didn't want a cup. I, I told you I'd take that less little... Oh, no, 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 no. We, We're taking the full effect. Full oh, effect. Full so, effect. Right. Well, let's, right. let's, let's, okay, so would you want to compare ratings or you want to take a sip of this first? Well, let's take a sip well, let's first. Let's take a full All sip right. from here. And no. uh, we'll, we'll see. Just Okay, it smells good. Oh, I like that. Wow. I think it's better draft. It's better draft. It's definitely better draft. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. like the way. I like the effect on that. Yeah, yeah. it's... That's you know, smooth. It, That's really it's smooth. It's smooth and it's not overpowering. And, it's and, real... and and to be honest with you, it it, it it almost tastes like an October kind of beer. Mm-hmm. Almost. You, you, you know how some of them do. Spring, I'll, I'll tell you what. Summer, winter, mm-hmm. fall type type stuff. That, that Dylan pointed out that there's actually snowflakes on the bottle, mm-hmm. on the label, which makes yeah. me think this is Dylan's meant a to snowflake, be by the a way. holiday beer. Yeah. But I'll be honest, even if you wouldn't have caught that, I would probably consider this a holiday beer. I would have considered this a holiday beer. Mm-hmm. After that, tasting it, exact, this, is, this is a Christmas beer. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's, it's holiday all the way. Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. this is definitely holiday all the way. But that's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. It's, it's quite good. I would definitely. Dr- I'd drink a couple of these. Yeah. You know what? At the end of the day, I'm oh, no, gonna I, have, I, I know I'm gonna have to have to say thank you. You have intimidated me yeah, into actually taking a goal. Uh-huh. I like it, and it that. wasn't bad, was it? You know what? It doesn't. I, I'm so it, not. You know what? I, I'm so not gonna complain about Mike, that. Mike, if you want to turn, because, because turn the it does. Off again, it, you it, the, it, the milk stout. Well. I'll tell you what. The milk stout. I'll tell you what. I mean, I I like milk stouts. Oh, that's better. better. This, this is this is a, yeah, yeah, this is a good one. Back. This You're is setting good. the mood for Bob to show up. Oh yeah, for yeah Dylan. But, uh, yeah. The mood lightning is back. Yeah, yeah, the mood is back. You turn the lights off. So Dylan's boyfriend, Bob. Right. Well, yeah. Come right. on, Dylan. Let's uh, get it on. Yeah, so I... <laughs> let's, let's get it on. Let's get as it on. As far as this beer... <laughs> All right, Dylan, why don't you Who start? Who sung that song, by it's... the way? Come on. What? What? Who what sung was... that song? I don't know. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Marvin. It, 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 it's it's Lionel. That's Lionel. 
It's Lionel Richie. Uh-huh. No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Breaking news. Yeah. That wasn't Lionel Richie. If, well, if I'm not mistaken, it was jo- Marvin Gaye. Josh has breaking oh, news. Oh, yeah. Let's get it. You're right. You're right. <laughs> What's the breaking news, Josh? Breaking news is... What's that? One billion dollar jackpot, mega million. It's up to one million. One, $1 billion. One billion. Did it hit? No, it's just not, the drawing's not until tonight, dude. Did some? No, did but did it's they over, draw yet? No, it's not till tonight. But it's over. It's it's estimated over a billion now. Yeah. It, <laughs> I just right. I just hit the lottery. All right, Mike. Uh, who, who wants to get married? Who's hot and sexy? <laughs> right, hang on, before I start. I, I I do the same thing. I I uh, shell money. Wants to marry me? Call me Donald Trump. I got a shitload of money now. All right, I've got to give this beer. What are you doing now, Mr. Pepper? I was just checking something. It's what I do. I swear. I'm, I'm going to give this beer two votes. All right. Okay. During the holidays, as a holiday beer. Sure. I'm going to give it an 8.8. I'll drink this during the holidays. Okay. I will oh, seek I this will out. Too. I will seek this out. Any other? Welcome to the SKO Radio Network. You can find us online at skoradio.com. We're also on the TuneIn app where you can listen with your mobile devices on the Google Play and Apple Store. Find us on social media at facebook.com forward slash SKO Radio Network. You're tuned to the SKO Radio Network and online at skoradio.com. I'll, I, I, I'll, I'll agree with that. This it, 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 sitting out in your backyard and on a cold night, you know, on a, on, you're sitting in your backyard on a cold night, and 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 you got a fire going. I yeah, can op- absolutely. I can open the window if you want it to be cold. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have the heat on tonight. It's just, it's just, yeah. it's just, it's just, you guys, it's just warm in here. Yeah. Where you guys live, you you guys I mean, can't have, you can't ha- can't have. A, a big fire, and no. like, tonight it was like I do where I live. We do have the mood lighting. Ooh, True, we, we, we are in the mood lighting night. This is kind of this is kind of nice. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of nice, you know. All right, so yeah. I'm I'm gonna go with an eight point eight. Eight point eight. That's pretty high. Brian, eight point eight. Your score? I I I I I would say ten day a seven. Okay, amateur score, but that's okay. Sure, all right, all right. Yeah. Earl, amateur score. All right, um, I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna do two score because we did try it in the bottle right. and in draft. Mm-hmm. Uh, bottle, I'm gonna go seven point seven. No, part of the issue with the bottle though mm-hmm. is we we tried it, yeah, but it was the last sip. It was it was good. So it was seven good. Seven. Yes. Now here's the thing. Anything over eight for me is what I consider like epic status. Uh-huh. I mean, really, really good. Uh, seven seven in a bottle. You're giving us a seven nine, aren't you? No no no. Eight three. Wow. Eight three. How draft. about that? Yeah, it's a big swing for me. How about that? Yeah. Uh, there, just... There's not too many holiday beers that I like. Yeah, this and one's good. This is yeah. kind of yeah. this is one of two for me mm. so far. Yeah, oh, and, 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 and the other and, one's and, probably and, Great Lakes Christmas good. Ale. No, no. Actually, it, um, it, it is Jolly good. Traveler, their Christmas. Okay, have you ever had Old Fezziwig? No. Oh, old Fezziwig is like one. sex in the mouth, buddy. You'll love that one. We're gonna. Uh, I, like I want to get that. Um, I want to get that deal at at um, Costco. At Costco. Yeah, we got to look into that. Yeah, I want to get that after we after we win the lottery tonight. Oh, yeah. You don't even have to get the lottery. It's like it's like seventy bucks. No, no, no. But, after we win the lottery tonight, yeah. we're gonna buy them all. We're gonna buy one for every staff member. Yeah, buy one for every staff member. And, yep. and just so you know, does that if, include me? If SKO, sure. If and then SKO. we'll build a build. We'll build a building. If we if we, if we, if we, if we, we win the lottery, lottery, we're gonna build a building. We're gonna build a bar. Well, bear in mind, we're gonna build. No, here's the thing. Here's my goal. Yeah. If we do this, if we do it the right way, if we if we do it, we build a building. Building. We built like a five, six studio complex. Yeah. In an undisclosed location. Undisclosed location. My backyard. Yeah. We're not telling you where we're going to be. And because, you know, like I said, we are a network. We're going to be expanding more stations yeah. eventually. That's and the idea. And we're just going to open up this, will, this, of course, will be the main station. <laughs> and then, you know, we can branch it off into separate entities, you know. And then we actually can pay people to work here. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. it, it's kind of like cutting up a pepper. And I'll buy, buy a house, and I'll buy a house, and I'll pay off my car, and I'll pay off his car. And buy another new car. 
probably put his kids through college, and, and I'll put his kids through college too because they'll. Well, you need to get busy. Know, I'll feel like a real ops manager for a while. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll actually we'll, pay Mike. We'll pay you. Yeah, we'll pay you. Yeah, we'll pay you Michael, Michael, a full time radio job. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We'll, so we'll give so, we'll give him the business. Yeah. Well, hey, that, hey, that, hey, that hey, would be epic. Did, now, but here's the thing: with your beard, you have to grow it out longer. Now here's the question. I would totally do that. Now here's the question: Did Deb go buy the tickets? Yeah, I, she, I told her to go get them tonight. If she didn't, I will shoot her. I'll throat punch her. Because you gave her money towards it. I did. And, and I have one more dollar to give because I said I'd owe you one later. Yeah, okay. Well, so she better. Somebody <laughs> want better win. Listen, all right, let's get, let's get, let's get, let's get, here's your dollar. Let's hold on. We're, nope, we're, here's your dollar. Okay, hold on. Let's, okay, okay, let's get your, let's right, get your right, review right, score right. so we can go to break. All right, here's my review score. So, like Mike said, like wanting to go to break. Like, like Mike said, uh, this Cause, is. Because I have the new clock right here. I don't know if you know. No, I know. And I, I'm looking at the clock too. It's 9.01. Yeah. And you're paying attention to it. So, this, it's a. It's a weak stout. Yes. It's a very weak stout. It's only a five and a half percent. It's good. It's very yes. drinkable. This now like that dragon's milk is eleven yeah, percent. Yes. That's one that I can only have one and be done. This yep. one I but could have two I could or drink three. I could, I could drink two or three of these. I could have two or three and be happy. And I might drink one but more of these before you know, having like, having said that that's quite good. It is the good. lower alcohol content I think kind of lowers the quality of it a little bit as a stout and the merits as a stout. So I'm gonna go on draft. With a seven nine, seven nine. Okay. Bottled, okay. I'm gonna go with a seven six. Okay. So you didn't get quite epic status for you. No, not. Okay. Uh, I this, will say this, this from the this bottle. Did it for yeah. me, but it didn't do it for me. All right. I'll enjoy, I'll enjoy another one. It's I, quite I good. I will say this. In yeah. fact, I will ask I to pick up another, another six of that before. I won't have another one tonight. But uh, I will. I don't give a shit. I will have another one, probably, this time next month is when I'll start drinking this again. From the bottle. You definitely get more of the mint, like, right away. Mm-hmm. From the draft, you get the mint as an after. This is more balanced. Okay, so draft, I would say this is one of those beers that is absolutely better on draft. This is more balanced. Yes. I agree. So, and uh, I'll actually, I'll, I'll ask Ritz to see if uh, we, can, that? we can get this on draft for I don't real. Think, yeah. I, for real. I, so, yeah. we'll, we'll see we've been we recommending beers. Like we'll great, see what yeah. we can do. And we, right. we've already made one of our beer dreams come true. And We uh, enjoyed it the other night. And we'll talk about that after the break. What's that, Josh? I won't go ahead and listen to the rest of the show, you guys. All right, buddy. All right, thanks for calling right, in, man. Yeah, but as I was saying, you know, Earl and I made one of our beer dreams come true at work. And uh, we'll talk about that after beer. the break. We made now, our beer Before dream. we go to the break, i got to say this. If we, you know, SKO does win the lottery and yeah. I start getting paid as ops manager, yeah. I will ZZ top this motherfucker. Well, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Fu Manchu. You, you got to be a sharp dressed man, though, every day. <laughs> oh, top hat and everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll do hat. the whole thing. Top hat. Top hat and a uh, tuxedo t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> if, if the day comes, and you and and you got the body right. for that. If the day comes that this becomes my full time job, yeah, I will rock that every damn day. Uh, Perfect. All right, let's go uh, break. You're listening to us on uh, SKO Radio Network, some kind of radio show. Stick around. We're saluting scary movie tonight. Scary. months, the FCC has given out over $2 million in fines to television networks for obscenity violations. That's right. But, you know, the networks are complaining that they can't really tell themselves what is and what is not obscene. So we're going to figure it out this morning right here on Today Now. Joining us is FCC spokesman Samuel Leslie. Mr. Leslie, how do you at the FCC go about deciding exactly what can and cannot go on TV? The key word is context. There's no reason to fear a fine as long as your content has uh, artistic or factual merit. Such merit can be found in programming ranging from NBC's nightly news to CBS's sitcom How I Met Your Mother, starring Allison Hannigan. Well, could you give us an example of artistic merit? Well, if uh, Allison Hannigan were to take her top off during an uh, upcoming episode of How I Met Your Mother, that would not in and of itself uh, fall within the definition of obscenity. 
Well, now, how would that be any different from the infamous uh, wardrobe malfunction of Janet Jackson at the Super Bowl a few years ago? Well, what Miss Jackson did was a tacky, lewd publicity stunt. Uh, whereas I'm sure any person uh, can see the inherent artistic value in Allison Hannigan slowly peeling away layer after layer of clothing until her milky white bosom is in full view, obscured only by a few wisps of her auburn hair. That would be acceptable. It would be beautiful. Well, I understand you have some clips that we're going to show to help illustrate this. Yes. Now, in this scene, Allison's character, Lily, is trying to convince her boyfriend, Marshall, that they should be more adult. Now, if she were to tear her shirt off to show him how serious she is, that would not warrant a fine, since it would be consistent with her character. Or Allison could come into the room with her shirt already off. But what if Marshall were the one to take off his clothes? That could result in a fine of up to $500 million. You know, I could give uh, additional examples. Let's say that the producers of the tragically canceled Veronica Mars wanted to do a nude scene with their character Trina Eccles, played by Alison Hannigan. She could be pulling herself out of a pool to uh, reveal that she isn't wearing a suit. What do you say to people who say that the quality of television is headed south, Mr. Leslie? Uh, I think that there is some legitimacy to, uh, to that. And I would actually encourage more of the networks to be bringing in talented people, such as Alison Hannigan, into their programming. For example, example, on uh, Allison Hannigan's IMDb page, uh, there's a credit for an unaired pilot called Me and the Boys, or there was a script that crossed my desk that featured a uh, beautiful female who falls in love with a governmental representative from the FCC. Uh, personally, I could envision someone with the talent and beauty of, say, Allison Hannigan. Uh, in the role of that female. There really should be more programming that features her talent. Mr. Leslie, thank you so much for your time this morning and clearing all this up for us. Thank you. Buffalo Wings and Buffalo Sabres, Beers and Brewers, Burgers, Brats and Browns. Let us bring the sports bar to you with the Sports Brewing Company. Broadcasting live every Sunday, 9.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. from the Windsor Pub in Akron, Ohio. It's the best of sports and more. Featuring Brad Gurton and Rick Carpenter. And you can only find it right here on the SKO Radio Network. Are you ready to have your huevos turned into balls of fury? Are you ready to be right for once, no matter how many times she's told you you're wrong? Are you ready for the new concept in manliness? It's time to throw down your clubs. It's time to climb out of the caves. It's time to join the onslaught of masculinity. Tune in to the Manpocalypse with Mike and Aaron every Saturday night from 7 to 10 p.m. right here on the SKO Radio Network. Me, baby, one more time. You're listening to SKO Radio, but there is no fake news. Fact is, we don't have any news at all. I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Hey, you want to come in for a Man, Rob. Hello? Is somebody there? Hello? Very funny. Who put you up to this, Cindy? Lose the cape, it's way too 90s horror. Oh, so what movie is this from? Die, cheerleader, die! Wanna play psycho killer? Can I be the helpless cheerleader? Oh, oh so is this where I'm supposed to beg for my life? Please, Mr. Killer, don't kill me! Oh. Oh, so is this where I'm supposed to bleed? Oh, look, I'm bleeding. Eek, eek. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to run, right? <laughs> okay, I'm running. I'm running. Help, help. Oh, now I'm going to fall and break my leg, leaving me helpless. <laughs> there you go, Mr. Scary Killer. I'm panicking now. This is the big climax. 
Hope you don't mind if I fake it. Oh, look at me. I'm all dead. I'm a gross, scary, severed head. Come on, please. Do you know who I am? I'm Miss Teen. You're really giving me a headache. And you got blood all over my Gucci sweater. I hope you're going to pay for that. Ah! I will not... You're listening to Some Kind of Radio Show here on the SKO Radio Network. Call now at 234-200-5110. Again, that's 234-200-5110. Now here's Earl McCune and the Crazy Crew. All right, it's uh, 9, 11 p.m. here on the East Coast. Welcome back to uh, hour number two of some kind of radio show here on the SKO Radio Network. Earl McCune along with Dylan Thompson, Mike Haig, and our special guest today, Mr. Brian Rufner. Hi, guys. Hey, and Brian's here, and uh, there's a lot of commotion out there. Yeah, they brought us something to eat. Is there food here? They brought us more, food. More beer? And it looks like an assortment. I like assortment, so it means we're going to have more beer reviews tonight. Yes. No. Why? No. Oh, that ain't reviewable beer. Uh, Budweiser, Bud Light. That's drinkable beer, but it's okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I was hoping for reviewable it, it, beer. It, 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 it's an assortment. It's, it's an okay. assortment. Okay. What, what, There's what, nothing wrong with One can beer. might not look like the other one. Which it's okay. One? Yeah, you know what? Beer is beer tonight, and I don't really care because I'm having a good time. And your wife's showing up at 9.30, so... Oh, God. Why do you, 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 you got to bring us down, man? Why do you have to bring us down like that? Debbie shows up at 9.30. Uh, we later. invite you to yeah. the show. And, 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 <laughs> and you just... And you just, just totally crashed it up. I, 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 I just burn. took the wind out of your sail. It's totally gone. But, you know, on a sadder note, the Cavs are losing right now, 69-52. Uh, at, they're in the second quarter, for Christ's sake. Look at this shit. They're not even at halftime, and the Minnesota Timberwolves have 69 points. But there's a defense tonight. Gone. You well, see, it's not even the freaking uh, halftime yet. They took tonight off. We, 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 really? We, we, we lost off offensive guy. Remember that? Yeah, we lost we lost our offense and our defensive guy. To <laughs> the, the, he took his talents to Los Angeles. But anyway... Yeah. If you'd like to join us on the program, we, our uh, phone lines are open as always, 234 200 5110. That'll get you right through here tonight on some kind of radio show on the SBO uh, Radio uh, Network. Uh, Alex Leader from Texas. You Texas. know who you are. Remember, remember when he called in? Last oh, time yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't heard from him. We're the homeless time. guy. Yeah, I haven't heard from him in a while. The so, anyway, yeah. anyway, Alex, if you're out there, give us a call, dude. I actually seen him. At, at uh, uh, the band's party, I don't know, about a month ago. Mm -hmm. No kidding. And that's the first time I've seen him, like, in 30 years. Yeah. Well, and he was with yeah. his stepbrother. Yeah. That found each other after right. 30 years. No kidding. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I'm actually excited what we're going to be starting to do here uh, in the uh, in 2019. We're actually going to start promoting concerts. Nice. Yeah, in uh, 2019, uh, we have a we have a deal with the Windsor Pub, so all the events are going to be there, and they're going to be free. I mean, they're free. Um, you get into obviously. So they're going to be doing concerts there. Well, basically band nights. We're just going to do nice. like a live band, and we'll do a remote from there that night, and uh, do just have some fun. Oh, and, that's uh, pretty cool. Uh, then uh, so I've already talked to them about it. Obviously, they're on board with us because they do the we do the remote show from there on Sunday nights, which has been going very very well. Um, the uh, sports brewing company on Sunday nights. I do. Uh, the, uh, live from the Windsor Park. Yeah, welcome back. The first night was uh, first was night a, was what it was. The first night was rough. Yeah. First night was it was bad. But That's, then we but then we got it. But we got we it. tuned it in really quick and yeah, uh, we we figured it out. We, we figured it out. We got. They do a good show. Yeah. They do a great. They know their stuff. And you know, I mean, a lot of people just let us know like. They, and they've actually wrote and say, "Hey, is that show actually on remote?" It sounds like something you're in the yeah. studio. Yeah, I'm like, no, it we're, absolutely is. We're remote. Yeah, it's a remote show and it's live and uh, able to take calls just like here. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 yeah, it's just like a it's, it's a mobile a, studio. It's a mobile is studio. Exactly yeah. what it is. Yeah, that's right. basically what we got. We got right mobile, now. It's yeah. set up back there. Yeah, we have a mobile studio, which yeah. is great, and we just take it anywhere we need to go. And yeah, we have it set up on. As long as we got power, we're good to go. We're good. Yeah. 
Yeah, we have it set up on reserve right now, and mm-hmm. Sundays we take it down and take it to the Windsor. Mm-hmm. But we're going to have a full-time mobile or secondary studio yeah. here in the, after January. Soon. Very soon. Very soon. We have to win the lottery. Don't have to win the lottery, dude. Just got to wait till January so I can afford <laughs> to buy or anything. After we win the lottery, yeah. After we win the lot- lottery, we'll just, like, we'll just have like six studios. <laughs> After right. we win the lottery, we're going to have a lot of things. We're yeah. going to have a lot of things. We're yeah. going to be doing shows from our hot tubs. I mean, come on. Oh, that would be great. Oh, well, you, I'd like to get like a set. I'd like to get Jamaica. I, I, I built, you know, like I said, I would build a location, like build a building. You yeah. Know, and I would like actually set it up like, you know, Dude. how Howard Stern's studio is. You know, you have couches and shit. Oh, oh, couches. Yeah. And, you know, on, oh, the yeah. roof, on the roof for yeah. the summertime, we'll have like those infinity oh, pools. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and yeah. With, with a bar. Yeah. And we'll do the show from right there. I love it. Pipe bartender. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, you know, we can oh, be like the coolest man. shit. We can be Topless the, bartender. We'd be the coolest shit in town, oh, dude. Here. I can't say it. <laughs> you can he'd be, a, he'd be a big guy oh. named Bubba. The door shut. Oh, topless, topless guy, guy named Bubba. Bubba huh? Big guy <laughs> named Bubba is the topless guy. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, you'd be the hottest pepper in town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you're the hottest St. Patrick's Day pepper in town. And I am, and I'm was like, you yeah, know, whatever. Queer. <laughs> Not as queer as you getting a pedicure, you hey, hey. Yeah, don't right. pick on his so, boyfriend. Uh, he got a pedicure yesterday. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Now, we, as I, so told, you, I, was gonna, so I told you I was going to get on you about that. Uh, yeah. Get it out. Okay. Get it all out now. Okay. And then I'll defend myself. Is your nails all nice and buffed? No. They're not. No, I hey, didn't hey, get hey. a manicure. Pedicure? It's you know, pedicure. I'm going to say this. My your brother. Your toenails all nice and buffed and like pretty. Yeah, he no, looked all pretty when he walked in there. paint your toenails. He's got his nails did, gone. Did, so did you get, they like, did they like clean them up? And, yeah, they like dug them out and all that See, shit. I told you they, they, they got his nails all nice I and told you. My brother he, he, dated he, a girl who, you know, she went to school for all that. You should have got a manicure. So oh, she yeah. did, the, you know, a pedicure for him. He was going to start going out for Manny Pit. Yo, they would come in here looking all, looking all buffed and everything. And this I is, think this is really all He got manscaped, too. Right, right. He got manscaped. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, 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 That's what he got man, talking about. He got manscaped. He got manscaped. And, 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 he goes, and, Dylan and, had to go get me. And, and, Dylan had to be out here five and, 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 and get now manscaped. He, now, he's up, now he's upset that Bob didn't show up. I'm thinking he got stood up. Damn us. This way. is about as much as I can defend you, okay? All right. My brother had him, had it done because his girlfriend at the time, you know, went to school for all that. And he said... Was it, was she hot? She was. Okay, well, she there's was. an excuse. Then. I haven't seen um, Bob. Is Bob hot? Bob is... You know Bob. Bob's a manly man to the core. Bob's a very but, manly you know, man. He's, he's here on Sundays from 11 to 2. <laughs> anyway, anyway, my brother had it done, and he did say it, it, it was amazing. <laughs> my brother said it was amazing. Poor deal. That being said, I, I still don't know that there's a woman alive that could talk me into getting a pedicure. You, okay. I can see a dare coming in on this or a bet. I mean, maybe. Oh, I see a Okay, I got, I got five words for I you. I see a bet or a dare. I got, I got five it's words, it's words for you. It's kind of like that eating challenge kind of thing. Oh, yeah. I got five words for you. Free beer, free pulled pork. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, and, that, and then the follow-up two words, hot girls. Okay. Oh. All right, I gotta give it, dude. I'll take that. Under those and then circumstances, two, and then two more, I, I, and then two I, I, more free words. That one, free whiskey. Under those circumstances, yeah. Uh, dude, you know what, ladies, all, do whatever you want. It's all free. It's all, so. So here's the story behind this. You guys butthole bleach too. <laughs> no. <laughs> there you go. So so this is it's a place in in Stowe. Let's, let's, let's get, get this story going. Come on. Come on. There we go. Let's get. Right. Right. Let, me, let me tell. Let me tell the story. Right. So. So this is a place in Stowe, uh-huh. and uh, twice a year they do a thing called uh, a guys night is what they call it. They offer free beer, free pulled pork. They have free mac and cheese, uh, mac and cheese and all that too. Uh-huh. They have raffles and all that, and then butthole bleaching. No, okay, well, I got, I got <laughs> yes, a pedicure, and then the girl did my eyebrows. I didn't want her to do my eyebrows, but. Shit happens. They, 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 they waxed, look the same, dude. And they waxed my nose. <laughs> they waxed. They waxed your nose. Let me tell you, I can breathe so clearly right now, you wouldn't believe it. They do anything to like your ears? No, no, just wax. They, they can just, though. Yeah, they can though. I know you. See, I get ear you gotta, hair. 
Right. I get the worst so they, and they nose hair. I'll tell you what. Oh, yeah. When I sneeze sometimes, I look like a party favor. All right. So, <laughs> so um, I guess what I'm hearing is next time we're taking a station field trip. Uh, okay. I'll tell you what. We'll do it. We'll do it on we're video. We'll do it on video. video. That's, That's fine. fine. We're yeah. making a road yeah. trip. It's yeah. fine. Okay. There's free beer. Yeah. Okay. There's, there's free, beer. free pulled pork. There's free pulled And there's free whiskey. Well. I don't know if there's necessarily going to be free pulled pork. It could be a different kind of food. This okay, month it was okay. pulled pork, but and then uh, well, yeah. here's the thing. We'll do this on video and we'll we put it on the station. To, okay. station we have to show pick page. The, we have to pick the month where the food is worthy because I'm not yeah. doing it for p- free pizza. No, it, it, it's okay, not pizza. It's, it's got to like, be like manly it's like, freaking. No, food. it's like slow cooked food. It's okay. See, you, you, you and Aaron got that good eats thing, right? I get Aaron needs a pedicure. Oh yeah, he needs a man. He needs oh, manscaped. Yeah. Aaron he needs, needs a manscaped. manscaped. Aaron needs a manscaped. Aaron can get a manicure too. Oh yeah, Aaron absolutely. Just, Aaron just needs some. Now, Aaron just needs wax. He, he can do the whole forty-year-old virgin waxing. He needs some. Hey, 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 I would hate to see that. Hey, so, hey, that would be a good. I could just see him going. Kelly Clarkson. Hey, hey, he needs. No, in his case, in his case, in his case, Britney Spears. Yeah. <laughs> so. Sorry, Aaron. They offer. <laughs> that was just wrong. It's, but it's so right. They offer, but it's so right. They offer chair dead, massages. Dead nuts on. They offer the. Now, see, there's nothing wrong with massages. Right? They offer the manicures. Okay. They offer <coughs> the ear, eyebrow. Except for the bitch downstairs. And, uh, <laughs> and nose waxing. They don't do anything like that. Yeah. And haircuts are like 20 or $25 all the time. No tip included. They give you like a, a massage from the scalp down to the fingertips. And okay, so normally, normally we would never actually name the place that does this on the air. But in this case... We have to. This place is called we're, Gavin Scott. Gavin Scott, yes. Okay. Where is it at? It's in Stowe. In okay. Stowe. They got their free plug. They got free their free plug. plug. Ben see, just, that's some, see, that's see, that's a subject you can talk about. Oh, so, so, I think you guys should. Talk, I think you guys should discuss that. You know, is is, is like a pedicure manly? Is that is that something worthy of your now, guys' attention? Now, now the, the, the asterisk attention. is is a pedicure with beer manly. Oh, well, anything with beer is manly. There you go. So you're not allowed to make fun of me anymore, you well, dick. See, no. I'll still make Here, fun of you. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, man. And my feet are soft I'm, as a fucking I'm baby's bottom, side, you asshole. I'm, I'm well, on good your side, up there because hers is like as rough as a goddamn. Here's the thing. You see her feet? Jesus Christ. She's, Even, hers looks like a fucking like. It's, uh, it's gonna take oh, three come seconds on. He looks to take good. care of. Uh, no, no. You need like a. You need like a. You need a freaking uh, jackhammer to get this shit off. Our good friend Ben. Just hey, texted he, me. No, is our he, good friend Ben. Is just he alive? He's listening. He's alive. Hi, Ben. Hi, ben, ben lives. And he says, he says, did an Asian woman do your? F- <laughs> <laughs> she ben. was white. If she was Asian, you might have thought it was Ben. <laughs> <laughs> she was white. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. <laughs> we okay. miss you, Ben. So here, I miss you, Ben. Here's the man apocalypse take on this you. subject. Right. Yeah. I never knew an Asian man named Bob. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Ben. <laughs> ben. We All right, let's hear the, the, the manpocalypse take. Manpocalypse take. Is yes. it ever manly to get a pedicure? <laughs> Absolutely not. However, for beer and food, men will do unmanly things. Absolutely. That, that's that's and so manly right things. There. I want another one of these. And the the chief complaint. <laughs> it's manly though. I want this. I want the, another one the of these. The chief these complaint in bed from a woman, yeah. I guess, is that. A man's feet are too rough. They pull the covers, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know if you guys have ever gotten that. But See, my feet are soft. I have never known. But, dubs are like fucking. But, uh, but so a, lot of, a lot like, of guys like, get this complaint. It's like That's a true story. So what what lengths are you willing to go to to please your woman? None with mine. It, it, <laughs> it depends. It depends on the point in the relationship, I guess. <laughs> now, now. I've been <coughs> I've been with her for a year and a half. Yes, I'd do anything for her. Just saying. Okay, now, uh, but I won't do that. But I won't. <laughs> <do that. laughs> he won't do that. <laughs> whatever <laughs> that is. There's a song there. But you know, I've been doing with Deb for like 16 years, and I definitely would be like, I, 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 I let's just put it this way: my grooming. Why habits, do you play that damn song? My grooming. Right, we don't habits, play songs on this show. My, my grooming habits are definitely a lot more complex than Deb's. I actually fix my hair. <laughs> what little you have. I wipe, thumb. I wipe my own ass. 
I'm biting my tongue. I can wipe my own ass. And, 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 and you do the dirty job of it, by the way. You stinky fuck. Oh, and, did I say that? Wow. And, 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 I, and I wash my and I wash my crevices. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I, I broke no, it. No, I'm sorry. Oops. I mean, oh, I'm breaking my shit. Hey, your shit too. What? Right? Hey, what? You break? You fix it? It's unplugged now. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not <unplugged. laughs> I was trying to plug it with one hand. Oh plugged. shit! I really broke oh, it. Oh shit! But, uh, oh shit! But no, okay, I, I will so, just stand on getting a pedicure is not manly. However, there are situations where a man will say, "You know what?" I'm going for it. So, uh, let me tell, uh, tell me he does not look good in pink nail polish. I don't have any nail polish. He doesn't have any nail polish. They didn't on put it. nail polish on it. However, did they, they offer? offer? No. No? No, they didn't offer. But this this is actually going to sound gay. However, I, I this is say actually going to sound gay. Okay. A little bit of camouflage nail polish okay. might have worked. Okay. 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 No, the, this is going to sound gay. This is going to sound gay here. That was going to sound gay here. They used a lime sugar scrub on the feet. And oh, it was, nice. And it was... It, it Exfoliating? Like, sure. Let's go with that. But, <laughs> sure. He goes, sure. Let's go sure. with that. <laughs> but, but, let's go with that. It is, sure. Let's uh, go with I, that. I'm going to give that one two thumbs up there. And I, your feet I, still live, by, I live by the idea that I will try anything once and then a second time to make sure. So he would, tr- so he would take it to poop shit anything. once. Anything. Anything. And a second time to make sure he didn't like it. Hey. That's why Bob called That's you so back. <laughs> 20 bucks is 20 bucks. <laughs> hey, it gets lonely in the field. <laughs> but, okay, okay, so, so, so Dill will be the guy going on. What happens so, is 20 bucks. So, so here's the next question. So here's the next question, the the next question that might Earl, create. Earl, fire 20 away. bucks and all. At the end of the day, Bob called him back. So, here, <laughs> so here's the next he question. So fire away. Manly sexy. Um. If if Cassie asks you to go get a couple's massage with her, will you do it? A massage is different. A couple's massage a is massage different. A massage is completely different. Massages are one thing. I Massa- like massage yeah. is you have tense, tight muscles, and somebody Especially is Especially get a good deep out. tissue massage. I mean, okay. there's nothing wrong with that. I will even go so far as to say I'd be okay with a guy giving me a massage because that motherfucker can dig deeper into the muscle. Okay. Come over here, brother. Right. Bubba. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Rifner is giving massages here at the SKO. Yeah, Network. And, and, Come on and, down. And, and they're cheap. He's dirt cheap. He'll, two bucks. <laughs> Give you a hell of a good time. Go suck two bu- I, I'm halfway what? there. What? I'm halfway there. We You're got the one there. dollar. Hey, here's a dollar, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he's got I'll owe you later. <laughs> he's got a tooth that drags a herd. So oh, yeah. It's but, just rumor. Turn on the red. Forget the whole couple. Turn on the red light, Earl. I've... I used to work for a, uh, I don't know what you would call it, but like it was a tennis court slash sure, like gym, a slash, club. yeah, country club type thing. I've paid for massages. Massages are a little bit different. They are, different, they are, but they aren't. You, you, because you, you have to take care of your feet. That's the truth. I'm not doubting that one. And, and, and this, at, at, at come on, you, you know I have freaking ruck marched all over. Oh, the I know, place, I know. So I know taking care of my feet. I just don't know that, you know, a lime, salt, you know, whatever. It's bath. sugar, you <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> but so, what, what are we doing? Do? What are we doing? Yeah. Margaritas yeah. on our feet here? Yeah. What the fuck? Toe jam margaritas. Hey, they, were cleaning off. Off. Hey, margaritas. they were clean enough after they were done. <laughs> Toe jam margaritas. So, but and, ha- <laughs> and having someone sitting there able to get at it and that's professionally trained to take care of your feet. It's just, it's a different experience. It's like if you're at home and Cassie gives you a massage, it's completely different than going and getting a Dillard. professional Absolutely. massage. Because a massage from your wife turns into sex. <laughs> Not always. Sometimes. A massage across the hallway turned into sex. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I heard that about that. I heard the same thing happens downstairs, too. Whoa. There. Oh. Whoa. Dylan, are you a total sucker? No. Okay. I will not try that. <laughs> Right. Well, so you, you would try anything. Anything. I said you would. We were at war. I don't even want to ask twice. All right. All right. On t- All right. I will. I will rescind that. <laughs> I. I <laughs> as did every child. Put a foot in my mouth at one point sure and did, did not like it. <laughs> so, so your new motto is: I will try many things once. I will try many it's things. But he won't do 
that. But I, a, and yeah. I said I won't do that. Let's take what a break. What is that? Here you go. Let's take a break. <laughs> we'll continue break this time. conversation. Are <laughs> right, we right back? Some kind of radio show here on the SKO Radio Network, live from the Rising Star Studio. Ah! Take a break. Six minutes. We'll be back. It's true that I fart, but I wouldn't call myself a farter. I'm a social farter. I really only do it when I'm out with my friends that fart. We hang out, we drink, we dance, just have some fun being together. Farting. Sometimes I'll use farting as an excuse to meet a guy. Do you want to go outside for a fart? We talk. We fart. Just because I fart at parties now and then, it doesn't make me a farter. Being a small business owner can be the challenge of a lifetime. To worry about every little aspect of growing your business is no easy task. Paramount to these is reaching and growing your customer base. That's where we here at the SKO Radio Network can help. With an ever-broadening local, national, and international audience, we can come up with an advertising plan that's right for you and your reach. Easy and affordable rates are available. You can bring your own ad, or we can produce your ad for you right here in-house. Give us a call at 234-706-5857. That number again is 234-706-5857. Or drop us a line at office at skoradio.com. SKO Radio Advertising. The only thing easier is listening. In the beginning, Pat created Ham Radio Heaven. But somehow it just wasn't enough. Listeners wanted more. So they went back to the drawing board hoping to create that perfect show. Something is going to happen. What? What's going to happen? Something wonderful. Join Dale and I for Radioactive as we discuss technology and life in the world around us. That's Radioactive, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Saturdays here on SKL. Hi folks, Handy Randy. Some kind of radio, every Tuesday night, 6 o'clock, we take your themes. First off, we need you to go to yesterday and today's classics, music, chat, trivia, and games, and join that Facebook site. Once you do that, then watch for the themes and the requests. Tuesday night, 6 until 10, classic rock and roll, promise will knock your socks off. This is Harry Jack Bob, and you're listening to the new Some Kind of Radio Show here on the SKO Radio Network. Now with 100% more itchy bows. I'm here at Lover's Lookout. It's dark, it's in the middle of nowhere, and it's where hormone-driven teens love to come and fool around. So very likely, we're about to see someone get killed. Okay, sure enough, there's a girl in that car, blouse unbuttoned, all alone. Let's see if she'll have a word with us. Hi, Gail Hailstorm, author of the new book, You're Next. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can you tell us your name? Well, my name's Heather. And my Heather, can you tell us what you're doing out here all alone? Well, yeah, sure. My boyfriend and I were just, like, making out, and then we mm -hmm. heard a noise out there, so we went to go check it, mm -hmm. but... Well, that was like 10 minutes ago or yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Heather, has it crossed your little mind that your boyfriend was probably murdered and you're about to be slaughtered next? Really? <laughs> no way. Way. Heather, good luck. <laughs> Thanks, Gail. You're the best. I know. Ah! Hey, oh! God, I thought the ah! was happening. Oh! Oh! I'm going to try and break into the blood shot. Are you getting this? Excuse me. Ah! Heather, Heather, oh! can you tell us what you're feeling, honey? Lots of pain. Gail, please help me. Gail, please. I'd like to help you out, but it's sweet. Sir, sir, can I get a word with you? Sir, you got a word in there? 
of coming here. I'm just trying to do my job. Get the camera off. No, Kenny, keep rolling. Keep You're rolling, dead, Kenny. I'm going to slice your head off. Sweet Jesus. Shit, get, get the camera off me. Oh, my God, Kenny. Kenny, do your fat ass. Kenny. Oh, God, he's right behind you. The smart is chasing him again. <laughs> Listening to some kind of radio show here on the SKO Radio Network. Call now at 234 200 5110. Again, that's 234 200 5110. Now, here's Earl McCune and the Crazy Crew. All right, we're back on some kind of radio show 936. Give us a call. We'd love to hear from you tonight. 234 200 5110. And uh, tonight's movie salute. Scary movie, which was a good one. Good, it wasn't real scary. It was more no, funny. I mean, it was more, more funny than anything. It was, it was a mockery. It was a, it was a parody, really, of Scream. Yeah, you know, in all honesty, but <clears throat> quite quite entertaining movie. Very enjoyable, very enjoyable movie. Uh, we have a poll running tonight. Uh, yeah, who's winning that? I don't know. I have to check it. I checked it in a little bit here. Sorry, I'm out of breath because we ran upstairs. We like, ran upstairs. We, we literally had, ran upstairs. We like, had less than a minute left. We're like, oh shit, we're walking in the door. And we hear Aaron back on. I'm like, oh fuck, we're running back around here. Like, ah, ah, ah. God, we're old. We're old here. Fuck. I'm checking the poll right now. Let's see. Who is winning the... What, what movie is winning the poll? Hold on, let me go here and see. Yeah, the video got like 102 views. The video got 102 views. That's pretty good. Um, it does it does not let me see the poll question? I don't like that. I'll see if I can find it. Yeah, too. that's. It doesn't want to let me see the poll question. Well, if I go to actual the actual post, let me see what happens. Um. Hmm. Don't know. Hmm. Yeah, we'll find it. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. Uh, Believe it or not, we know what we're doing. We, anyway, we know what we're doing anyway. Believe it or not, we actually do know what we But uh, give us a call. Let us know. Hey, if you got a movie salute suggestion for next week, we'd love to hear it. Uh, pick a Halloween horror movie, whatever. If you got a suggestion, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. 234-250-110. You can also text us. Um, texting us is uh, definitely an option. Um, somebody did comment on Dylan doing his feet. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was Ben. <laughs> Secret agent, man. Yep. Ben was Ben was texting us. I wasn't looking at the text messages, but Ben was texting us, letting us know what he uh, thought about that. Get your text there, Ben, if you're listening still. All right, uh, 939, give us a call, 234-250-110. And, you know, now that Dylan's out of the room, we can make fun of him more. But uh, not really. Uh, but I'll tell you what, no, in all honesty, yeah, you know, like, you and I were talking downstairs for a minute. Yeah. You know, we were talking about, you know, the the if, if there's, like, free beer right, and good food, yeah, I'll try it. Absolutely. No, I, I, do it. I mean, that's the motive. That'd be my motivation for doing it. I wouldn't just go do it just to do it and say, oh, I need to get this done. It's not like going to get my hair cut. You know, it's, exactly. You know, go, it's like when I want to get my hair cut, I know, hey, I got to get a haircut. I got to get myself in for a haircut. You know? Like I said downstairs, and I'm not going to pull any punches, when it came to my brother doing it, yeah. it was his girlfriend. He yeah. probably got laid that night. I'm sure he did. You yeah. know, yeah. so there's a motivation right there. Yeah, there has to be a motivational reason for me to do something like that. I mean, now, like, if Dev asked me to do it, I'd be like, no, fuck you. Uh, I mean, you know, I, I take care <laughs> of my feet. I, I cut my toenails. Yeah. No, I, I, turn it away from so you get lucky? I'm getting lucky by not getting lucky. Let's just put it that way. Oh, all right, well, we're, <laughs> I, I, I won't talk that one. Let's, let's just put it that way. I'm very lucky by not getting lucky. Yeah, yeah. Just leave it at that. 
<laughs> I'm just, just, I'm, the longer I'm, she lives him alone, the I, better. I, I, the I'm longer I'm left alone, the better. And, you know, I'm literally like, you know, it's so funny. I always joke around, you know, think about Al Bundy, you know, how he'd always turn away Peg, you know, like. Yeah, that that's my life. I, I'm Al Bundy and Deb's Peg. You know, what I mean, yeah, you know, he he named his and, and, seven of nine for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and you know what? I, I, I don't know at, at, at what point when you're married that that becomes the situation. It it, it, uh, it, it, it that's not all marriages, though. I mean, my oh, no, I, 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 I understand, but but there's a lot of them out there that are that way. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you know what I mean? Right. You, 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 you love them to death. Oh, yeah. I, 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 don't know, I love them to death, too. But it, somewhere at the end of the day, I don't know, you just, I don't know if it's the age or what, but, I don't know, at the end of the day, the, it, the interest in sex becomes an issue. Yeah, it happens. Oh, it happens all the time. It happens. I mean, it, it, it's, it is what it is, you know. I mean, it's like, well, don't get me wrong. I, I still love, I, I'm still very interested in sex. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> right. I, it's just, we're, 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 we're dudes. Come on. You know, we're, we're, it's, we're all interested. It, in it's just time, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. I don't love Deb any less. It's just, you know, it's just, it's just not, you know. Don't, don't go there. Uh, I, that's, that's why I have Pamela Henderson. Yeah. <laughs> I, I noticed you did have nice calluses. Well, my forearm, if you notice, my forearm is like Pamela. Your forearm right. and your calluses are <laughs> awesome, <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah. You have one hell of a grip. I have one. Even with a bad wrist, I have one hell of a grip. So, I mean, I, I can grab that fucker like, <laughs> hold on, big boy. Hold on tight. Yeah, and the sad thing is you only needed two fingers. One and one a thumb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just just enough to go, hold on. Hold on, big boy. Hold on. Yeah. All, all you got to do is reach the end. It's just like, you know, it's like flipping it. You know, it's, just like flip, it's, like, it's like those little fidget spinners, you know. It's, just, <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's, it's like flipping around a fidget spinner. That's basically what I call it, you know. Oh, uh, well. Uh, 10 o'clock hour, we'll be doing our second beer review of the night. Uh, we're going to be drinking something a little on the stronger side. This is a Russian beer we're going to be drinking at 10 o'clock. Uh, we're going to be doing Dose that. Dose Yeah, that's oh, that right. Oh, that's what Dylan's doing? That's what we're doing, yeah. We got a, a, a special beer tonight. Um, I forget what the hell this is called. Old Rest Beauty. Old Rest, thank you. I, I, my memory's awfully fucked right now. Old Rest Beauty. This is, now, this is a Russian beer. Yeah. So, and it's a, it's, they say it's one of the darkest stouts Milk stout available. Ev- you can get. It's dark as dark gets. I mean, it's. You think Guinness is dark? This stuff is supposed to be blacker and darker. It's supposed to be like tar as far as right. the darkness. I mean, it's black. I mean, this stuff is very jet black. So that's what I was told uh, earlier today. So I'm like, eh, what the hell? We'll try give it. Give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. We'll review it. We'll score it. And uh, we'll tell you what you think. Whether We'll tell you what we think, and you can kind of make your own assessment if you ever go out and buy it, and then you can let us know. It's funny about these beer reviews. You can, you know, we'll try them. Say, hey, give it a shot. Then let us know what you think. I mean, here at SKO, we're nothing if not amateur alcoholics yeah, anyway. that's so. it. You know, we should, like, create an app. <laughs> I'm serious. We should create an app right? where we do beer reviews and have other people put their, like, you've seen the, like, the one-bite review thing? Yeah. Uh, I, I, you know, uh, they do over at Barstool, and they, they, they because yep. he does, uh, you know, Dave over there does the uh, pizza reviews. Well, yep. I got that app, because, I mean, you can go in and actually review a pizza, on, and then put your own score in, which is great, which yeah. is kind of cool. And, you know, if, and you, it kind of averages out the uh, local, or wherever you're at, score. So I was like, it'd be fun to do a beer app. I think, you know, we're, you know, an SKO beer review app, and you input your beer, and you rate it from 1 to 10. I think that'd be cool. Uh, actually, we have a lot of local breweries. Oh, I know, and that's the thing. I think it'd a be lot fun. Of them. And, a lot I, of them. and I've been talking to a couple of um, the uh, the uh, uh, distributors in the area, and we've been, I've been telling them what they're we're doing. Actually, my boss at work's been telling them what we're doing, and they're all like, "Well, yeah, we maybe we can throw you some beverages if you want to review them for us." I mean. 
If you want to give me a free beer to review it, sure, I'm oh, happy yeah. to do it. You know? yeah. I mean, give us, send us a beer, we'll yeah. review it, and, 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 and I'll then, give you an honest score whether I like it or I don't. Oh, absolutely. And, and at the end of the day, I, I, I really don't think uh, that any of them uh, they would have a problem with giving you a six pack and have everybody that's. Oh yeah, review it. Yeah, that's, oh, for yeah, sure. that's, that's, that's the thing. It's like, yeah, uh, it's like uh, if we were if we were oh, oh, radio, we couldn't do it. I mean, it's against look, the law. With the FCC. Here's the thing. Now, especially like, when we're talking, internet radio, you can do whatever you want. Oh yeah, right. When we're talking like local breweries, oh yeah, you know, or you know, micro brews, they want they want people, exposure. They want exposure. Okay. Yeah. Years ago, when I worked for a, a specific dealership, mm -hmm. after work every Friday, we'd go to this local bar. Okay. And they started doing micro brews, and oh. we were just the regulars so much right. that we got, you know, you guys all, got the sample. Yeah, we got the sample all the time, and I'm talking by the pitcher. Oh yeah, you know. So you got yeah, and they want to know what you think. They want to know. I mean, it's like you know, we get the we get the distributors all the time come in once a week where I work, and they'll bring in a few beers, and you know, my boss will say, "Hey, you want just a little, little shot glass worth, you know, just a right. little glass," and we's like, "Here, let's just not that we're drinking drinking." It's like, "Here, let's." Give us a taste and yeah. you know let them know what you think. And I've done that. Dylan's done it a few times. It's like you know, here I'll try it. I'm like yeah, that's really good. Or hey, I'm not a fan. You know, I mean, I, I've I've learned over time what I've become a fan of and what I'm not. You know, like there's some IPAs that I will drink and enjoy. Absolutely. And then Other IPAs that, that are just absolute shit. Um, one thing I am not a fan of is sours. No. I do not like sour beers. No. Um, I have grown an appreciation for stouts. I think you and I have a very similar palate when it comes to beers. Yeah, I, really I think do. so. Because you and I rate things really close. Yeah. And, uh, you know, because you and I sat down and we've drank a 12 pack together. Yeah. And just the, those, we did that one at your house at one time. Yeah. We, we, and we, uh, we, we drank, me and him killed a 12 pack and probably another six of so we were just a sample pack. And we were just shooting the shit like, oh, hey, this is good. Okay, hey, try this one. And we were just yep. sitting there just kind of like, Jokingly around reviewing, I was like, "Shit, we should have been doing this on video the whole yeah, time." Yeah, we should have been. Then, live we, did, that then, night. We, then we did a beer, burger review, burger on, review yeah, that on night. video. You know, which we've got to bring those back here soon because I haven't done a oh, burger yeah. review. We in haven't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to start. I've, I've been, people have actually been asking if we're going to start bringing the burger reviews back, and we're going to be doing those here again real, real soon. So, burger reviews are coming back. Food challenges are coming back as well. So, we're going to be doing a lot of that stuff coming up here um, as we get into the end of this year, first of January. We're going to be. Uh, bringing a lot of that stuff back into the fold because there's nice. been so much going on here and at my regular job and it's just been a lot of stuff happening you know i mean we've been busy here with uh doing our, we're we're doing our, we're doing a big upgrade on our uh software here and you know you know firsthand yep. you've helped on that and it's a big job it really and, is uh, but when we get Deb's it done doing, yeah when we get it done it's going to be killer because all we gotta do is uh go in there and type what we want instead of having to search 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 type what we want play it and we could actually because one idea we're gonna have here at this station we're gonna do theme days for me because we play everything here <clears throat> yeah, we might do an oldies day and or we might do a um like 80s day 80s or day anything or, like that yeah, and we, we don't buy first do <clears throat> an oldies day yeah. oldies show on he does a show yeah. we're talking like a whole, a whole day. day we're talking about doing like a theme day you know like oh, we'll do, like, do like an day. 80s day or we do 90s yeah, day say, or we do country first. day or i mean you know we well because well, let's be, let's be real yeah our automation right now picks any song from our library, it doesn't matter what over genre. fifty over fifteen thousand songs. It, in our it really doesn't matter when it came out. So we could literally play Eminem and yeah. then Van follow, Halen will follow right behind Van Halen, and then you know, <clears throat> I don't know. Give me something really, really freaking old. Oh God, uh, Chubby Checker. Chubby Checker. You know, in uh, order, Cash. And it's yeah, just, and you might get all that within like a ten minute period. Like whoa, and it's hey, all over the place. It's so all over the place. What we're talking about. I is, mean, which is great because you get a variety. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a good get, thing. I'm not bitching. But we want to we want to narrow it down where we can actually do like a, a, a like Mondays this day or Tuesdays this day, Wednesdays this day. Um, you know, Friday we might do nothing but podcast or something right. like that. You know, who knows? I mean, we might throw out a different and, day. And, 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 and to be honest with you, you ought to do just like he said, just one day where you have an open genre. Open genre day? Like oh, yeah. Basically, right now, every day is, right now, basically, right now, it works, right now, every day is open genre day. Um, 
Because, like I said, you go from Van Halen to Chubby Checker to Eminem. I mean, that's just right. that's kind of what our regular format is. Yep. And then, um, but we want to break it down. Going and you're going into 2019 is a, like a theme day, and we'll now like we'll put a schedule out because every day will be different. Yeah. Well, I mean, we won't have like it won't be like Mondays will be the we'll we'll actually put a calendar out and, and say. Hey, okay, this day of the you know we'll and, have, and, and then there's Friday nights where they got to listen to us ass. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, and it's Friday nights we listen to us okay. ass. But you know, here's the cool thing about it is we could do so much with the with the new system we're putting in place. It's just and then for the request shows, it's going to be even better. All I got to do is type in the name instead of having to hunt through the library like you do now because you have to go right. by artist. Boom, it's there. You just type it in and it's bam. Boom, it's there. Boom, it's there. Whether we, if, it'll let you know right away if we have it or not. So I've spent like a minute and a half searching for it. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a game be, changer. It's going to be, really be a game changer for us. It's going to change everything up. Um, you know, we might even do like a day of nothing but podcasts and talk shows. I mean, yep. I mean, there's just a lot of things we can do where you know we have a lot of pre-recorded material now in our library sent to us. Um, you know, the the folks over at uh, Drinks with Larry, Pop I, Culture I, Cosmos. Um, those are the two ones we have now. Then we have a new one starting this Sunday, right before the kids show. Uh, Chandler Kitchen is doing a show. It's going to be all inspirational. Christian music yeah. from nine to ten in the morning, which I think is going to be great. And he's going to, you know, it's it's a pre-recorded show. I listened to it today as I was getting ready to throw in the system. And you know, he plays a couple songs. He breaks in, talks for a minute, does some inspirational, you know, a real inspirational Sunday morning show. I think it'd be great. Which is going to be great. He's going to be doing. It's going to be every Sunday from nine to ten going forward. Because that's that's <clears throat> the thing about us. I mean, we're, we do, we're, we're open to anything. We're open to anything, as you long know, as it's not, you stu- know, yeah, as long as it's not stupid and. Racist and yeah, I mean, I'm not going to get into that kind of shit. No, we're know? not going to get into the racism and stuff like that. Yeah. But if you've got a good show, no matter what genre it is, yeah. like I said, we have a pot. You know, we have the comedy show with the Drinks with Larry guys. We have uh, these are podcasts. I might add, uh, you know, then they're 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 local. They're in Medina. Yeah, and they send me the shows. And then I got a, the the pop culture cosmos guy. He's out of Vegas. Yep, and uh, we play him six to, you know six times a week, and. Uh, He's got a great program. He actually we run him right before us, so um, you know we got a lot. And then you know we're bringing back Let's Talk in 2019 as a yep. weekly as a weekly show. It's gonna be a, it's not gonna be a monthly show anymore. It's gonna be a weekly show, and I'm Which gonna be ho- cool. I'm gonna host it. Um, so we got a lot of stuff planned, you know. And then like I just you know last night signed another program. It's gonna be going on Wednesday nights following Tony and then, nice. then I got then I got to move the sports replay to like Friday afternoon or something like that but right. that's okay I mean that's that, it, it's a good problem to have you know so right now we're at about 20 different programs you know and that's a lot I mean Which, we, we gotta we're, would you have thought this I time Dylan, by the way Dylan would you seriously would you have thought when we started up and you know open for business in February, we're, a year we're, ago a year ago we'd be at 20 programs no well, here's the thing. A I, year ago to the day, yeah. by the way, yeah. we signed our LLC a year ago to the day. Yeah. We we're officially a business one year today. That's it. Today's, today's our today's our, today's our happy birthday. Today's our happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. So happy birthday to yeah. us. Yeah. I came in roughly what maybe four or five months ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we had maybe six shows. Yeah, now, maybe. Now I'm not saying that you know. That's roughly six shows. I'm not Just saying to... that me coming in changed. Oh, uh, you uh, were uh, might change the whole. The, 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 the professional the, photography the, changed were, the game. You were but, the man. All joking aside, but right. no, in all seriousness, we, even when I came in, we didn't have nearly no, what we have now. No. We have grown immensely. Immensely. I'll put a put it like this, and this is the truth. If you guys hadn't come in when you did and taken your Saturday nights. It would have probably filled. wouldn't have had it, right? Because it would have been filled. You know, it would have been filled. Well, they started on Thursday, then I right. had to move them to Saturday. You know, just so, the way, just the, way the programming schedule worked, and it out. worked, and it worked out really for the better. I mean, so you know, like I said, and we still want to fill some daytime slots. Yeah, and uh, once we do that, we're going to be a, really have a good amount of. I mean, we got a shit ton of programs now. That so if is you don't it. suck at radio, <laughs> we have a spot for check. you. Office at skoradio.com. You can send us a sound check. Well, and let, uh, let me tell you about the guy we're, we're signing on. This is the funniest right. thing. <laughs> this is a true story. We the guy wrote us on Facebook yeah. yesterday. I, I wrote him back. And I, said, I said, I said, hey, send us a sound check. Well, I come to find out later that night. He was a guest of Elaine last night. <laughs> so I was like, 
Well, there's our sound check. I mean, let me listen to the guy. So I'm listening to him the way here, and I'm like, shit, he's good. You know, like, yeah. okay, we'll sign him. <laughs> you know, I mean, right. it just worked out that way. I'm like, okay. So we we brought him to the office after the show. I was like, okay, we'll sign you. And uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I said, what do you want to do? He's well, I got one. Is Wednesday nights open? I was like, well, I can have to shuffle the schedule a little bit. Mm-hmm. Which is, if I have to move a pre-recorded show, I move a pre-recorded show. Yeah, but I'm not moving. Any, I'm not moving any more live shows. Yeah, no, we're, yeah. Not, we're not moving any live shows. But you know, uh, yeah. I'll move a pre-recorded to make room. By the way, yeah. Mike, you're moving to uh, Sunday nights, Damn two, it. A, two a.m. to six a.m. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> you have four hours to fill, and uh, you get all Christian pumped. content. That's okay because our UK audience <laughs> might actually enjoy that. That's for one. true. <laughs> That's true. Are you our UK? Our UK audience gets the shaft yeah now i, I guess man apocalypse actually has like a small following in the uk so they have a small uk following. but i feel right? bad in the fact that when we're on air yeah. it's like two in the morning there yeah right it's like god people i, I love that you're listening but go to bed <laughs> <laughs> i had that problem. we're not that good no we're I, 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 I i had that you're not I, Why not? I, you're, you're not, not, you're not that good. You, you, you stay, you know. <laughs> yeah, you're not that good. But 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 we had the same problem over at the other station. Yeah. And and uh, uh, there is no I, other I, I don't know. <laughs> they're, they're they're like eight eight or ten hours away. Yeah. Yeah. From from where our time frame is. Yeah. Well, a lot of a lot of live programs that are going worldwide have that issue, and yeah. you know, it, that's part of why we record. Yeah, yeah. You know? record, well, not all shows record here, but most we of them do. do. We, we do record this show. one. Um, you know, we record this one. I, know, I think you guys record, right? Um, we've kind of backed off lately. Yeah, I should Shitty. get back into recording. We probably should yeah, get back into recording. I said record the audio for sure, then we can for start, sure. yeah get the yeah. audio. Yeah, recorded. but when you're six eight hours off, mm-hmm. when you're doing drive time, and then you're at the UK mm-hmm. or. Well, that, that's why we don't. That's why we don't run. You know, drive time, lunch time. You know, uh, early morning. We don't run programming like that. We right. we run programming based on when our talent is available. Because right. I, welcome to the SKO Radio Network. You can find us online at skoradio.com. We're also on the TuneIn app, where you can listen with your mobile devices on the Google Play and Apple Store. Find us on social media at facebook.com forward slash SKO Radio Network. You're tuned to the SKO Radio Network and online at skoradio.com. From the same station. Uh, We don't want to talk about that. We're we're talking uh, about this. All all, all I'm saying is when when we're doing drive time here. Well, drive time here is like not drive time in California. Right? Yeah, yeah. So no, we're, we're not so, out there. So we're not, fo- not we're not focused. Here we're not focused town. on we're not focused on the the graveyard shift being what the actual graveyard shift right. is because right. graveyard here yeah. is prime is time somewhere prime else. time in the not UK right. now or I'll be honest with you if we do win that lottery tonight and I do oh, lose yeah. time one billion I dollars. would love to see us get a local morning show now obviously yeah. it's going to be broadcast everywhere but a local morning show mm-hmm. i think would boost us locally big oh, yeah. time yeah yeah well that's the thing we're we're, we're we're trying to get some stuff focused more in the local numbers you know we were certainly trying to yeah like the sports show really i mean it's a national show but we are working on the local numbers on that program because yeah. we're promoting the hell out of it we're locally. promoting the hell out of it locally because and it's actually it is starting to Rick's work. Rick's really helping, and too Rick's, with that. Rick's promoting the shit out of it. And we're getting those local listeners to that show, right? Which is great. I mean, and we're starting. I'm, I'm like, I'm going. I go on the uh, the system and I look and see where they're listening. I'm seeing a lot more Cleveland and Akron, yeah, and um, you know, Canton, Ohio. And it's a lot of Ohio stuff in general. Being, uh, you know, as far as our analytics system goes, I mean, I know a lot of people remember, like, even I'll cr- give credit to Jason Kyer. Yeah. He's, he's throwing the hell out of it, too. Yeah. I mean, and, and, you know, stuff he's doing and, you know, stuff that, you know, a lot of people are doing there. And we're starting to boost those local numbers up. I mean, I mean, they're not what you call those mind-blowing huge numbers locally, but i have seeing a difference. Yes. I mean, you're, we're, it's a very noticeable difference in our numbers. They are going uh, J- up. J- Jason will have a significant 
Oh yeah, he's he's promoting the hell out of it now. I yeah, mean, and he, bottom line, you know, SKO's been around a year. A year. And it's done amazing things. Yeah. It's it really grown. Has. I mean in the past if, year. If you from, if you really think about room, it, yes. Yeah. If you really think about it, like we, we signed our LOC our LLC became legal a year ago today. We uh we we've already been in this place at this point, you know, a few weeks. We started doing our first test stream December thirty first last year. Right. At 6 p.m. December 31st, we started streaming. Um, February the 28th, we opened for business. We actually we, we did our official station launch. I mean, yeah. we were don't get me wrong, we we're doing shows, we we're doing test programs, fine tuning the system. But we were doing. We actually said, okay, we are functional, we're operational. February 28th, we're open. You know, I mean, that's yep. we didn't we didn't drag it out for six months or a year. We're like, we're open now. I mean, we're ready to go and. Holy crap, it's 10 o'clock. Let's take a break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is some kind of radio show here on SKO Radio Network. We'll be right back. Yeah. Stay tuned or else. <laughs> or else. Yeah. Yeah, baby, yeah. Hey, thanks for listening to the SKO Radio Network. We're online at skoradio.com and on the TuneIn app. Coming up in a little bit, Julia Murray is going to join us. She's the author of the new diet book, Shit Yourself Thin. Have you seen the pictures of her? She <laughs> looks great. That woman Fabulous. has shit off so much weight. It's oh unbelievable. Oh, my God. Well, listen, first up, it's been a landmark week for women and science. That's right. After over 120 years of research, Cosmopolitan's officially cataloged every possible way a woman can please her man. Wow, that is quite amazing. Joining us now is Cosmopolitan's lead Moan Zone researcher, Dr. Rachel Steinberg. Dr. Steinberg, congratulations. Thanks, Tracy. We've accurately mapped every super hot sex zone on the male human body, empirically proven to make your man's legs turn to jello. Here's a peek into Cosmo's Man Pleasing Institute. We had to rigorously test every nerve ending for potential sizzle-inducing properties. Tell us about some of the early discoveries of the project. In the early 1920s, we discovered a previously unknown pleasure point located a little bit above the buttocks on the lower back. That was a huge find. Mm. In fact, it opened up over 200 completely new ways to give men pleasure. Unbelievable. It must feel great to know that your research is uh, helping so many people around the world as well. Well, Cosmos Research Center was founded to make sure that men everywhere get the most sexual pleasure humanly possible in their lifetime. And I think now that goal is finally attainable. That is Amazing. terrific, terrific news. Certainly, Dr. Steinberg, your work does not stop here. What is next? Maybe the, uh, the sensual pleasures of women or something like that. <laughs> no? No? Not getter. fertile ground uh, to use a bad word? Okay. You are listening to the SKO Radio Network. Not a memoir, Sam! Sam, this is some scary shit! Oh, I am scared! Oh, oh. Excuse me? Uh, I think I paid my money like everybody else up in here. That ain't no me! You can see her real hair right there! Do you mind? I know you better get out of my face! Out of my face! Out of my face! This is all me up in here. You handle that. Will you shut the fuck up? Mmm, yeah. mmm. This movie is good. Hey, baby. You came back just in time. She's about to get it on with Shakespeare. He found shut out she's a girl. Up. Yeah, I got you. I got you on camera. You on candid camera now. You ain't know that. Hello? Hey, girl. Uh, I'm in the movie. Uh huh. Shake a spin, love. Uh huh. Oh, you lying. For Christ's sake, will you just shut your trap? Shut up. Hold on. I don't know why y'all is acting like this. My 
girlfriend already seen the movie. She said they don't even stay together in the end. Oh. Right on. You sit down. Oh. Shut up. Your ass is grass. Schindler's List, all Jackie Chan movies! Boogie Nights! And Big Mama's House! You're listening to Some Kind of Radio Show here on the SKO Radio Network. Call now at 234-200-5110. Again, that's 234-200-5110. Now here's Earl McCune and the crazy crew. Well, I just have to say this. I'm happy W get the drawing. Oh, yeah, she did. I, I, I thank God. Bless her heart. I don't have to kill her now. Now she got the now she got the power balls of Mega Billions. I'm really oh. sure. <laughs> well, that hasn't hit either. That's that hasn't hit either yet. But I want the billion dollar. I'm not greedy. I just want the billion. <laughs> hey, dude, half a billion split two ways. Yeah, but you know what? If you think of it, it'd be worth five hundred thousand after taxes, pretty much. Oh, dude. Five hundred million after taxes, probably. Well, after they pay the taxes. Yeah, yeah, well, at the end either of the way, day, that's enough either, to take SKO to a whole. It, it's enough level. to take SKO to another level. We'd be like on um, like satellite radio status. And yes, I'd be. Let's just put it this way: we'd be advertising like the shit out of the station everywhere, and there'd be nowhere you'd never not hear about this place. That would be the whole point. Hey, God, hey, that's hey, creamy looking. Hey, at the end of the day, after you pay your taxes, yeah. are you still gonna bitch? No, no. All right. And so shut the fuck up. I would also, I would also build a small, bo- I'd also build a bowling center. <laughs> In our yeah, basement. I, I know it's being asked for the one we, we're at now. Huh? I know it's being asked for what we're at now. Yeah. We'd have the infinity pool up top, bowling center in the basement. 1.2. Yep. Yep. Yeah, kind of, hey, hey, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll anyway. build something like LeBron's house that he has. Basically, it'd be, it'd be like a, the ultimate, a, a, it'd be the ultimate after. hangout. Basically, none of us would ever go home. It wouldn't have to. I yeah, we'd be bowling and watching we movies. Could put, like, we could put like we could put like private apartments in. We could just build our own little cult. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically yeah, a complex. That. That's radio, basically, it'd be, a, what we'd it'd be a cult with a radio station in it. All right, gentlemen. All, yeah. All, 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 all hell, the mega million of God. Hey, at, at the end of the day, the FBI. When is the drawing? When's the drawing? FBI. Anyway? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't Eleven? get you. Eleven. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to announce the results tonight and see what happens. Because if we if, if, if we win, if we, we win, we'd have. If we win, I'm not going to work tomorrow. Me either. Sorry. <laughs> we'd have our own little. Sorry, life. Anthony can work tomorrow. Yeah. Are we winning? I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm retiring. <laughs> we I, 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 I got a recording. My mom told me they started at 7.30, and I'm like, well, I was going to be here. He's talking about the cat. And, mm. and yeah, well, right, hey, right now we're back in the game. Not really. We're only down by nine. We were down, like, by a 26. Yeah. Shit, I haven't turned around and watched that. We're, right. we're, 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 I, I, we're I in the game. We the the game Mega Millions on. is at $1 billion. The Powerball is at $430 million. The drawing is scheduled for 11 p.m. Okay, 11 p.m. So we will announce. I'll, I'll take you. Ele- after the 11 o'clock break, we will announce the winning Powerball numbers. The jackpot has been growing since July. If you yeah. hear us all, like, screaming and or... She had been hard as tickets in. Yeah. She better be having it like You know we won. All right. So Mike, why don't you go Mom, you bought a ticket, right? right? So so yeah. our second beer review of the second, night. Second the second are we doing this on video or no? No. 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 no We've got a Russian a Imperial Stout called Fine. Old Rasputin. I'll do it on video. Fine. Fine. I'll do it on video. Fine. Right. I'll, I'll put we're going to hold off now. A Russian Imperial Stout. Hang on. we got to wait for the video. Oh, you guys are fine. Calm down, Dylan. This beer hacked the election. Relax, hacked Dylan. <laughs> Putin approved. Yeah. Oh, you ever had a beer hack an election? Dude, you got ADD or something. Oh, we're going to... Nah. Okay. Beer review number two. All right. 
Tell what's, me the when stuff, you're ready. what's the stuff called again? Old Rasputin. Old Rasputin. Now, here's the thing. We've been calling it a Russian beer all night. However, uh, at it, the very bottom of the label, product of the USA. Oh, what's well, a Russian? So Russia. it's, a, it's Russian Russia. inspired. Okay. Okay, but it is Old Rasputin, a Russian imperial stout. Okay. I'm trying to see if there's anything. It's kind of like. Uh, here we go. I don't want to look at my ugly mug. Hold on a minute. Hang, uh, I might need the lights. Hang on. No, we're good. We're good. I'm we're, blind. It's nice and dark in here. This is like, see, we're, we got the mood lighting going on in the studio tonight, guys. <laughs> okay, so it, it is. We got the Cavs game on. Man, mood we're all lighting here. and beer. It's it, brewed it's, in you know, the it's tradition. Comfortable. It's comfortable in here. I like it's comfortable. It is. It does. It, really is. it, it, it has a very comfortable it, feeling it, here. It, it, it is a pleasant place to be. It is. Brewed in the tradition of 18th century English brewers okay. who supplied the Russian court of Catherine the Great. Old Rasputin develops a cult following wherever it goes. It's a rich, intense brew with big, complex flavors and a warming finish. Warming finish. That's really all we have to go on. That's all it's, we have to go it's on? It's warming. Is there enough like to do the bottle test and then the... Uh... No? Yeah. Or are we going to do the, uh, yeah. are we going to do like the last one? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. Go ahead and grab that. Uh, well, let me reach over here and grab this. All right. All right. All right bottle so test. Bottle All test right. first. All right. Bottle test first. North Coast Brewing Company. All right. There's yours if you want to try it. All right. Hey. Cheers. We're doing the Cheers. bottles first, Brian. Bar bottles first. Bottles. Do, bottle, bottle sip first. The bottle first. This bottle one. first. This one. Yeah, this that, one. That, that one there. We got to point out what a beer is. Uh, this is right. a man. No, it's empty. No, there's a little no, bit. There's, there's, a little bit in there. there's a swig in there. There's a swig in there. We're just going to look, oh. get a taste out of the bottle. That's definitely stronger. Ooh, that, yeah. that that's is got stronger. Some, that's definitely got some. The 9%. It's definitely got some. Um, What's the percentage? 9. 9% nine alcohol got, by volume. Whew. It's got. Not as strong as the. Uh, not as strong as that. Uh, Dragon's milk. If you're going to name it Old Rasputin, it's got to be strong because he was a motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Now, we're, we, we did the draft system. Now, uh, if this is the uh, little draft pour. So I, got a, I got a better, we, better what, swig on that one than I did the yeah, first one. Now, what's, yeah. well, now what's, this, uh, what's this thing called again, Dylan? This is the Physics Way Tap. Physics Way Tap. It's available at Target. Okay. Or online. I like it. I want one. Cool. I got to get one. That's, it's pretty cool you brought that with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, I'll be trying to bring that every week if I can. Yeah, you should because Such that thing a is team player. You're a team player, and we do, we do appreciate your team yeah. player effort. So, so this time, it, it's nice because it pours the beer when you pull that way. Yeah, and then when you push, it gives it a little, the, little, little bit of head. Yeah, yeah. So I like a little bit of head every now and then too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, but yeah. I don't. Nothing right. wrong with head. You know, I'll tell you what. Now, this first smell. Smells good. I mean, it, it does smell. It good. smells like a classic stout. It smells like a classic stout. Absolutely, that's what I'm getting out of it. All right, let's get that first taste in here. All right. It smoothens it out. It definitely it smooths. Does. It definitely. I like it better in the in the uh, after the draft. Yes. Yeah. Than the bottle for sure. And, and that's, I have the same thing. And as that's the other been one. the theme. That's been the theme. That's been the th and well, you know, here's the thing. Ritz and I were talking about this, and Ritz uh -huh. being our boss, Chris Ritz, right. here over yeah. at Legend Lanes, bless his heart. 4190 State Road, Cauga Falls. We, we can do this because they pay us. They pay us, and... Um, they, they keep the, the... For all intents and purposes, Legend Lanes, Mike Vey, yeah. and Chris Ritzinger are keeping uh, SK Radio afloat. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So <laughs> thanks, guys. We, yeah, we do appreciate it. Good guys. Yeah. Yeah, great guys. Anyway, um, if you it, one thing about the cool thing at the, over that bar, in a bowling alley bar, they, they do flights. Yeah. Yes. Flights of beer. That was my idea. And it was Dylan's <laughs> idea. And your other idea, and your other idea went through, too, with the uh, the, the with, Halloween drinks. Yeah, with the Halloween drinks. and yeah. uh, you know, he, 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 I'm an idea man. Chris had a lot of fun doing that. He was telling uh, me how oh, much fun he had doing I'm that. A, so, so here's the thing. I'm an idea man. I push the ideas, and then they happen. They just, well, you know, uh, well, basically, Chris, Chris likes to experiment. The, the way he puts it is, is making drinks is like cooking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's cooking with alcohol. He loves to cook. He, it's like we were talking about the, the he, pickle pizza thing. He made, you know? he made the pickle pizza today. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's killer. It was good. Oh, my it, God. It was it good? Oh, fuck. Uh, he, he, oh. He, went a, he went 
he went hard on the garlic. I'm not a huge garlic guy, you know. Right. He went hard on the garlic, but Mike Malone's watching. Hey, Mikey, what's up, buddy? Hey, Mike, what guess what? Mike? We're not drinking the pine beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not drinking pine salt tonight. I think he tried to poison uh, us with a pine. But anyway, yeah, let's, he, let's, he's trying. He's trying to get his inheritance. Yeah. Anyway, let's. Uh, the old Rasputin's what we're drinking tonight. Um, yeah. North Coast Brewing, um, traditional. I mean, very traditional. Did you uh, try it yet? That uh, cup sitting right in front yeah. of you. I I I, tr- I tried the little one. Yeah. I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of that. You know, not a big. Well, you're not a big fan. That's okay. That's what we review them. We either That's say they're good. For everybody. Either they're good or they're we bad. We say they're good or they're not. We, yeah. And we tell you if they're good or not. And here's the thing. We had one a couple weeks ago. It was bad. We actually poured it. It tastes like a pine tree, and we poured yeah. it into the pine uh, tree. Yep. We, we yeah. poured it out. We, we, we all have our own taste at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. That that's it. I wasn't a big fan of. Not a big okay. fan. I'm sorry. Well, give it a that's rating. Fair. Go ahead and score it. Yeah, go ahead and score it. Well, I don't know. Let's just make it really low. Okay. What do you say? <laughs> really low. What's your score? Give us a number. I uh, yeah, hell, I don't know. I guess I'll be generous and call it a three. Okay, he's gonna okay. give it a three. He's gonna okay. give it a that, three. That's that's not his flavor. That's not his cup of tea. All right, let's move on to uh, Mr. Mike Hag of the Man Apocalypse Radio Show. I'm going to give it, it's good, but mm-hmm. I'm going to give it a 7.6. 7.6, okay. okay. So it, it doesn't right. hit my epic scale. Now, 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 now how, what was your score? He was wasn't a fan. Now, now what's your bottle score? Bottle score? Yeah. Bottle score versus your draft score. Like a 7.4. 7.4. I mean, it, so, it's so it's pretty pretty it's, it's just a couple point dip. couple yeah. point difference. Okay. Um. Give it another swig. Give it another swig. He's going to give the bottle, and he's going to do the uh, the glass through the little draft system right, the, we have now. The bottle, the bottle I'm going to go. I just want to let everybody know that uh, W. McCune, Tubby McFatfuck, is pulling in right now. <laughs> there it goes. No, I don't She's think that, uh, No, that's not, that's not her. That's that's my food. Oh, is that your, is that your delivery? Wait, you have food. I thought it was her. Cause it, you she, have food? <laughs> huh? You have food? Yeah. I got a pizza. You got a pizza? I got a pizza. A pizza. What's poor pizza? Moi. Pizza. Okay, okay, let's get, how, how All right, let's pizza. get your let's give your score. It, it's dick sized. Yeah. All right, I'll so fight you for a slice. Fight Marie. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm gonna give the bottle, and I had the last sip of the bottle, mm-hmm. so I'll give that. Uh, I'll give that. Uh, a good thing ruined by a period. Six point nine. Six nine. Okay. <laughs> All right, this is, this is what you're Dude, doing. really? All right, now what's your... Uh, no, he's going to go for the draft score. This one didn't do it for me. Yeah. This one didn't do it. 6-7. Uh, 6-7. Six, seven. Six, seven. So six, actually, seven. Yeah. you actually more liked it more than Yeah, I, I liked it better out of the okay. bottle. For the, the, All right. Well, I, I, I just, heard it... it it had I, um, it had a yeah. it had a fuller flavor out of the bottle. Oh, Sensel's so. calling in. Let's, uh, oh, sorry, John. I missed. I, missed it. I, I wasn't turned to the screen. John, if you're listening, call back. How many other calls have you missed? Just the one. That's the only one. Are you sure? Hey, yeah, because it tells me how many. We, we can only go you're live fired. and focus okay, on I'm the late. phones. I mean, come on. All right. Well, I'm gonna. He's one have, man. Here. One we, green we don't don't man. We don't, I, uh, we don't have that annoying ringer that rings. I hate yeah. that. Here, here, Mike. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass off to you, and I'm gonna go. Go procure. Actually, I'll call John back. I can do that. I'll just call John back. Hold on. Let me get John back on the phone here real quick. All right. We're calling John. Here's John. Hey, John, answer your phone. Damn it. He's going to be like, who the fuck's this call? Hello? We're calling you back. Sorry. I just, I just turned my head, and I saw you called. Well, that's okay. Yeah. But, you know, that's the beauty of this system. I can call you back. <laughs> Yay! Woo-hoo! Anyway, uh, we're doing the beer review, right? The second beer review of the night. Anyway, uh, we're doing North Coast Brewing's. Uh, it's in, it's uh, the uh, Old Rasputin Russian Imperial uh-huh. Stout. That's what we're doing tonight. Uh, that's the second oh, nice. one. That's the second one. The first one we did was Old Chaco. From uh, Thirsty Dog Brewing, and uh, it was a mint chocolate stout, which we all really, really yeah. thoroughly enjoyed, by the way. That one got some really high that one, Yeah, this one's a little bit lower for I've me. I've had that before. I've it's had tasty. That before. I, I, told, I was telling Deb I want more of it because, matter of fact, there's two bottles left in there. I'm going to be drinking one of them tonight. Me too. It's good. 
Dylan anyway, got pizza. Yeah. I get the beer. Yes, yeah, we'll, we'll drink after this. We'll we'll get those bottles. We'll secure them. Absolutely, that's what we do. Okay, uh, let me get my review score here. Um, I'm gonna be. Here's the thing, Mike. You and I are so similar when it comes to scoring beer. Right. Our palates are very. I mean, damn near identical because we have a lot of the same taste in brew. Yeah. Brews. Um, I I will never repeat a score. Um, I'm gonna go seven five on the bottle. Okay. Okay. Now here's the thing for me. I think the draft increased it a good good fair amount. It did increase it. It's sure. not gonna be an epic eight. It's not even in the eights. But I am gonna say uh I'm gonna go seven seven. All right. Seven seven on this for me. I mean, very drinkable, very I mean it's a it's a traditional stout. Very enjoyable stout. I now if I was gonna compare the two beers tonight, old Chaco's the winner for me. Oh, for sure. I Absolutely. Mean, at old Chaco Fantastic. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're both good. In my opinion, because I love a stout. Yeah. I love stouts. I mean, here's the thing. In the last couple, three, four years, three years ago, I, you wouldn't get me to touch a stout. I didn't. I didn't. I don't know if my taste buds change. You know, you get older, you think your yeah. taste change. You Are know, you getting older? A little bit. But it, here's the thing. I mean, I know my tastes have changed. You know, I was big into the IPAs for a long time. Now I'm not so much an IPA guy. I'm more getting into enjoying a stout. I yes. enjoy a good stout. I like them all. Um, you know, I think Old Chaco definitely won the, Damn the contest tonight. I won the two. Night. I like I like doing the two reviews because we can actually see. Night, yeah. Actually, we can actually pick the winner of the night too. Yeah, I like we, I like that doing that. The night. That's the thing we'll do different. We'll do two reviews a night now, yeah. and uh, we'll compare two beers. I think that's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. Um, Old but, Chaco wins, but I mean, this is a good stout. I'm with you. I, I like it's, a good stout. I really do. I enjoy a good stout. Is this one of the best I've ever had? No, Absolutely far from not. It, no. Is but it, is it a good one? Yeah. Absolutely, it's good. Yeah. But it's not the, one of those where I'm going to go, oh, my God, I see it in the store. I'm going to go buy another six. This. The, the best stout this, I've ever had. That pizza smells great, by the way. There. This. That. No, this stuff. Was I, amazing. Is the bomb. If I see this in a store. I'm buying it. I'm buying it. Hands it's down. That, that now, is the bomb. Now, I, and I know you two will agree with me. The best stout I ever had still remains Dragon's Milk. That was Dragon's amazing. milk is fantastic. It was we drank it at my house. Yeah, we drank it. That, that's the there's, first there's thing we ran through this. Yeah, there's a bottle it. in that fridge. Yeah. Okay, go get it and run it through here. Oh, oh and drink oh, it. Do it. Oh, do it. It's yours. It's do it. Do it. Yours. Do it. It's yours. Do it. It's on. It's ours. No, John, it's John, yours, man. Did you we've already had. John, did you get your Mega Millions tickets for the night? I didn't. Damn it. My friends did. Okay. If you get a billion dollars, well, we we yeah, got ours, yeah, and yeah. if we win better, tonight, we, we're we're already with making with plans with us. for what we're gonna do with our uh, billion dollars. We're we're gonna we're gonna make SKO a global phenomenon. <laughs> yep. If if that's the case, we're gonna we're gonna we'll build a locate. We're gonna build a building. It'll have like six luxury fucking suites in it for like and, employees. And, 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 like you know, key people like Mike and Dylan and, and Dylan and Marie have their like their own like spread and, with a pool. You know, I mean, it'd be like a like like Mike said, it'll be like a cult. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and it'll make Microsoft. <laughs> now, true story. They, they changed the uh, like, like they changed the label. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they changed a, the label. A, a micro. Now, like, now, now, Mike, do you want to review this? This is a soul. Mike, go grab be, another glass. Go grab another. This is glass. a Mike. This is, this is a Mike Haig review. There he goes. God, we, we got a bonus beer review here on the show tonight, guys. Bonus, yeah. bonus beer. I'll tell you what. No, I'm, old Chaco. Oh, I, I, I loved it. We, it's kind of like going to the gym without paying. I want one of those. To go to the gym. I'm going to buy one of these things. Yeah. Yeah, we were holy here. shit! I love that we thing. We're all in the nines. We're all in the nines. All in the nines. You, that, you might give this near a perfect ten, buddy. All right, here we go. He's gonna. He's gonna. We're gonna. In this. In this fantastic. I wish, I wish we had. Cavaliers are losing, by the way. I know. I want. Uh, you know, I have a beer mug in the in the. Uh, I'm, oh. gonna, I'm gonna put some old Chaco in the beer mug when I uh, after this beer. That's what we need to invest in. Beer mugs is beer mugs for this. Oh yeah, I have a beer mug. I'm gonna go get. I, I bought these you like really cool. Do a calves up there. You know what? We this, can even have a maze right, and say hey. SKO. Oh, we should. I can get them done. So that, that same place up. that does our shirts and hats. Oh, holy shit! That blew up like quick. So. Same place that does our beer, our hats and shirts. Just so which you know SKO that. Radio Network hats and T-shirts, or oh, some man. kind of radio show T-shirts and SKO Radio Network hats will be going on sale 
Uh, probably around December, guys. So and I'm, they'll, they'll I'm be on sale on the this. website. I stole a piece of freaking, you know, his garlic bread. My God. The cheesy bread. That oh, was yeah. Good. yeah. She, that, that was her pick. All right, here anyway. we go. Anyway, okay. Dragon's Milk special review. So we don't remember exactly what milk. we were at, but we were Dragon's all in milk. the nines. Yeah. Right? All right. Uh, but that was from the bottle. That was from the bottle. Dragon's, the Dragon's, Dragon's milk, milk out of the this. Nine. I think we were around nine. I, I think so we were right around nine two nine three, weren't we? From that Hang general? On. Yeah. I was higher. I, I, I was at get nine the five. Out of my mouth. All right. I yeah, don't, don't wanna, yeah. Don't ruin your palate. Don't ruin your palate. Don't ruin the palate. I'm like shaking with anticipation. I know. He, he's like he's is got a. Is that almost like the food to beer? Yes. Yes. He's actually got a chubby. I heard it hit the bottom of the desk. <laughs> I'll leave my chubby out of this. <laughs> he jizzed oh, look, in his Look at his face. Oh, and I got it on video. Look at his face. Oh, my God. We have the first perfect 10. <laughs> there is no perfect 10 ever. This might but be. But this might is be it. Holy 10? shit. Yeah. Well, that looks like a perfect 10 to me. Okay. This might be a 9 8. All right, well, in fairness, uh, you in know, all fairness, that okay. kind of blew it up, and there's a lot, yeah. there's a lot nine, of head on this. Nine okay? is close. There's but, a lot of head on it. Yeah, but, but, but even it, with that, oh my god! But the, but then that like, in the, the flavor, the head settles. It takes a while. Think, but it settles. Yeah, you, you just gotta put it all together. Oh my so god! So at the end of the day, I, 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 you know who I'd love to get in I, here. I'd love to get Ritz in here. I cannot give. I cannot give a perfect ten. Okay. It, you know, I mean, I literally have to drink that beer and, like, you know, just... Uh, just straight out. out just okay. straight out jizz when you... Yes. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I need to come in my pants if I drink that perfect time. <laughs> but well, this, then, at the end of the day, you ought to see... This is one. a 9.9. .9. Oh, oh, wow. 9.9 9 on draft. I shit you not. This Holy, is amazing. That is the highest and, score we've but, ever had on a beer this, review. There you go. Seriously. No, and it's fair. And, and, anybody want to try it? And, 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 we show the bottle. Show the bottle. Show the bottle. Show the bottle. We have. There you this go. This is... Oh, my uh, God. Uh, 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 Dylan would be 11. Dragon's Milk is fantastic. I mean, I... I, I will not say enough good things about this beer. It is oh, very, my God. That's He's amazing. A sexy dude. Uh, isn't that good? That, that's hey, orgasmic. Tell me, deal with an angel. That is orgasmic. Here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Let me take orgasmic a sip. Beer. Oh, my God. I mean, it's drinking so good. that compared to this. I can't go back to this. This is better. This is better out of the bottle yeah. than that is in draft. Yeah. I don't want to finish my Rasputin at this yeah. point. I really don't. Now right. that I've got this beautiful. I just got a sip. Of the and dragon's and milk you drought, take a sip of dragon's drought. milk, then this it's like, oh my god, dragon's milk's a higher, it's oh such, my a, god. such a superior product. It's such a smooth I mean, stout. That's a nine seven for I mean, I don't ever go that high, but I mean, compare you know, in comparing, you yeah, know, that's a high nine for me. I mean, high nine versus what seven? Yeah, it's a high nine. I mean, the, the, and then on draft, the quality like, alone, the, the the flavor. I mean, it's not, it, it's it's smooth. See, the one thing with a stout. I know I like them smooth. Yeah. It's got to be smooth. This Rasputin, don't you worry, not bad That's beer. That's what your boyfriend's no. But it's not as smooth. No, here's okay. the truth. Chris didn't like this. Okay. One. Chris didn't like this one. He didn't like he it. He thought it was too bitter. He th he th Wait, I which, get one? It. Dragon's which one? Dragon's milk. He thought, yeah, see. He, he thought it was too, he's not a stout guy. Okay. okay. He okay. thought it was too bitter. So, I, <laughs> to each their own. If you don't like a stout, you don't like a stout. You know, yeah. that's just the truth. Like I said, Mike, like but, I, Mike and I were talking that we got when you're all getting your, your pizza. Yeah. You know, we're like, you know, I said I know in the last three or four years my tastes have changed. Three or four years ago, you would ask me to drink a stout. I'm like, eh, not my thing. Now I've got a new appreciation for them. I don't know what's changed. Of what you know, what it is. You I mean, stopped drinking Coors Light. I stopped drinking Coors Light. Yeah. But uh, but I do but I do enjoy a good stout. I really do. I mean, yeah. here's what gets and, and, me. And that's the key. It's got to be a good stout. Mm -hmm. Here's what gets me with the dragon's milk. Okay, and maybe it's different for you guys, but outside of beer, hey Freddie, I am a massive coffee drinker. Yes, and I totally get coffee coming through in this. Oh yeah, I get, every single time. I get time. the coffee, but I, get I also get too. I also get the strong vanilla. I get the strong vanilla with it. But it, it, nah. neither one overpowers each other. Exactly, it's they're, so smooth. They're the perfect balance. And it, oh my god! And it, it's the and Irish from, coffee from that beers. draft with the head on it. It's like that foam on a coffee. Oh, oh yeah. my! Oh, this oh, is oh, amazing. It's like a good cappuccino. I'm know? I'm yeah. I'm I'm hard right now. This is this is awesome. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> He's been walking around with a sticker packed up. Great. His sticker's packed up, everybody. So. Hey. 
Make sure you take one before you go home to your wife, Mike. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. This it, is this is the it, kind of hard that it, you it, just it, enjoy yourself. It, you know? it, it, it Cassie, his sticker's picked up. He's ready for you. Nope, I don't enjoy this hard with anybody else. This is my hard. <laughs> yeah, I, I, He's gonna be I, in the bathroom. I, I, He's gonna be like, I'll be back in ten minutes, guys. <laughs> He'll be back. He'll be back, done in two, but he'll be back in ten. <laughs> yep. I named my right hand Leia for a reason. <laughs> But the other day, he will be waiting on you. Oh, oh my this God. is good it's stuff. Time. It's good stuff. It's time. It, it is time for a break, so let's take a break here. Uh, let's do this. Let's play another clip from Scary, Pro- Scary Movie here. Scary right. Poofy. Scary Poofy. Scary Poofy. Scary Poofy. Scary Poofy. So we got a radio show. We'll be right back after these important messages. Not so important, but important From us. your local council member. We have one? No. Okay. We should get one. Okay. We'll be right back. Shame, guilt, isolation, all feelings brought on by involuntary flatulence. But why? It's not my fault that I fought. My short flat nose makes me take in more air, that's all. And that means... Jasper! Oops! So please, don't be mad. I can't help it. Just like I can't help being wicked cute. Spoil hey parents, tired of those out of control kids throwing embarrassing tantrums wherever they go? At the grocery store, on the playground, even at the dinner table. You've had it with parenting. But wait, there is a solution. Introducing nap time, the latest, most effective tool for child tantrum prevention. It's simple. Just douse a rag with our patented sleepy time formula, place it over your child's cry hole, press and hold gently for 8 to 12 seconds, and presto, no more tantrum. I was beginning to think adoption was the only way out. Then a friend of mine introduced me to nap time. It's never been so quiet around here. The secret lies in Naptime's revolutionary fast asleep formula. Developed by military trained scientist doctors from NASA, Naptime's powerful molecules rush to the child's brain on contact, gently inducing instant tranquility. This is chloroform. Already put those wallet draining crap factories out on the street? That's okay! Naptime works in any situation. On the golf course. An awkward blind date. I had a really good time tonight. It even works on pets. After we had our first child here, we regretted it almost immediately. We didn't know that she'd cry so much. <laughs> Talk about defective. But thanks to nap time, our little Samantha here hasn't made a noise in weeks. <laughs> I keep her in a shoebox. Call now and we'll send you your very own 24-ounce bottle of Naptime Solution for only 23 easy payments of $1.99. But wait, there's more! Act quickly and you'll also receive the all-new Dream Sack absolutely free! It's compact and portable for those on-the-go tantrums. Just cover it, tighten it, and forget about it. It's that simple! We can't breathe good! So if this looks familiar... I feel pregnant. Then don't wait! Order today and join the millions of Americans who just can't stop saying... Thanks, nap time. Thanks, nap time. Thanks, nap time. Nap time! This is Hugh Jack Bob, and you're listening to the new Some Kind of Radio Show here on the SKL Radio Network. Now with 100% more itchy bows. Me 
do. Hello? Who's there? Oh my god. Oh my god, please don't. Please. I'm just a day player. Listening to some kind of radio show here on the SKO Radio Network. Call now at 234 200 5110. Again, that's 234 200 5110. Now, here's Earl McCune and the crazy. All crew. right, thank you, Mr. Aaron Kabeck. 10.35 here on the SKO Radio Network. The Cavaliers are playing right now against the Twimber Wolves. Uh, we got the game on. We literally have uh, what, about 57 seconds, and uh, we're actually within seven. Go take a smoke break. You, 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 yeah. Go, go, we got it. Go take a smoke break. Take a smoke break. Well, no. Ain't gonna hurt you. Take a smoke break. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, you. Heard you punch my girlfriend in the face over a piece of cheesy bread. I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the program, everybody. Uh, Earl McCune along with Dylan Thompson, Mike Hag from the Man Bogolubs Radio Show, and our special guest tonight, Mr. Brian Rufner's with us. And just for the record, and we're watching the Cavs. And we're hopefully, watching the Cavs. Oh, now I'm able to talk. Now you can talk. It's not looking good for It was just me, and you guys were like, oh, we're all right. in here. Yeah, you all left. Well, I, I, I wanted to just hog the show for I, myself. I, 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 I know. I, I was I'm a getting dick. ready to leave. I know other people that want to do that, too, but... Just for the record, uh, I punched Mike in the face because he punched Marie in the face. So um, you well, guys are punch- so tell, face punch. Tell them why I punched her in the face for a piece of pizza. And then I went and got another and after went, you punched where's me. Where's my pizza? So I'm gonna go beat. Hit, I'm gonna go beat Mike up again. Where's my piece of pizza? I don't know. Damn it! Like Mike ate it. Don't punch me every, in the face. Mike every, ate it. Every time you beat pizza. me up, Mike ate it. I beat her up and get more pizza. So I'm good with it. Oh, the Cavaliers are within Disclaimer. four. Disclaimer: within four. Uh, Mike is not actually beating oh, up women. Yeah. I would never no. beat a woman. The Cavs are within four. Everybody. Yeah, Holy God! Timberwolves. Hey, are they were down yeah, like by like twenty good. some at one point. The yeah, Timberwolves are running game, the clock it, down. This they are game number two. Yeah, game number two. It's looking like we're going to have an 0-2 start, so we might have a perfect season there, Dylan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's it. Oh, that's oh, it. That's game. So that's bad. game. No, they missed. Oh, yeah. They, they were a little late to put the score in there. Kevin Love driving, and he got blocked. Uh, nope. He got yeah, fouled. That's, and he got fouled, too. He got cocked. Oh, he didn't get fouled. fouled. He didn't? They didn't foul him? No, they didn't call it a foul. Wow. Call it over. Ty's trying to say it's a foul. He, he's he's call the only over. person that can get fouled and miss. Oh, there's no way no, that was a foul. foul. Oh, there's a foul. That's a foul. Come on. That's a bunch of shit. Fucking NBA. That's bullshit. That's like the NFL refs. Yeah. <laughs> they must have got some NFL refs to yeah, do the NBA yeah, yeah, refs. Yeah, they, they got the Browns refs. Yeah, they got the Browns refs, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, ready. Well, we do have a call. It's Jason calling us real that's quick. That's not a let's first Let's say hello time. to Jason here. Hi, Jason. Hold on. Let's let the phone answer. It takes about 10 seconds for it to... From the time I click answer to the time it comes on. All right, there's Jason. Are you here, Hi. Jason? Jason, what's going on, buddy? Hi, what's going Hi, on? Hi, Jason. Oh, I was at a concert at the Winery Meal up on State Road. Uh, it's about... Six miles from my house. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a boy acoustic guitar, and he's real good. That all I bought was the coat, though the food was real expensive there. But was it good? Certain, was it good? Yeah, yeah. Um, he he was. Um, yeah, I told. I told them about your guys' station. I sent them a link. Oh, cool. Nice. Thank nice, you. Man. 
We appreciate it. I put you on the. I put your first Facebook Live, not your second one, mm -hmm. but your first one on the couple vocal group pages. I I, I noticed uh, I, I noticed that. Thank you. I, I actually uh, I got the um, notification. You did that. Thank you. I hope I hope everything's work. I hope it's helping you. Absolutely, Jay. We were we were actually we were talking about it earlier in the night, and um, you know, we actually brought you up as a person who's uh, sharing a hell lot of stuff for us. And uh, you know, we mentioned you earlier in the show as uh, you know we were talking about a lot of the uh, some of the local folks that uh, tune in and uh, share the station and uh, spread the word about SKO and the many shows. And we we definitely, we definitely appreciate definitely it. appreciate it. We're noticing a difference. We are noticing a difference. Um. <clears throat> Last week, I'm going to be careful at the same time because I don't want to get marked as spam. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, we understand. Yeah, as long, here's, when they mark it as spam, here's what happens like Facebook. If you like stowing out like 10 or 20 different posts, that's when you do it. But if you're like throwing out one or two every now and then, they don't care. You know, it doesn't it doesn't get marked as spam, yeah. but you know it's just, well, like it's it's when you it's when you load it up all over the damn place. That's when they freak out. That's when they freak out and they, oh, you're a spammer. You know, and that's when they do that shit. But yeah, yeah, I well, I don't get kicked off the group. Um, I just got a P message from the group holder. Mm -hmm. They said it has to be related to the neighborhood. It's more like the talked about back in the day. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in yeah, I know. Neighborhood, I'll put it this way. It's the neighborhood of to live in Akron. Yeah. It's the I, neighborhood I, starts with a K yep. and borders Barberton. <laughs> <laughs> we know what you're talking about. We do. I was raised in, I actually went to Norfolk Special Ed classes, but uh -huh. yeah, in that, na that neighborhood, I, um, I grew up in that neighborhood in the 80s, mm -hmm. early 90s, and I told what I had some good times in that neighborhood. Yeah. And um, it was done. A lot of people, including me, have moved out of that neighborhood. It's just not the same as it used to be. But right. Oh, uh, what neighborhood were you raised in? I I was I was I grew up out in Springfield Township. Okay, Springfield mm -hmm. Township. I, I myself grew up in West Akron. Springfield lost to my old alma mater, Field. Oh. Field, Last wow. Week, you by were, the way, you were, and football. You would, are you talking West Akron? Um, well, I'm, were, um, I'm West Akron. Were, I'm West Akron. I was, you know, Rankin Elementary, Bookdale High School. That was my area. I went to I Streets, Turkey. I'm, Streets, Turkey. I'm, I'm <laughs> Streets, Turkey. I fought you at Firestone. Well, Firestone. Well, that's that's South Akron. There. I I went to Firestone. Yeah. Because I found uh, how can I put this nicely? I found reasons mm -hmm. not to go to Bookdel. Right. Um. So I went to Firestone. Uh, I went to Firestone, but yeah. I lived in the Bookdel district. Right. Understood. Um. Be but, uh, Nicely I'm said. Not gonna, I'm not gonna go there over the radio. No, nah, yeah, we won't yeah, go that, that, we that's won't why, go, yeah, that's we won't why go I cleaned it up. Yeah, he cleaned it up. We're not gonna go there, but we know. Yeah, we know. We all know. We all know what we're talking about on this. You know, behind. You know, un, you know, kind of an inside. In, the, in, some things are better left unsaid. People, people in the area that it, it's understand. Just, it's an understanding. Some yeah. some things are just better left unsaid. Exactly. I agree. Absolutely. It's, but you know, it's um, it's it's not. Uh, I mean, we get this. Oh, well, you guys are getting. There. I'm going to. You guys made a lot of progress. I mean, I got. I got. Uh, uh, I got to say, you, you guys are the <clears throat> only internet station in Northeastern Ohio. Well, there's one other one that 
that's on that can do live remote. That's right. Absolutely, we are, buddy. We are the leader in that. We we will technically def- you know, we will definitely go on and say we are the leading the pack on that. Yes. There, there's. And, and and at the end of the day, thank you for acknowledging that. Yeah, thank you, Jason. Absolutely. Yeah, there's, there's, I mean, there's like, there's one in Cleveland, but they're not on TuneIn. But I got to say, they're on TuneIn, and mm-hmm. you can do live remote. We got a lot of, we got a lot of things, and we're, and there's more to come. We there's got more, more to come. And we're, we got, we got more. Hey, we, you need to do. Coming. Did Dylan dying. just have a seizure? Dylan had a. Dylan's like excited. Are you okay, buddy? I, 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 I think Dylan's he's locking about to the door. himself. He's bring, locking the door. Bring me some pizza. He's blocking the door. Yeah, I don't know what the hell he's doing. Debbie must be coming because he's you, blocking the door. You need to do something with low die truck stuff. We've talked about that. I know. We, we, we're still, we'll see what we can do with them, but. Uh, we got uh, we got a bunch of stuff in the works, Jason. We're we got a lot of things. Yeah. We're not gonna say what all we got, but we got a lot of stuff in the works. A lot of positive it, stuff. It, it, at the end of the day, they're not going away. No, we're not going anywhere for a long time. Uh, that's like Grand Central. Grand Central. The truck stops like Grand Central Station. Oh, no doubt. The murder, murder out. <laughs> Yeah, but 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 uh, but but their place is a lot sexier than Grand Central Station. <laughs> this place looks awesome. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that. You could do one remote at at some mall. Well, if if they let us, <laughs> that's the I, thing. If they let us, uh, uh, Jason, I'm not a gay man, but at the end of the day, he's got it looking so sexy. If, if there wasn't a table between us, I just might. I, I just might. I attack, walked in at I the wrong might, time. Did you I in just might time? attack Earl. He, he, I'm not a gay man, but Earl. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he looks like a hot pepper tonight. I like me some of that Earl. <laughs> oh, Jesus hey, Christ. So, what's sorry, that, Earl. What's What's that new guy that's coming on Sunday? I seen him. What's that guy? He's on from nine to ten, or what? What? Sunday, the- yeah, Sunday, yeah, Sunday morning. It, it, it's a recorded show. Uh, he's actually out of Kansas. Um, he's uh, it's doing. He's doing. His name is Chandler Kitchen. If you ever tune into the station, you hear the the station ID it plays when you first log on. That's Chandler. He's going to be doing a program. Turn the light back off. Holy shit. God, turn the light turn we, it back we off. We liked our mood lighting. Yeah, yeah we, we got a mood. I need cleaning this mess up, you jackass. Well, yeah, Debbie, you did we ask you, you to? Can I answer the question? Okay, no. wait. Not you, Deb. Uh, Sorry, Ch- Chandler you're... Kitchen, um, he's been doing voiceover work for us for a while, and he's actually, he's he, he does some stuff for a couple of different internet radio stations. He works for a terrestrial station. Uh, we've friended him a while ago he's going to be doing a it's one hour of um inspirational music and quotes that's what he's going to be doing so nine to ten this sunday it's actually going to be it's in the system loaded for sunday morning yeah oh boy it's it's gonna it's gonna be interesting Mm -hmm. i just i mean i don't know i I just try and but it's good to reach out to all over the planet. But I'm trying to get you guys. I mean, the local people need to see what you guys are about. Oh, absolutely. That's Dude, what, that's what we're trying to do. You're doing a great job, man. And you're, you're doing, doing a great, great job, job sharing the word, man. We appreciate it. We're, that's what we're working on, Jason. We're, you that's, know, this this really t- hopefully this time next year those. Local, local, uh, hopefully those local numbers are around 35 or 40 percent by the time right. we uh, get to this time next year. That's the hope. Have you got any people say, no, I heard, you, I heard about you guys from a local Akron or... Yeah, I've, I've, or- yeah, I've had it actually happened quite a bit. Um you know, I've, I've, there's people I've talked to, and they say, yeah, I've heard of SKO. Yeah, I mean, I'm getting a few more of those conversations yeah, coming up. So, it's I happening. Mean, so I'm getting people in the local area actually say, yeah, they've heard of us, and they've 
you know, like, well, what are you guys all about? You know, and uh, we tell them, and they're like, yeah, we'd love to tune in. And, you know, it's funny. We've gained some listeners. Um, we had a guy write us. Uh, he wrote our Facebook page um, a couple days ago, and he said he met a few of our staff at the uh, Cider Fest. Yep. And he says, yeah, he says, I, I got to listen to you guys, and guess what? He says, you guys got a new listener. It's going to be loyal as hell. So, uh, so we're gaining, yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's it's reaching out to the community like that, and actually making connections like that, and say, hey, you know what, folks, you know, check us out, and you may like us, you may not, but if you do, great, tune in, and you know, great, you know. And there's a lot of people actually. We're getting more of those conversations happening. So absolutely, it's you know, yeah. it's it's a growing process, you know, but we're getting there. I was, I was just wondering how is I've been putting you on those local group pages for about a month and a half. Yeah, I know. And between, it's been helping. I think it's been helping. I think it's been helping significantly. So, between, between a month and a half and that, and that or so now, mm-hmm. would you say... Would oh, you numbers say are gonna... Oh, got, I think you've gained us a good 3%. I mean, we're... Like I said, we were like... Four to six percent before. I mean, we're running right around this, you know, seven to ten percent range now. I mean, we're we're increasing, Jason. I mean, there's definitely. Thank you for that, by the way. Um, we're incre- the numbers are going up. I mean, that's like one thing we like. We have our um, like in our analytics system here. I'll just give you an idea, Jason. We have a we have a seven day trend, a fourteen day trend, and a thirty day trend, and it actually tells us how much we've gone up. All three trends this month have increased. I mean, the seven-day trend we've got, we've spiked up about eight percent. Uh, the fourteen-day trend, right around the I, same. I, the thirty-day trend. I mean, so if you look at all the trends, we're actually there's there's been every month over the last three to four months has been an increase. So it's not I, like and we we're not. I mean, there's always dips and valleys from week to week, but overall. Overall, there's an increase. I can't eat three burgers. There's an I, increase I, I, in the trend. I mean, I'm fat, but damn. Earl, Earl, Earl I th- at the end of the day, I, I think this video chat where you look like a hot pepper. I look like a hot pepper. <laughs> and, and, he thinks and, I look like and, a hot pepper. And, 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 and that's why the numbers are going up. I, I, just got, I just got over that one weekend mm-hmm. when I posted your Facebook Live yeah. on Friday night by Sunday morning. Mm-hmm. It was to 999. I, I noticed. Yeah, I know. That's huge. That's 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 absolutely amazing. I mean, I mean, what you did there, Jason, that's huge. I mean, I was looking at the sports brewing company one. There's one that... Uh, one of uh, Rick's buddies who does a show, his his buddy, he always does a little bit behind the scenes video. The one video he did in two days got over six hundred views, and it was in two days' time. It was up over like uh, close to nine hundred and fifty, and it was just on his personal page that he th- he threw it out. He, 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 he must be cuter than you. Oh, he's much I cuter than me. I posted, <laughs> I posted your wife show on um, that. MMS mm-hmm. page, WMMS page, yeah. which is the local page. Right, 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 yeah. Yeah, and I, I actually got, well, every time I got a like back, every time I post Oh, yeah, man, it, it, um, it's great. It's great. It's absolutely been fantastic. And what kills me, and I... I mean, you're getting positive mm, feedback. Absolutely. I just, I just want to know, by because if I should, the reason I ask is the, mm-hmm. because the maybe I should do something different if it, it's not drawing what more vocal people and then I'm basically like fishing. Listen for the vocals, where you guys got the national. I've been listening and trying to find out did I get any bites with in the last month. It's been working. Jason, it's been working. I mean, hands down, it's been working, man. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, it's been working. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to catch a whole net of rubber city and Chicago Falls. You look so absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. You, absolutely. You, you you got the nail on the head, man. You're right. Absolutely. So, this, how much can you give me a 
percentage of local fish I probably caught, you can't do me. I can give you. I can. I mean, I think we're. I think it's starting to get around to the eight percent range now. I mean, we're I, 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 local. Jason, I think we're up there around eight percent now. We were up. At, remember when we first talked about. Remember, we were from four to eight. We went from four, I mean, we went from like four to eight percent. I mean, we're we're actually hovering around eight to ten percent now. So, those numbers are increasing. Before before I started four percent before it was four percent before you started sharing. Oh my! So I doubled it. You doubled, doubled it. Yeah, it's doubled, Jason. Doubled. Absolutely, it has. Yeah. It's doubled. Which, that's amazing. And what which do is I have amazing to do to make you behave, Jason. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy. <laughs> where's, where's the, hey, where's the, where's, where's the Tony, Tom and the Tony, Tony, Tony's, Tony. Tony's going out of town for a concert. He'll be back on, he'll be back on Sunday night during the firearm show. But he took tonight off. But he'll be back next Friday. That, that's why they invited me in. And. Yeah. The show, then the show went to hell after that. <laughs> but no, yeah, yeah. Tony, but, uh, Tony took Tony took the night off, but uh, he'll be like I said, he'll be back in on Sunday night, and uh, then again, or he'll be back in for his Wednesday show next Wednesday. Then he's back in with us the next Friday. I want to I want to get Bob Burley to do maybe a Sunday night. I'd love to. I'd love to get him, but. It, I've talked to him a little bit about it, and he's interested, but he's not. You know, he's kind of in that he doesn't. He really doesn't want to get back into radio right now. So the, the little bit of talks we've had, he's not really wanting to get back into radio at this time. But and that's going to happen. Some people yeah. that reach that point, they're just who's that? Bob. I've talked about early. Bob early. Or I, I, I actually, I mm-hmm. talked to him. He lo- he loves what we're doing. I mean, I talked to him. He he, he flew my banner for me um, out of rocking all summer. So oh, I mean, Bob, uh, Bob Bob Early's awesome, great guy. But, but can't I, say I, enough can't say enough great things about Bob. I, 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 I'm you know great. What? I'm great friends. Bob with has a Bob has an open invitation anytime he wants to come down here. I mean that that's that's you know what? he knows you that. Know what? You, you know what? You should give the uh, open invitation to hmm. that guy that used to do the dating shows years ago. Oh God! Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. I'd I'd love to get on, him too. On but... W N R. Yeah. You should give an open invitation hey. to that Mike Haig guy. Um, oh yeah, I, I, I've heard of him. You know, Jim Jim, really? Jim, Jim, Jim Albright. He's a jackass, but you know what? Jim Albright. He does good stuff. I'm talking about no, my he, pegs are he, jackass. He, he's on <laughs> six forty WHLO, mm-hmm. Jason. Welcome to the SKO Radio Network. You can find us online at skoradio.com. We're also on the TuneIn app, where you can listen with your mobile devices on the Google Play and Apple Store. Find us on social media at facebook.com forward slash SKO Radio Network. You're tuned to the SKO Radio Network. And online at skoradio.com. Yeah, they, oh, they, yeah, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna come over to this internet station. They're like, no, 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 no. Nope. And and, 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 and and actually, Stan Pyatt was was doing Friday shows with him. Yeah. On 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 that show on Fridays. What about the? What, what about, I was to could get. Who hand the little John to come? Who hand the little John? Oh, Big Chuck. Yeah, but they're they're done, man. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, I know. They're just yeah. They're like they want too much money. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. Let's be honest. They want too oh, much. I mean, do you imagine if you had little John? Uh, well, it'd be fantastic, but it's just it just ain't going to happen. I mean, but it'd be fantastic, but. It's just not, and for one, it's not in our budget to do that. And two, I mean, it's just, they're they're just kind of in that they're done. This is like you a know, really they're, fucked up game. Yeah, but all right, Jason, I gotta run along. I gotta I gotta run along. We gotta we gotta run the break here and everything. Hey, I hope you do my bloom night. Oh, I want to do, do Jason. I'd love to do it in the spring. I think it'd be great. I think it'd be fantastic to do that. Yeah, that's when the figure. Uh, 
All right, sounds good. All right, Jason, thanks for the call as always, my friend. We'll talk we to you next week. Road, buddy. All right, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, that was Jason. We're going to run along, take a break, and play another clip from Scary Movie. We'll be right back. Hey, thanks for listening to the SKO Radio Network. We're online at skoradio.com and on the TuneIn app. If you have kids at home, this next segment is for you. This Friday, the newest batch of Disney Channel stars grown in the Disney Genetic Engineering Lab will be unveiled to the public. Right. Now, Tracy, most of our viewers are already familiar with a lot of the products that have come out of the Disney I know Lab. I am. Yes. But how exactly do you create a Hillary Duff or a Miley Cyrus from scratch? Right. Well, we're going to find out exactly how it's done right now because joining us live from the Disney Lab is uh, one of their lead geneticists, Dr. Andrew Rourke. Welcome, Dr. Rourke. There's quite an operation you've got going on out well, there. Thanks, Jim. So the stars that we see on TV are actually grown right here? Uh, that's correct. They're, they're grown and uh, developed here. We engineer their brains for advanced singing and dancing capabilities, even posing for photos. By the time they grow to desired size, uh, these child stars are fully ready for the camera or the, the concert uh, tours or whatever Disney chooses to put them in. That is simply amazing. <laughs> now, how long does it take to actually create a star from scratch? Well, not very long at all. We use the exact same DNA structure for all of our stars, and then we simply tweak minor details like uh, hair color or skin tone. Right, yeah, we do have some footage here of some of the uh, well-known creations that have come out of your lab. Let's take a look. Yes, well, that's model 6831-A, publicly known as Mitchell Musso, standard male base with oh, a type wow. 3 skin pigmentation. Wow. And that's model 6831-B. We give them slightly thicker eyebrows and type 5 skin. Oh, so yeah. it's sort of like putting a puzzle together there. Exactly, exactly. Amazing. Okay, here we've got some of the images of some of the newest models. We're going to be seeing a lot of these kids it in the future. It really looks like you have someone for every kid in America right. to love well, that's here. That's the idea, Tracy. Our writers find it very liberating. Uh, for example, our new model, Haley, is a singing, dancing, snowboarding, half Japanese, half Indian wow. girl. Wow. Now, finding her in reality would be impossible. Right, but sounds like a surefire hit to me. Oh, now this one's Zac Efron. I've seen him before. Oh. Yes, uh, Zac was actually one of our earliest models. My daughters love him. I mean, he looks so real. Actually, I think we could have done a better job with Zach. He could show more human tendencies. Uh, if, if you look closely, you'll notice there's a certain deadness around the eyes. I do see that, yeah. yes. I, I'm sorry, it's hard for me to watch because all I see is uh, all my mistakes. Well, yeah. oh, he seems flawless to me. Well, he's holding up, but there was a bug in that first batch, and as a result, Zach's skin will soon begin to dissolve. No, poor Zach Efron. All right, well, it's simply amazing. Dr. Rourke, thank you so much for coming in and spending some of your morning with us. I can't wait to see some of these Absolutely. new creations <laughs> popping out of the lab. <laughs> Welcome to the SKO Radio Network. You can find us online at skoradio.com. We're also on the TuneIn app where you can listen with your mobile devices on the Google Play and Apple Store. Find us on social media at facebook.com forward slash SKO Radio Network. You're tuned to the SKO Radio Network and online at skoradio.com. Hello? 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 What's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> I'm gonna gut you like a fish. <laughs> Don't even 
taking tests, cause I'll make you undress like porn dancers, waiting at the front door for an answer. Hey yo, I'm sick of artificial MCs like silicone titties. Hey yo, check it, yo, fuck a cheap bong. I wanna smoke cheech and chong. And if I wanna fuck long, I let my ding along hit the bong. And then it's on. Always pass the dutchie to the left, because the right way is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I got one, I got one, I got one here does, right? I got a slash and gash, cut another hole in your ass. I spill blood on the walls and play tennis with your balls. If the phone rings, don't answer that call. It's gonna slit your throat, fuck you like a goat. Peel your foreskin off and make a winner coat. Peace. Yo. That was the illest drama I ever seen, Sarah! You're listening to Some Kind of Radio Show here on the SKO Radio Network. Call now at 234-200-5110. Again, that's 234-200-5110. All right. Now here's Earl McCune and the crazy crew. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Aaron K. Back. We're back live here on Some Kind of Radio Show here on the SKO Radio Network. Earl McCune, along with Dylan Thompson. Are we, are, we, are we on the other one now? We should be good now. Okay. Is it, we we weren't on the other one? I don't know no. why it wasn't on there. I thought I had it on. It was off. It was off? You forgot to turn it on. I had it on like for a week. Yeah, so you... Let's just shut off. You actually. probably turned it off. I probably accidentally so. turned it off. Oh, well. You know what? It's fine. It's not going to be the end of the world. Yeah. Stream's going. I, it's, I think it's just that computer not picking it up. My seat's all warm now. Did you fart in it? No. Why? Deb said it. It's all warm now. It's hot and it smells like dirty cooch. It's all warm now. Anyway, welcome back to the program, everybody. Thanks for having final me. Number, final hour here. I'm gonna, I, you're eating pizza and I'm eating a sandwich. I'm not eating pizza anymore. You were eating pizza. I was eating pizza. Well, how longer. was your pizza? It was, it was all right. I give it a... Pizza score? Give it a six and a half. Six and a half? Yeah. I heard that, Jackass. Well, the seat's warm. The seat's I hot. It, it's hot and oh, sweaty. You sat here last... Yeah, and? Yeah, all the seat's warm. So why is the seat warm? Because you sat here. That's why. You fodded. No, I didn't. And she's not going to talk into a microphone. No. No? You know, you know how the, when she got here, the uh, the tone of the show went, like, down. Ah. Ah. <laughs> we were having so much fun until you showed It went up. from mildly entertaining to they still suck. Yep. They still shitty. They shitty. So what... How's that beer? They shit the This beer that is good. really, oh, really, really good. The first one. Take it. Uh, the that first. Was, that was the good, but one. this one is better. You're not allowed to have that. That's ours. Oh, she likes it. Look at that. Oh, how about that? You lost it. This was the last one. Shitty. <laughs> I told you to get me more, and you should. Oh, more. They didn't have none. Hey, check the lottery numbers. Oh yeah, we got to check the uh, lottery numbers. Hold on, let me uh, pull up. Do the... we have our tickets? I have my ticket. Oh, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. He bought the, here's the other, uh, by the way, here's yeah. the other dollar. He I got, it, for I got his the other hat. dollar. I told you I would give you the other dollar. Okay, I'll pull up the lottery. That way there's no question. What am I doing on a computer? I can do it on my phone. Jesus. Yeah, what, what the, the hell? hell am I thinking? We can just scan the ticket. Oh, hold on well, a minute. luckily I hadn't left the store yet because somebody sent me that said, don't forget to get the Powerball. Luckily I was standing right next to the machine, so I was able to get the other one. Why That's didn't really you get them a couple days ago? You were at the yeah. lanes yesterday, weren't you? No. Oh, you were at the lanes yesterday. Yeah, but she wouldn't let me because I'm not allowed to spend money. Oh, bullshit. It's true. True story. I'm not allowed to spend it's money. It's true. He's not allowed to spend money. All right. Is, it, is that them? I'll okay. just scan Mega them. Mega millions. I'll just, I'll just scan them. We'll make it easy. I'll read the numbers okay. off for the... Uh... Well, give me one so that we can... It's only one. Okay. Well, what's the other one? Okay, here we go. Up. Oh, My okay. Power uh, this is the 16th draw. It doesn't have the 19th draw on yet. Online. It won't because it just. But it should. No, it just went off at eleven. Oh, yeah, it's... eleven and eleven oh five. Well, let's scan it. All right, so the the cash value option is five hundred and sixty five point six million dollars. Shake it off. Yeah, the uh, winning Mega Millions numbers are not posted online yet. No, they are not. However, we might be able to scan it. Yeah, we might be able to scan. So, it. Might be. Let me let me see if I can scan it, Dub. I paid for half of those. Come on. Give him a damn ticket so we can scan it. He can't have this one. This one's mine. Why don't you scan it then? can't. I can't. This is for... 
Well, you got Powerball. Why you? Wait, wait, wait. He has some Mega Millions. Wait, something wait. went wrong. Wait, why is this only six dollars? I gave you five, so this is all mine. No, it's not. It's mostly all mine. Oh, we gave you, no, we, we gave you five dollars. No, we got the Powerball too. Because he told me to get the Powerball. Well, she. Well, well, you should pay attention. I. I. It's just habit, Deb. I don't play the Mega Millions as often as the Powerball. I pay the Powerball more usually. So, pay attention to what's actually up there. That's your fault. Why can't you take responsibility for anything that you do wrong? Because you played. I didn't play. You told me. It says right here. Okay. And I'm going back in the other room. And no, I'm just saying. He goes, did you get the Powerball? That's exactly what he said. Mega million. So you didn't get the Mega Millions? Yes, it's right there. So you only got like three tickets. You got one ticket. No. Three draws. <sighs> Jesus. You're supposed to get ten draws. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, Deb. That was the whole idea. That was the whole idea. Well, we got both because we got this for tomorrow, too. Well, let me go to see if the Mega Millions website is... Uh, Here, I'll check. You talk. I'll talk. Dead silence. Well, I just... See, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Here's the... Uh, okay. Here it is. Here's the numbers. Here's tonight's number. 65... 53, 23, 15, 70, and the Mega Ball is 7. I got the numbers right here, Dylan. All right. Wait, go ahead. What was it again? 65. Nope. 53. Nope. 23. Nope. 15. Nope. 70. Nope. And the Mega Ball is 7. Nope. Well, we're not billionaires. Shitty. <laughs> You'd have bought the $10 worth. Yeah, we would have won. You're supposed to buy $10 worth. I didn't know. Well, I told you what to get. Said you were being cheap. No, I. you didn't tell me what to get. Oh, well, you but should. We ended up getting both. Uh, so we got a power. Well, you have a shot at the Powerball now in a couple How much days. Is the power... Tomorrow. 40 billion or $40 million or something like that. No, no. It, I, what's the mega million? Me what's, the, what's the Powerball up to tomorrow? Hopefully, by the end of the hour, we can actually see if there was actually a winner before the show's out tonight. We'll, we'll know if there's actually a winner. Four hundred seventy. Four hundred seventy million on the uh, on the Powerball. So hey, we could we still got a shot at being uh, multimillionaires on uh, Wednesday or Saturday. So we'll have to wait till tomorrow. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool if they this? don't. I know it's really good. It's really good. Should try it on draft. We should, we put it through the draft aider thing. I got that from church. I was at. You got that from church. Talking to the microphone. I got that from the church. The church. I know. Um, I know the story you're referring to as a church. So, I went to the the little one uh-huh. on Waterloo. Mm-hmm. They don't carry that. They don't carry the uh, specialty beers. Yeah. Well, you should have gone to the... I was right there getting your food. Well, that's why I told you. Go get it where you got it. You slacker. <laughs> they still beard on midnight. There's still time. I'm not going back out and getting more. I'll, no. go, I'll go get it. No, you've been drinking. So? Now, you were telling me about the Russian... the Russian. Uh, oh, the Russian style. It, it was good. Rasputin? It was, it was, it was a, it's, it's a traditional porter, but, I mean, not as good as that. I think that's much better. I'll drink the shit out of that. You get me more that's of that? That's a milk stout. You get me more of that? Oh, it's a... It's, it's, it's a... Um, Mint chocolate. Yeah. Like, you know, John's on the line with us. Uh, hey, John. Old Chaco... It's a mint chocolate milk stout. Very smooth, very drinkable. What's John, Twista Chitzel? Uh, yeah. Hello? You don't have him unmuted, do you? No, he's, he's unmuted. He's, he John? Might, he might be taking a poop. John? Hold on a minute. Was he on hold? <laughs> hold, let me see something. John, were you on hold? I was. Oh, I am you so sorry. You stupid fuck! Well, why didn't you text me and say, Earl, you're fucking up? <laughs> wow. I didn't know what was going on, because I knew the phone system the way it is. I didn't know what was going on. I figured it was normal. No, it was called Earl's a dumbass and hit the wrong button. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> anyway, Hi, Debbie. How anyway, are you? Anyway, we're talking about Old Chaco here, the, you know, the Thirsty Drug Brewing Company. I uh, got that just on a whim. Mint chocolate milk stout. What a fantastic beer that is. And you don't like mint. 
I like that. That's what I'm saying. You're not a minty person. That's good. That's really good. It sounds like a dessert beer. No, it's not. It's, it, it, it is, but it's not It's not one of those. It, it's a very drinkable. It's not real thick, if that makes any sense. It's just real. It's not a traditional milk stout. It's very easy to drink. I mean, it's, oh, okay, it's okay. very. It's not, like, it's not like that chocolate one I brought you. Guys. No, no, no. This is a and very And this one, different... it's not overpoweringly mint, and it's not overpoweringly chocolate either. Yeah, it's a, it's a very oh smooth. Where did everybody go? I have no idea. As soon as you got here, they were decided to leave. Did you watch the video, Deb, and you scared everybody away? Oh, shut up, Schitzel. Well, I don't know. I mean, you, I you get here. Five so uh, when are you going to be back up? Uh, well, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't know. Probably will be December, like Christmas party. Who said you were invited? I did. So eat my fuck, Deb. Yeah, you weren't on the air. You, I, nice I mayonnaise all over your face. Well, if I had any right nap- if I had any napkins here, oh wait, we don't have that, do we? Can you grab me a paper stay? towel and be nice and get no. me a paper towel? That'd be nice. I asked her for a paper towel and she's like, "Fuck off." No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, she does. That's what she does. That's a typical dub move. Come on, Deb. We we won. Won. Wee, 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 wee. God, you're just whiny ass tonight. God, you asked, I asked for a paper towel, and you bitch about that. I didn't bitch about it. You're bitching about well, bitching. Hey, cause, but you know what? We still have a shot at the Powerball Saturday. I have a shot at the Powerball. No, we. 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 No. It's a group Not effort. Not you. Especially right now. Look, it's you all management right here, right now. Yeah. You don't have you're stake over. in it. Wow, you're fucking heartless, lady. You know what? <laughs> she, Excuse she is me? heartless, You didn't too. even bring me burgers. You didn't even know I was here. Yes, that was I did. Heartless. No, you didn't. She was, were you listening? I was listening, and one, I saw the start of the reveal. Heartless. Heartless, Deb. You're totally heartless. Will glass coffins be popular? Remains I've, to be I've seen. I've considered you a great friend, and you know what? Mm-mm. Meow. Hey, if you, right underneath, <laughs> hey, Brian, one thing I'm going to tell you. Ow! Right underneath the Good. ponytail. I'll tell you, right underneath the ponytail is where, where the, the poop, poop comes, comes, comes out. Honey, you're fine. No, sit down. Right underneath the ponytail is where the poop oh, comes out. My chair. What do you mean you're going to get your chair? No, you're not sitting on my lap. Damn. I got to eat. Open. I'm trying to eat. No, I, I'd like to like keep my legs. <laughs> Nothing like getting a blowjob with with a girl with a ponytail. But this is where the poop comes out. You oh, reach damn it. Did I say it out loud? Right here. It's where the poop... Ow! Don't fucking do that. Hi, Deb. Hello. 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 My name is Deb. Hello. You know, this show was so Hello. much fun and that guy here. I don't know what the hell happened. It just you're, you, 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 you're dressed all in, in, in brown's clothes. She's dressed like a pumpkin today. You say I look like a pepper. She looks like a fucking pumpkin. Are you Peter Peter? Yeah. Peter Peter. Yeah, you look like a pumpkin here. Had a wife and couldn't keep you, it. You are both look festive, by the way. At least I'm in the right time of holiday. All right, so Earl's her- horfing down a uh, burger. Earl, Earl, Earl wants to carve you up like nobody's business. <laughs> Earl's horfing so down I, a burger I, I right now. I think you're in for a long evening. No. Uh, I've got... I've got Dylan in here, I've got myself, and we've got Deb, who, even though she's chair force. Well, I'm, you forgot me. I'm, wh- what branch were you in? Huh? Did you serve? Were you Did in I the what? military? Were you in the military? No. Oh, well, then shut that. up. <laughs> 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 but anyway, since, you know, even though Deb was chair force and she never left an office, I'm kidding, obviously. I will include she's you serv- in this. And but she's service many servicemen. That's all I'll say. No, but I found this, and it kind of made me laugh. So while Earl's eating, ten things I learned from military service, and you guys can tell me if this is right. The world, in fact, is full of assholes. Oh, oh absolutely. Absolutely correct. I learned how to piss off every race, religion, and creed. Yeah. Absolutely. I learned how to swear in every race, religion, and creed. Hoorah. I learned how to eat incredibly fast. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. I learned how to watch every episode of any series within a 24-hour period. Eh. Yeah. Eh. I learned how to put hot sauce on anything gross and eat it for money. 
Yes. Can I, yeah, I was going to say Dylan has to can say I, Can it. I add one to it real quick? <laughs> Fire away. Because I'm, I'm not in, I was never in the military, but I married someone who's in the military. Right. I learned to fuck incredibly fast to get it over. <laughs> 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 and get get in and out in two minutes. Done. <laughs> Start to finish. Pants down. Blow my nut. Get my get, get, get out. Get it done. That's it. Burn twenty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I said sorry. I had to add that. I learned how to consume more coffee and alcohol than the average person. True. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. 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 I learned how to sleep on anything under any condition. Dylan? I'm asleep right now. I don't know. <laughs> Can't tell. He's asleep. You're being awful quiet, Dylan. You're awful quiet, Brian. Oh, well, I'm I learned not to be. To I didn't want to be the mic hog. This one doesn't really apply to Deb, but you push the button. So I'll, I'll include you. Mm. I learned how to shoot, move, communicate, and blow shit up. Very true. You know how to blow shit up, Deb? How many times did you go to the qualifying range? How many times did you shoot your weapon a year? Uh, I shot the only it. only one in my flight with master's marksmanship. I shot it once in six years. But she pushed the button. No, I... So mm. I'll, I'll give her. I was... Mike. If you don't I'll mind me integrating Truthfully, here. Truthfully, I was the only one in my flight that got master marksmanship. Okay. That, that's 25 out of 40 I, I, for I, those I, of you I, keeping I, track right. at home. I, I, was, I was number one... In the country. They only have to shoot 150 hang, hang on, hang on. And he was number one in the country. I was number one in the country in archery and was going to go to the 84 Olympics. And then you I got was number, I, I, No, you know what the problem was? I started chasing women. Damn it. Damn it. And, 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 and I let it go. Death of all men. But I was, I was number one in the country for seven years. And archery, out of a perfect 600, I was shooting 598s and state targets on blue, which is 300. I I was shooting five. I mean, it, it 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 was just. I just let women get in my way. <laughs> Damn it! Damn. There's a lesson to be learned here, kids. Don't yep. let women get in the way. Don't Deb, let out. women get in the way. Deb, All right, to out. the next one. All right, the last one. The, <laughs> the last one. one. And and I'm going to say this. We pick on Deb just not oh, on God. this show, okay? But you know what? You, you kind of fall into this one. I can take more shit than you can possibly imagine. Bingo. She can't take it. She can dish it, but she can't take it. That's Damn. the absolute truth. Uh, can you, you and the gauntlet has guy been guy thrown down. <laughs> from the way I grew up wait, 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 wait. We're talking to the microphone. Hey, no. hey, hey, Deb. Talk, talk into the microphone. Talk into the yeah. Mic. No, here, here. Let's try a new lesson, Deb. We're going to give you a lesson today. When you're I on the radio. I'm talking to the fucking microphone. But what I was telling Dylan, you walk a mile in my shoes the way I grew up and the way I am now. Ditto. You would understand. And yes, I do understand Ditto. because I came from the same background as you. So, and I can take it. So can I. You can't take it. You get pissed off at the wind hits you wrong. It's the truth. Well, when it's a nonstop. Oh, would I, would I, would I ever, wait a minute. Do I nonstop fuck with you? Yes. No. no. Not nonstop. With you 16 years or all, it's an everyday uh, pick fest. Everyday pick fest. Well, if I could pick anything, it'd be wouldn't be your nose, because I mean that thing's got. Uh, I talked about earlier how my when I sneeze, I'm like a party favor. Yours gonna reach out and grab shit. <laughs> Please don't throw that because I'm in the line of fire. You, dude, she's looking dangerous. <laughs> she looks dangerous even when she's asleep. Don't <laughs> she's got some massive farts when she sleeps. Good God. That's why I have to sleep on the uh, under, not underneath the covers, if you know what I mean. She's not smiling, so you better shut up. She never smiles. Turn that frown yeah, upside down. Very rarely. Turn yeah. that frown upside got, down. I don't think I've ever seen Deb yeah. really smile unless she's, like, drunk. And that's why she don't get drunk anymore, because she doesn't like to smile. She's not, she's not going to do that. Yeah. Deb doesn't like to smile anymore, because... Deb has a disease called cranial rectitis. 
It's a disease that can't be cured. If yeah. you get cranial erectitis, see your doctor immediately and get. I got out. an ex-wife that does that too. Actually, actually, know. cranial erectitis has to be treated by cake, a. Boys. Has to be treated. Cake. Ooh, we have I, cake. Ice cream cake. There's we have cake. Oh, there's ice cream cake. Oh, well, we have you got cake. 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 I didn't know it was ice cream cake. I didn't know it was ice cream cake either. I didn't even know you had it. You better get to it before it melts, boys. You need to. Sh you need to share that shit. Why don't you get Why are you smiling when you have ice cream cake? Not uh, January. See, you don't even know what my birthday is. What January the fuck? 7th, 1978. You're going to be 41. Earl, mm -hmm. why is she not smiling when she has ice cream cake? Because she never smiles. I don't want to share. I don't get that. She don't smile at all. She's never. She's like a most. She's one of the grouchiest people I've ever met in my life. She is very. Cut it out, grouchy. She, you know, and I, I keep telling her her problem is she needs a good fucking. And I Somebody said, needs to find her a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> she needs some mass on the side. <laughs> she, she, she needs some side action. Maybe that'll help her. I don't know. Yeah, don't know. well, it, it, at the end of the day, if that's what it takes to, to keep the peace, then you know what? I told her, I said, you just need be to a me, be a man and say, okay. Oh, holy shit. I got a friend's request from some half-naked chick, but I know it's not even real. Me too. Yeah, it's like, I, I, this has got to be a same fake one. account. Same one. I got it from this the same one? one. Yeah, fake-ass account. I get two or three of those a day. Hey, wait, God, wait, 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 hold on, hold on a minute. I, I, I actually want to read. I, I, I get Here's the thing. Time. This is how fake this, this thing is, okay? She goes, WhatsApp adult group contains many beautiful women looking for fun around you. I guarantee you they will... Be happy and two love miles of you. And you will love their skills. I, I, All I, free, I, and they just need a big penis. All right. And, 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 <laughs> There's and your I, email address and uh, link in the comments. And, and, and I live within two miles of you. Yeah, well, I, I can tell you what. Fake fucking account. And yeah. if you do not That's have okay. a big penis, they're okay with pretending. That's all right. Because it's not a real account. It's probably some dude anyway, named. It's Ed's probably some dude. It's probably some dude named Bubba who found a picture of this chick and saying, "Oh yeah, I gotta pretend I'm like a five hundred pound guy it, named Chuck." It, yeah. it, it it still is boyfriend Bob. He's it's probably a guy named he, Bob. He, he, probably he's, a, yeah. Probably. He, he's fucking with you all. It's probably a guy named Bob. Is he found a chick online? Oh, this chick's got a hot picture. I'll use this, and I'm gonna fuck with these guys because it's fun. <laughs> But you know, I'll, I'll get like a two dollar. I'll get like a thirty five cent credit on my porn account if I can get someone to join. Yep, it's probably what it is. Guarantee you. Enjoy your credit. Go spend it all in one spot. Here, here, here now, now. Here's a question for you. Now we're on the thing with these hot chicks and fake accounts. Now, right. here's an important question, guys. Name the worst place to get horny. Oh my God! You know what? I I I, I, I did church. I did see this. Yeah. No church, church. No, actually, church is not the worst. Church ain't the worst. Shower in the military. Yeah, shower in the shower military. Shower in the military. That'd be the worst thing, huh? I mean, you know, I showered with seventy fucking guys, so you that get, would be you, the worst place. Yeah, you get horny yeah, in there. You get horny. <laughs> fucked. If you get horny in there, there's something really wrong. Yeah, yeah. So what do you say? A prison? Yeah, but you know what? And Mike probably would agree with this. There yeah. are, honestly, your and, TIs and, and, and everything. At the end of the day. Yes, you end up having both male and female TIs. Well, not in the Marines. Well, you know what I mean. Well, no, I'm, I'm not when, being a dick. But when you got older, uh, when you got out of it, okay. you ended up having them. Some of them are freaking hot. You you blew many of them. No, I didn't. You you, you service many service. You still have chap lips, for Christ's sake. Come on, you told me how many blowjobs <laughs> you gave in the military. I mean, I, mean, I, don't, I don't care. It was before you ever met me. I've been with one person. Oh, you're and full I, of no, shit. I am dead serious. I've been with one person. I'm married to him. Okay, but you know, you told me how many blowjobs you've given out, and I'm like, I don't care. I think it's. I was like, oh, whatever. I, I, because I'm going to tell you something. Can I be honest, Deb? Can I be honest? The first time you ever sucked my dick, you knew what you were doing. So don't tell me you just you you, do, you learned it by watching a video. No. No. She doesn't still has a rocket chapstick. scientist on how to give a blowjob. No, wait, but you you did it like you've experienced it before. So don't give me that shit. I mean, you believe what you want. Deb, you've told me flat out. Oh, I, uh, I used to suck his dick. Well, so what? I don't give a shit. This is before we ever met. I don't give a flying fuck. Can my so you don't have to fucking say, oh, no, I never did nothing. I don't give a shit. This is before we ever met. Who gives a fuck? So... 
It doesn't make you know. It doesn't make you a bad person. You sucked some cock. Who cares? You're a female. I'd hope I'm a female. I've had two children. Oh, well, I'm worried. Sometimes you're not. <laughs> but I, I, I will, I will stand behind her comment. There yeah. are some uh, superior officers uh-huh. that. Oh my God. Uh-huh. That would make you. Yeah. Yeah, you're sitting there going, "Yes, ma'am." Yes, ma'am. I would. Yes, and, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And you're like. I gotta go the other way. Yes, and ma'am. anything you want, ma'am. Anything you want, ma'am. Damn. Uh, Just remember, Pornhub is free. <laughs> Pornhub is free. <laughs> Just remember, how, everybody. How, how do you approach that? How do you approach that? You just well, say yes, every... ma'am. Anything you want. Let's take a break. I, I, that's how we I, approach that. Yeah, that's how Let's we approach that. Let's take a How do you approach that? All right, some kind of radio show on this go. One more clip from Scary Movie. Be right. Didn't see you there. Me and my buddy here have been expecting you. My sticky buddy, Sully here with the... Oh, excuse me, I've got some pussy hair on me. Check that shit out. It's a sticky roller designed to clean up any mess. Poodles, pussies, people, you name it. Use it as a back scratcher. You can rinse it off, dry it off, jerk it off. I don't care what you do with it or where the hair even came from. Silks, suede, swag. <laughs> Ladies, I don't care how smelly or hairy your carpets are. My rubber fingers get in there deep. Just rinse it off for a nice beverage. Wipe it off. Oh, there we are. Do all kinds of shit with it. Aren't you tired of ripping your hair out because you're trying to drive and the kids are making a fucking mess? You'll be making so much money, it pays itself off. Ooh, precious food. <laughs> Mm. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Everybody has an evil cat or an annoying dog. Use it to groom them, or even yourself. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Wow! <laughs> Normally, a sticky is $20, but a sticky buddy is only $10.99. You'll also get a cover. You gotta use protection. Even if it's a quickie, wrap that sticky. Stop rolling up your money with those old lint rollers. The fuck is wrong with you? Check out the suggestively sized sticky buddy. You're gonna want to stroke it, but not too much. It'll make a mess. Hide it in your purse. 007, leave it somewhere as a pleasant surprise. And like I said before, I have magic rubber fingers that get deep into your hairy cracks. Get some buddies for just $10.99. But wait, there's more. If you have jumbo-sized pubes, we got a jumbo-sized sticky bunny. Who let Spider-Man in the house? The cat's flipping turds everywhere. Who keeps flicking their boogers under the bed? But you know what? The hair that you find is yours to do with as you please. Why not make a toupee or break out the turbo snake? All of these guys will be your buddies with their rubber fingers for just ten ninety-nine. Ask about free shipping. Now get out of my house. Isn't that right, Mr. Wuss Wuss? Hi, this is Bob Fritz, host of the Oldies But Goodies Show here on SKO Radio. Join me every Sunday morning from 11 to 2 Eastern Standard Time for the best of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. You can get your requests in by going to Facebook page yesterday and today's classic music chat tribute and games. You're listening to SKO Radio, where there is no fake news. Fact is, we don't have any news at all.
Just give me a moment. Ah, one. Listening to some kind of radio show here on the SKO Radio Network. Call now at 234 200 5110. Again, that's 234 200 5110. Now, here's Earl McCune and the Crazy Crew. All right, we're back here. Final uh, 25 minutes of the show tonight. Some kind of radio show here on the SKO Radio Network. Bringing to you, uh, we're here live every Friday night from 8 p.m. until midnight Eastern time, and we uh, salute a movie. Um, you know, tonight's movie uh, basically was, uh, what the hell movie did we do? Scary movie. <laughs> scary movie. Too much it's fear. Based it's based off my, too much scary fear. movie. It's based off my scary life with movie. you every day. Yeah. Uh-huh. But no, uh, scary, see, it was one thing with our show, and someone actually brought it up to me and asked me, like, hey, uh. uh you know, because Brian was actually asking me about the, the, our movie salutes. I was like, well, here's the thing with our show. It's a background topic. It's never a what you call prerequisite. No, it's never the topic. It's never the topic of the night, unless we have a guest specifically for that show. Right, unless we have a, a guest that has something to do with the movie we're saluting. Like when we had uh, when we did Cheers, we had one of the writers. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we've done Saved by the Bell, we've had Troy. Troy. On. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we've I did, done, by the way, I said hi. Or like when we did Star Trek Voyager and we had Manu and Tarami on. Right. Right. And that was uh, at the old station. That wasn't oh, here. Oh, and those of you listening, uh, I don't know if Earl's already gone over this yet, but either next Wednesday or the 24th or the 31st, we have a new show coming to you guys right here on Wednesday nights from 9 to midnight. Yeah. Do we know, Go ahead and do we know anything ahead. about it yet? Um. See, we, that's why I didn't want to announce it until it's I knew It's another what we're, comedic show. Another comedic show. Mm-hmm. Okay. But this one is more, they walk a line like us. Mm-hmm. Whoa, but whoa, whoa. What line does, what, what line very, do we walk? They're very edgy. Yeah, we don't walk a line. Um, we're, we're over the line. We basically one, one see the, the guys, line and go, how the, can I well, fuck with the line? These guys, they their beliefs put them in a whole different class than what we are. So it's one of those shows that you're going to have to listen to to believe it. Okay. Okay. Uh, Do we know anything else? No. Okay. But Thank you for that insightful. <laughs> Do they believe in aliens? Is that it? And that would be on Wednesday evening? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yep. What up, Jay? Great. Well, at the end of the day, I'm going to sit here and watch you eat I ate birthday my cake. cake. I already You've ate mine. Cake. And, and, and I there's a whole slice. I, I, I have not touched any of mine. I'm going to have. I'm going to pour so my the, choco that, into that, a that, glass. That's oh, fine. God. We, we, I just we, thought about we, that. This beer is going to go great with this cake. Oh, that's why I was going to pour oh, it in here. Go ahead, bro. Get it I done. I was going to put the cake in the fridge. Oh right my now. God, that's good. Hey, have, have you ever heard that song? Somebody's got to kill Earl. Turn that microphone a little bit you more sideways. You're, you're talking on the side of the mic. Now you can talk in the front. Now I can hear you. There you there go. There we go. I can hear you now. All Are right. you talking about yeah. the song by Dixie Earl's Kicks? Gotta die. So, goodbye, Earl's Earl. Earl's got to die. It's goodbye, story, Earl. Story, story of my goodbye, life. Goodbye, Earl. Story of my life. All right, good night, everybody. Yeah. Good night. <laughs> At the end of the day, I, I drive all this way, and then the last thing I got to do is find my... Italian buddy. Your Italian buddy? My Italian buddy. Vaffanculo. That Earl's gotta die. 
Story of my life. <laughs> Story of my life, Brian. That's he crazy. died you, the day we got married. You may have got yeah, yeah, right. You, you may have gotten you, a goodbye you, Earl. You big ass pepper and 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 she's a pumpkin. Pepper but, and a pumpkin. What the hell is up with that? It's a I, spicy pumpkin. I got Mikey likes it from a very young age. I'm sure you did. He likes it. Yeah, he yeah, likes yeah, it. Yeah, Mikey, but, likes Mikey likes it. Likes it. He likes, likes it. Was he likes it. At least you didn't have duck bill. You, you both got Michael get row your boat ashore. I got Debbie, duck bill. Yeah, because Debbie's bill De- Debbie's maiden name is Bill. Uh, triple T. Debbie triple, Dozer. Where, where's triple T come from? Triple thunder thighs. I see why. But I was a lot smaller. I then. see why. Oh my God! I was what say, what, I, what I was kind gonna, of I, English? Actually, I was going to go with QT for quadruple thunders. Out. I see why. QT. Look, I, 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 I learned it as A B C, and you're like, I see why. I see why. What the hell? <laughs> At least he didn't say I see you pee. I've seen you and smelled you pee. Your pee stink. Shut up. It smells like stinky shit. I. Your, I, pit, your piss smells like a lot of people's. Rectal. You know what? Seriously, we shut up. No, I'm just. Well, I'm on the radio. Why would I shut up? That's the whole point. I'm on the radio. People want to hear me talk, not listen. No. Not, not shut up. There's a big difference, Deb. Deb, why do you suffer from a disease called cranial rectitis? Did you get that from servicing all the servicemen? Oh, yeah. I live got that on. by marrying you. No throwing food. No in throwing the food in the studio. Deb, don't do it. Don't do it. It's against the law. My law. I am the law. She does have like really that. pretty cake here. I I won't lie. It she, is really pretty cake. It is pretty cake. That you yeah. haven't touched? Pretty cake, pretty cake. Hey, it's pretty cake. Hey, we found pretty a cake. new we found a Come new nickname for Debbie. Ice Q- cream cake goes good with a hangover. QT, quadruple thighs. See ya. Uh, Taking off? Yeah, I got family stuff to do tomorrow, so... He's got stuff He's to do. He's got Christmas tomorrow. Yeah. That's why we have the Christmas lights up. We celebrate just for you, Dylan. We did this just for you. Dude. I'll be listening. Hey, no spying. Yeah. I'll be listening to the No spying. Look. Bye, homeless guy. He's spying. Tell me what to do. You can't revoke my life. <laughs> I can change the password. At the end of the day, I, and, and don't take this the wrong way, but no. I want more cake. Dylan, Dylan is a really good looking. Young man. Yeah, whoa, I don't look whoa, at him that way. He, 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 no, this, I've seen that. So, we went from pedicures to hey, Dylan's hey, a good looking hey, guy. Yeah, hey, this hey, show hey, went bad. It went bad. We went from Dylan got a pedicure earlier. Hey, by the way, Dylan, I don't know if you heard that. No, that, John. I, 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 John, I, I, I don't know if you heard earlier that Dylan got a pedicure yesterday. He got a well, pedicure. he did. Yes, he got a pedicure. So he yesterday. might be a little bit feminine, but but that's okay. He, 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 he's at, 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 just at the end of the day, uh, it, no, just it, the, it, I, think, it, I, I don't know. If he, I think he got the pedicure. Well, he's a millennial, yeah. so it fits. It he's fits definitely him. a millennial. He's uh, you know, he he does. No, he, I, I, he beats I, to I, his I, own drum. I, 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 in all honesty, I, I think he deserves a good-looking young lady. I really do. He's got that. He's got that. Well, see, the thing maybe is, though, maybe a better lady, looking young lady. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, she's a sweeter. No, you, I, I'll I, tell I, you I, what. I know. I'll I, tell you what. No, she. No, she I, I'll I, tell you what. She. I, I'll say, you know, Marie is great for Dylan. She, she really. No, is. Well, no, I, she I, keeps I, him in line. Thank ter- God for ter- that. Tonight was my first night beating her, and at the end of the day, she's I, a sweeter. I, I, I have to admit that she's a very very. Sweet. No, she's she's a very sweet girl. She's a keeper. She she. You know, I told that's one thing Dylan said. She's, a, she's keeper. a keeper. And she she keeps she's him in a line. Keeper. Bless her heart. She keeps him in line. Yep. And uh, keeps him on the straight and narrow. Yep. You need to learn from him. <laughs> I need to learn from Dylan. Mm-hmm. Oh no. No, because look we're, at you. We're, I'll, we're I'll, like, commute, I'll come. You. Uh, now we're talking about Marie. Sweet. You're not. And and no. <laughs> There's a difference, so, Deb. So, so I'm saying, see, yeah, see, see, sweet. Good, see I, she's sweet. You're not. There's an evil inside I, you. I, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. There's a certain sweet. You have an evilness to you, Deb. You have a very evilness. Damn, uh, you have and, a very evil. You you have. Well, a she evilness. does now. She's and, been, 
She and was Earl and I are at the age. You look at me. You shoot. You shoot. Look at her. No throwing food. No in throwing the studio. food. Oh yeah. I didn't take it back. <laughs> you throw food in here, you're <laughs> fired. <laughs> I don't care what you can do. You're fired <laughs> if you throw that at me. <laughs> See, Earl she, and I, she's got a lot. Oh, we're, we're a little too old she's to be, you know, learning from the new Put kids. Put the food down. Put the food down. No forking <laughs> no in the studio. Forking in the studio. <laughs> Put the goddamn food down. No forking, no throwing food. That's funny. Watch out, Earl. <laughs> it's oh, oh, what'd you do? Faster than you think. You knocked it out of my hand. You better clean it up. I will. Let go of me. You clean it up first. Let go of me. Don't. I don't trust you. Let go of me. You've got all a right, fork right, in here. Right. Give me the fork. This is why I said no fork. You got it all over my keyboard. Give, Give me the fork. My hand. That's why you don't. Debbie? Where's the fork? Where's Give me the fork. I swear to God. I got it. Clean it up. Devil Earl, Earl. not even funny. Earl. I'm not even laughing. You're the one that grabbed my hand. It does, yeah, because you shouldn't have had that in your hand. I was going to eat it. I was messing with you. No, you weren't. Devil she woman. still was going to eat that. Clean it up off my keyboard. You're going to make my keys all sticky now, Deb, because you got this stupid ice cream cake in no, my keyboard. No, don't, don't blame it on Deb. Oh, I won't blame you, it on her. She's the one who had it. Porn, and you got your, your keys all sticky. Uh, you, you know, because she did that. That's a different <laughs> kind you of sticky. knocked it out of my hand. That's I a different kind of it. sticky. Great. You're going to fuck up my keyboard now. God, you got it in between the keys and everything. What the freaking hell? You knocked it out of my hand. Dad, that is going to be all sticky. No, it won't. Like hell it won't. No, you're you're going to get it out. Look at that. Will you move? Get out of the seat for a minute. No. You, sit your, you stand your ass up and fix it. I'm doing the show. You knocked it out of my hand. I don't give a shit. God. That's why I tell you, no throwing food. And you, I didn't throw food. And you're getting it on my equipment. I didn't throw it. You knocked it off my hand. Well, you know what? You, you were going to throw it onto me. No, I was not. Like, hell, you weren't. I saw the whole thing. You you lined up like a pitcher. You, I was not. You, went, yeah, yeah, you were trying to throw food. No, I was yeah, not. Yeah, you were. And it's on camera. I got it recorded. I was not going to throw it. I'll replay it. Big Brother is watching. Yeah. Big Brother watch all of it. There's Dylan. He's 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 he's. There goes right. Dylan. Big Brother. What's Big Brother got to say? He he goes. Really? <laughs> yeah, Dylan. Really. <laughs> <laughs> she got she got ice cream cake between the enter and the delete keys on the number pad on the keyboard. Okay, who's the one that smacked <laughs> my hand? Well, because you were trying to throw it in my face. And I was not going to throw it in your you face. You know what? This is the shit I'm talking about. <laughs> At the end of the day, that's funny. I'll tell it's you what. It's all in good fun. It looks. Why do you have a thumbtack? What the fuck? Come on, now you're getting. Now you're getting dangerous. No, I'm not. Sharp objects. I don't feel safe in this work environment anymore. Deb has a thumbtack and ice cream yeah. cake. I fixed it. Yeah. Speaking of speaking of uh, work environments. Yes. Uh, do you guys see the the numbers of the Mega Millions tonight? Uh, yeah, we were just actually talking about that. It's uh. Damn it, Deb! Seriously. Oh boy. What was the mess you guys made over here? Why'd you make the mess, Deb? Table. Neither did I. I didn't say you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you you did. implied it. Guys. You implied it. I wasn't here when I, I was heard it in your voice, evil woman. Evil. You are evil. You know I'm just kidding. You're evil. Calm down. Really good title for a song. Oh, that's right. There was one. Yeah. That was like, yeah. that was an 80s hit. You know I'm just kidding. Calm down by the yeah. hill. Right. Right. And I'll tell you what. Um, evil. You're evil. You are evil. You have an evil, vindictive side to you. Oh, and I just knocked my headphones out of my jack. You are Jesus. complete. How can you say you're not evil? So did Deb, did Deb enjoy her birthday? Did you enjoy your birthday, Deb? No? Why not? I'm not getting into it. Is it because you were evil? 
Don't give me the evil look just because I said you're evil. Evil. W, you're evil. You're like Dr. Evil. You're like Dr. Evil. I want one million dollars. In a hot pocket. <laughs> In a hot pocket. I want a hot pocket. Do you want a hot pocket? You want a hot pocket ice cream cake? Ooh. Ice cream cake. Cold pocket. See, she don't like nothing hot. She's just, she's as cold as ice. She's evil. Deb is very cold evil. cold as ice. That's why I don't sing. Great, yeah. great song. Yeah. Evil. You're evil. Anyway, so, so, so what are we doing next week? We don't know. We were waiting on the results of a poll that we threw out earlier. So we're going we're gonna to find out what the poll is here in a couple well, days. Well, I got a late start, what is the poll? Oh, God, I forgot now. I don't have it in front of me. Uh, um, which pick movie? A, pick a scary movie. It was Friday the 13th. Yep. Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street. Halloween. Halloween. And Scream. And Scream. Yeah. Pick pick one of the four. We've done them all. Well, Friday the 13th. No, I'm sorry. No. Halloween, Halloween and uh, Nightmare on Elm Street were in the lead. Yeah. Those were those were the poll question. That was the poll question. Uh, they were, those were both tied at like 46%. Freddy freaking Krueger. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we'll find out whenever the poll ends. I think it ends on tomorrow or something like that. But uh, we'll find out, and then we'll uh, announce the results later on tomorrow or next day or whenever the hell we decide we're going to announce the results. Sometime between now and next Sometimes show. between now and next show. You'll know what the next show is. Right. 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 So. Right. I want to know, of all the things that we pick on you for, yeah. Deb, yeah. why are you getting offended about being called evil? Because I'm not evil. You're evil. You have an evil, you have a being evil, evil spirit in you. I think it's because of Halloween coming out. I think it's even more prevalent now. It's Halloween time, so she, she her inner uh, normalcy comes out. That's what happens. Because Deb's evil. She has cranial rectus. Do you wish harm on the workers at the BMV? No. Why no. Okay, talk in the microphone. That'd the be correct helpful. answer is yes. Therefore, you are evil. You are evil. You should have said yes. Do you do you do you wish to have harm on people at this radio station? Evil. Evil. Are you evil, Deb? Are you evil? It's Halloween. Everybody's evil. Deb, are you evil? You're wearing an orange shirt that literally says Jack, like a jack o' lantern. Evil. It's that time of year for it. She's ignoring me. She's looking at her phone. Yeah, he's evil. 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 Evil, 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 evil. Evil. Then are you evil? Really? No. Why, why do you act evil all the time? I'm there's not evil there's all nothing time. wrong with being evil. It's like I've said all my life heaven for the climate. Hell for the company. Are you evil? <laughs> We're going to be on this kick until we get off the air in eight minutes. Deb, do you have, are you mean? Are you a mean spirited person? Mm-hmm. Why are you mostly mean? Because you piss me off. <laughs> She's got a good heart, but she gets so angry. Now, how often is that? Yeah, she how gets often? So angry. How often are you pissed off, Deb? At you? It, it just in ju- it, see twenty four seven. She's always pissed off. At you. You're always pissed off. That's your problem. Deb is always pissed off. You're always pissed. Yeah. Deb is always pissed off. Come on, chair force. Come on, chair force. Come lady. on. You service many servicemen. Come Deb. on. Look at the look. She's no like, getting angry. Come on. She's evil. It's good natured. Sibling, in my case. Yeah. Just good-natured ribbing. Yeah, it's a good ribbing. Just need, hacking on you. You just need a good ribbing every now and then, Deb. It's good for you. I, I take it all the time. I can dish it, too. How many times do you call me a jarhead? At least, you know, four or five times a week. Right? Yeah. Or Uncle Sam's misguided children. At least four or five times a week. That's right? That's not being oh, evil. Oh, you still don't That's have being evil. Yet. It's not being evil. It is. That's She's your evil. nickname. She's but evil. it's like that level of evil. No. That we appreciate. John, do you think she has a level, level of that's evil That's just 
the camaraderie between military Which brothers and is sisters. Which is evil. John, John, do you think she's got a you little... You call me chair for us? Hold on a minute. Damn right, Guys. I'm evil. John, do you think she's got a level of evil in her? Honestly, no. Oh, you suck up. <laughs> no, Seriously, no, 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 you no, no, are no. really sucking up. Uh, anyway, go, go ahead. Because at the other day, I, I, I'm telling you, where I'm sitting, Earl got a big smile on his face, and at the end of the day, I got one really kind of look like pissed off woman <laughs> next to me, and and I and she's giving me the middle finger. So at the end of the day, I I don't know what to say about all that, but anyway, all I want to do is see Debbie smile. Smile, Debbie. Smile, Debbie. Smile, Debbie. You should try smiling once Smile, Debbie. Smile. Smile, Debbie. Love you, Deb. John loves you. No, 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 don't don't, don't, don't pull your pants down. Don't do that. Yeah. Dude, don't smile. Put the pants back on. Put your pants back on. I I didn't want to see that smile. No, we don't want to see that smile. I just wanted to see. It's a smile. It's just not that. It's just a different type of smile. I want to see your eyes glow. It's a different type of smile. And your pretty yeah, teeth. You can do anything. Do the shimmy and be done with it. Right. Do the shimmy. Do it. Sh- shimmy, shimmy. Come on. For all shimmy, days. shimmy. Shimmy. Uh, She's not in that kind of mood. Earl. Yeah, I can never put you're her in gonna, that kind of mood. Earl. Yeah. Don't take this the wrong way, but I think you're going to end for a long, long night. I'm shit. I'm in for a, <laughs> um, I'm in for a night of sleep. Who linked to my, uh... Huh? Who linked that, your that what? That was me. Who's looking to your what? I have no clue what you're talking about. I have about. no idea what you're talking about no, either. No, some... My, uh, hotspot's on, and I didn't turn my it on. My hotspot's on. Because I... Oh! Because of the, cause the TV. But so is mine. Yeah, you're... you're, you're no one you're, mess with your... Because mine's on, yours so is what, on. what you're saying is somebody linked to your hotspot? Oh my hotspot. Oh, my. Yeah, it was, it, it was your buddy's boyfriend... Bob, Bob was looking into yeah. your hotspot while she was gone. Ugh. On that Did note. that happen while we were like on a smoke break or uh, something? I don't know what happened. I, I'd rather not know. Be quite <laughs> honest. I, I, I'd really just rather not know because it just kind of creeps me out. Anyway, we got about four minutes left in the program. But uh, I'll tell you what, tonight's been a fun night. Guys. Tonight was a fun show. It was show. a fun really was. show. Yeah, it was a fun show. We did uh, a number, we did quite a few beer reviews tonight. Uh, we talked about the Powerball. I'm going to do one more check to see if there was announced a winner yet. I highly doubt they announced one Not yet. yet. Yeah, I, I don't get to spend a whole lot of time with you guys. So yeah, Well, that still, ain't our fault. It's still pending right now. So no announcement yet if they Power come up with a winner yet. But it is pending. You mean Mega Millions, not Mega Powerball. Mi- Mega Millions. So Mega Millions yeah. is yeah. pending. Is it Mega Million is like a, pending. It's a billion dollars. A billion yeah. dollars? Billion if it dollars. don't hit, dollars. it'll go Sharks to 1.5 billion. billion. Can you even imagine Could that? Could you imagine a billion and a half dollars? Good Lord. Yeah, well, that's, that's before taxes. Yeah, I know. Well, no kidding. I mean, the tax, I'm sure it's like about... You're going to get shot or tax. You know what? I, it, 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 at the end of the day, you win that kind of money. Do you really think you care what kind of taxes you have to pay? No. That, well, that's true, but the government will that type care That type of money you could easily retire. Do you think? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I told you we're gonna we we already come up with we're gonna open up a cult. I, 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 we're gonna start the I, cult of SK. I, 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 I'm, reti- I, I'm retired. At, I'm retired at fifty two. Okay, and, and, and according to ABC now, I just want to say this before we go out there. Should no one match the numbers drawn tonight, the next estimated jackpot is one point six billion dollars. I said one point five. No, one point six. Can and you he, he, here's the thing. now here's the thing? Okay. Now here's the cash value on one point six. Nine hundred and four point nine million dollars. <laughs> this is uncharted. Yeah, pretty, pretty I would buy you. Yeah. I, I I I would buy you a camper. Earl. <laughs> no shit. I the yeah. estimated jack. I, I know I'll be putting in about fifty bucks, and then if if it doesn't hit, I'll throw fifty or hundred bucks at it. I don't for a chance of winning that kind of money. That kind of money, you're sidling up right next to Trump, going, "How you doing, big boy?" <laughs> you're probably doing a little bit. Are better you bringing now. up politics? Yeah. 
No. We're still doing better than that. We try not to do I, that. No, I wasn't here. bringing up politics. He's just fucking rich. Nine hundred and four point nine million. That's that's the estimated cash value on. If it doesn't hit tonight, the estimated is one point six billion dollars. Now we don't know. I'm I, I'm I'm thinking it's probably going to hit tonight. I hate to say it. It's probably going to hit tonight. I hope it don't. You know, because I'm kind of greedy like that. I, I don't greedy want, fucker. I am a greedy fucker because you know I want to win it. God, you know, I mean, come on, you should, you should go to the hey, good at the guys. Day, hey, at the end of the day, at least I can say I knew you. Yeah. Once. Right. <laughs> right. Well, on that, on note, that note, on that note, I think it's time we close out this program for the night. Uh, I do want to thank our special guest, Mr. Brian Rufner, for being with us. Uh, of course, uh, Mr. Dylan Thompson, as always. Mike Haig from the uh, Man Apocalypse Radio Show. And thank you. Thank you. Debster from the Dumpster is here. Uh, and, and, and John Sinsel on the phone, and of course. Well, uh, you, you, you got to give a lot of credit to Dylan as well. I just did. He just did. Oh, I, I missed did. that. Yeah, you missed that. But anyway, De- Debbie the dumpster, she's not looking happy because she's not in her dumpster. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, oh my God, it's getting bad. All right, we're out of here. We're on gonna, that note, we'll see you next week, everybody. Good night. Have a good, good night. night. See ya.